Welcome in, everybody. Welcome to another flagship episode of Radland. 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 Old Raddy boy's not feeling especially good this week. Uh, those who watched last week's episode will remember Baby Boy Rad was barfing his guts out at night. Just sleeping, having a peaceful time, then wake up uh, all over himself, all over the bed. I have what Baby Boy Rad had now. Now I'm a man with a man strength esophagus. I'm holding it back right now. As soon as I hit go live, this thing started going like, hey buddy, you gotta barf. So, that's why we're starting in the bath. I have got myself a barf bowl tonight. I have to barf in the middle of this episode. That'll be hot content and we'll probably call it there. Can you guys see it if I do this? I don't need, you guys don't need to get actual barf on the camera. That'll be, that won't be hot content. That'll be banned. As soon as I hit go live. Dan! I don't know what he put in my food. A-hole. Yeah, it's the uh, bathroom scene, everyone. We're gonna be playing Elden Ring tonight. It's, it's Twitch's hottest Elden Ring roleplay stream as Nick Nolte. Hottest. And this is in no way us making fun of Nicholas Nolte. Nick Nolte has done nothing but good work in his career. He just happens to have a very distinct voice, and I accidentally created a character that looks exactly like him. Zipped right up. It's like a winter wool jacket. We're gonna wear it, we're gonna stay warm tonight. Jesus Christ. I know, get him some soda gingerbread. I got regular ginger ale upstairs. I'll bring it, but I don't even know if I need the burp. You burp too hard with this, it's just, it's all coming back up. <sighs> Alright, and with that, everyone, 10 minutes to get the live streams in here, alright? This is my state-of-the-art bathroom facility. Worthy of getting barfed in, I, I say. Let's have a great show tonight, everyone. 10 minutes, get the live streams in here. Thanks for watching in the archive, if you are watching in the archive. Appreciate everyone, you little rascals. Have a great show. Where the hell's my song? <laughs> we're this early and we're already derailing? Ah, the hell with it. Standing by. Standing by. Hey, there's the chat. Welcome in, all you bunch of crazies. Nick Nolte, every time I wake up, I look at his mug. <laughs> I look like his mug shot. All right, one pointless guy who anim... Do you remember any video game criticism retrospective? YouTuber around 2015, 2018? I don't think so. You're getting it, you rascal. I got a little YouTubester getting out of his mind over here. There you are, YouTubester. All right, sounded like Indy in the Temple of Doom. Freaking out! Indy! I'm right here! Stop touching that statue's breast! No! The statue was fine! I'll take the statue! All right, let me do a little social media here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like Nicholas Nolte's mugshot looks just like he said. Just like he said. Alright, social media confirmed. Why is it playing my Christmas song? Ah, eh, the hell with it, I don't care. I wrote a song to play during my Christmas episode. And I wrote it in about five minutes. Yeah. Nick Nolte! God, I feel like barfing. I'm gonna barf! It's gonna barf! Get the hell out of my screen! Kill you! Damn! Not hell. Uh, there we go. Facebookers, no. You know we had a big fannies on Friday, and I forgot to hit going live on anything. So, I thank you anyone who came in there. Ratty boy locked it up. Got first place. By a bum's hair. Big fannies is a five-way speedrun competition I do with a bunch of my idiot friends. Ah, if you want to see the results, check it out on YouTube. <laughs> Over on my YouTube channel, you can check the results out if you want. I actually got smart this time. I have the, um, 
picture in picture so you can see all the big fannies uh, in the corner of my stream. See how far we are. It was close. Goddamn, right up to the final minute. None of us even beat the game. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker is the game we were playing. Jesus Christ. Not necessarily a bad game or anything, just a fricked up game to try and learn live in a racing setting. Alright, now the Discorder's gotta know. Dan, go to hell! Nick Nolte, kick his ass! Yeah, I, I felt even worse on uh, Friday, so I, I wasn't even talking. The chat was just going off. I didn't even see the chat. That was going on here. Well, I can concentrate. I can actually lock it up. Quantum Player 1 was about a minute behind being able to lock it up. Uh, and then he ended up beating the game after. So, God Gamer confirmed. But he did not get first place because it took him too long to get there. Oh, saved by the bell. Old ratty boy. That means going into the final round of the Big Fannies because we're going on to round six now. Winner takes all. No one can touch Quantum Player 1 or I. We have a random pick. We don't even know what the next game is going to be. Shorty Straw, the moderator of this channel, is uh, tasked with picking our final game. And he's going to pick whatever the hell he wants. And we're not going to get to know until we hit go live. Eesh. But uh, there's a lot on the line here. You know, there's a lot at stake. Largest fanny on the internet ah! is the award and the accolades. All right, this one Ratty Boy wrote for Shakedown Hawaii. God damn. Scary as hell. We have any, uh, and I also got copy striked on my YouTube channel for Billy Jean from the Sega Genesis version of it. What the hell's up with that? It's not even the real song! Yeah, we know. Big deal. You know, after this, I'm gonna play you guys one song from uh, the game I'm working on, Odo in the Ancient Worlds. Getting my butt kicked on the soundtrack because I gotta, I gotta course correct really quickly to, uh, to change uh, how I'm making the songs for it, because it's just taking me too long to make the songs, so I'm going to have to... I was up all night last night, while not feeling well, creating patches so I could try and create NES music from within Cubase, instead of making it in a tracker called ModPlug. Ah, it'll be interesting, but I hate having to course correct this far into a project. I'll kill you. Damn. damn, 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 damn. Here's the tractor one. Back to the chat. Hey, Dogan, what up? One point behind Quantum. Yeah, it's out of control. YouTube is better in every respect, uh, apart from audience, maybe. Thank you, Dogan. We changed this part up because the developer didn't really uh, gel with the part that was in here before, but then they sent me another message back saying, eh, you know what, I like the other one. Oh, all right, then. Back we go. Welcome in, Wessie D. Welcome in, Markman. Desibug, get the hell in here. Simon, get the hell in here. I know, Desi. Well, I was out of my mind at the time. Literally. Sick. Sick out of my mind. I forgot to hit going live on anything, and I had them all set up. That's probably better. Jigs was doing so many uh, Michael Jackson innuendo jokes that I think the whole thing is just going to get banned off the internet anyways. You guys hear that uh, nylon string guitar I add in the background? Hell yeah. So I wrote the chiptune in ModPlug, which is a tracker. Uh, but it takes too long to write these chip tunes in ModPlug now, so I'm going to try and write them in Cubase, but it's going to be difficult, because I, uh, I have no idea how to write a good, authentic NES chip tune within Cubase, so that's going to be a challenge for me. Uh, just for the strike I meant, uh, that's bogus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got struck. And not only that, it's like, if you ever monetize it, you're in big trouble. 
It's not even... God damn I lost good gameplay footage because Twitch just straight up deletes crap. Yeah, I don't know why Twitch won't hang on to this stuff. Tell me Jeff Bezos can't handle it. What an a-hole. It's true, Dogen, uh, but there's just a lot, it's a lot easier to write chiptunes with a keyboard than it is with a mouse. Uh, but you know what the good news is? Um, I can make new shortcuts, new ways of doing things faster. I think it'll be faster in the long run. I just have to relearn. It's learning how to ride your bike again, again, again. Anyways, guys, two minutes. I'm going to go get myself a big glass of water because, oh, man, I feel ill as hell. I feel like I'm going to throw up during this episode, but we'll see how far I can get. And, uh, yeah, a minute and a half to get on right. All right. Stick around, everyone. Live. Barfing live. What the hell's going on here? Yeah, and you scooting in here while I'm going to get some water? You rady rascals. All right, well, welcome in at the start of the show, where all the goddamn action is. All right, just a heads up for everyone who just came in here. Ratty boy feels ill as hell. I feel like I'm going to barf my guts out. No, no, it's uh, Rocky Mountain Pro Wrestling coming in here hot and heavy. Well, brain busters for everyone, all right? German suplexes for everyone. Let's get them going. All right, everyone. Oh, my God. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to be sick during this episode. That's hot content. Saw it here first. Live barfing. It'll be a new channel reward. Yeah. Yeah, I need some water. I'm going to barf my guts out. All right. Well, thanks for bringing in the Rascals, Yaden, or uh, Rocky Mountain Pro. Guys, this is the premier wrestling league on Twitch. Out of their minds. Let's do some big SO action here. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Is there a live event going on tonight? You guys just get out of your mind? What was Rocky Mountain Pro actually uh, streaming? I don't know. We're going to find out, but I have to do my intro first, and then we're getting out of mind. Hey, yo, Lucas, I need you in here, buddy. Getting out of your mind. With the encyclopedia of RMP. All right. Hot. Someone's got to document it. A live rat event. Yeah, this is another pay-per-view event. It'll be five. It'll cost you $5 to watch his grown man barf his guts out live while he's playing Elden Ring as Nick Nolte. That's complex. It's, there's a lot of flavors infused in this fusion cooking. All right, guys, let's start the goddamn show, all right? I'm not hosing around anymore. I'm deadly serious.
And tonight, we'll be playing Elden Ring! And then later, Castlevania 3. Kill you. Welcome in, everybody. Just in case, I brought my barf bucket tonight. I don't think this bowl's big enough. Maybe for a little kid, this is a proper sized barf bowl, but if a man barfs in this, there's bound to be some splashback. Goddamn. Can you guys see it? I need to know where I can barf where you guys can't see actual barf coming out of my mouth. Uh. Alright, so last week, famously everyone last week, uh, baby boy Rad barfed his guts out while I was live. We never even got to the halftime show, so I had to call the show. I was covered in barf. I had to barf a, or a shower a barfy, uh, five-year-old. Uh, it was a scene, man. Now I got whatever he's got. But as a man with a man's strength esophagus, I can just hold it back. Fight it back. Mm. We're gonna do that tonight. Alright, right off the start, Rocky Mountain Pro... In association with Yaden, Rocky Mountain Pro, came in here, brought the Rady Rascals in. Glad you guys are here. We're going to have a great Sunday. It's a brand new week. It's a brand new you. Oh, my God. There's bound to be some splashback. Wait, Castlevania 3 finally? Yes. Well, we were going to play it last week, Dogen, but there was a barfathon upstairs. There's barf everywhere. Uh, when a kid barfs in a bed, that's it. It's game over. You have to wash the whole thing. It's barf everywhere. Mrs. Rad's asleep. He's trying to get back to sleep. I've got to clean up all the barf. There was no way I was coming back to finish the stream. Like, nah, this ain't happening. This ain't for me. He was fine. He became a goddamn pro. But don't worry, everyone. I have the secret weapon. Soda Gingambre is back. A tiny can. Secret weapon. All right. Uh, history, history. What's going on? Uh, what's going on this week? Nothing. Nope. Nothing going on here. Hey, you know what? That means the intro is cut short. We got nothing to talk about. Man, get on that Canadian staple. Do you guys have can Canada Dry in the U.S.? Because I got to tell you, it's a lot better than uh, Schweppes. Or Sh Sheps? Schweppes? I can't remember. No barfing allowed in shuttle pods. I know, you, that's a party foul. Guys, this is my uh, custom wood-paneled span uh, spandex shuttlecraft. Built it myself with spandex I acquired from several value villages. And I built it with my best friend, Fred Couples, all right? A lot of people don't know this, but spandex really is the most space-faring material we've ever had as a society. Why do you think they took it away from us? They? The government? People were getting out of their minds in spandex. They had to get it out of there. You wrestlers still got the spandex going on, though. You better watch out. The government's coming after you. Don't take my spandex! No, we're taking them! All right. You know, that wood panel would be easy to clean barf off of, right? I got to get it right on the wall, but not on all the shag carpet I have down here. That would really frick it up. I don't want that. All right, micromodal spandex, I hope. Oh, the next level, all right. The next level of spandex is here. We're going back to the moon. One pair of spandex shorts at a time. All right, but I really shouldn't have used nails on this wood paneling because I think I punctured the outside of the ship. We're slowly siphoning air as we speak, guys, with... Oh, what? Wrong transition. I had to hell with it. Fine. Do that. Do that. Get frick. Ah. All right, uh, with my life savings, I purchased a space station... With which, uh, I hollowed out, turned it into a sick nightclub where everyone can come and party their balls off and drink all the soda gin jambre they can handle. There we go. All right, in the tiniest cans ever. All right, when you change transition in the middle of a scene transition like this, like if you have a button for it, it fricks it up for the whole show. God damn it. That's fine. Guys, come on to my club. We're going to have a great time. All right. All right. Let's, uh, have a great show tonight, everyone. Let's have a great show and break. Space. There she is. She's a beaut. Hold on. Let me just get out of my shuttlecraft. Do a little spacewalk here. Jesus Christ. We're coming in fast. It's a dance move that my friend Fred Couples invented. It's called the Swizzler. It's a lot of abdominal strength to do this in zero gravity. You can take my spandex out of my cold dead hand. And that's a visual I, I enjoy. Mm -mm. Go ahead and take it. Out of 
my cold dead hands. All right, let's get in. We're coming in hot. All right, buckle up, you rascals. Welcome to Radlin. All right, let's see if I can line up the transition. If the faces line up, we nailed it. Damn it. Hey! All right, hey, airlock's bigger than you thought, isn't it? Hell yeah. All right, uh, this is my uh, best friend, Fred Couples. Hey, Fred, what are you doing up here, buddy? You got to get to control room two. All right, Fred's going to go back there. That's control room two back there. From there, Fred Couples is going to control everything and make sure Dan doesn't hose around too much on this episode. You know, for whatever good it is. Uh, Dan has constructed a whole series of spider-like Jeffrey's tubes in this space station. I can't stop him. It's fine. We've lived with it up till this point. No, no. There we go. Hey, welcome back there, Fred. Hey, Fred, show him the Swizzler, man. I can't do it like you can. Yeah. Oh, God! Kill you. Damn. Body bag. Get him a body bag, Fred. Guys, look under your seats right now. You'll find your custom Fred Couples body bag. Anytime Dan hoses around with you, just zip him up. That'll be our symbol. Like, our Sydney Hall had this. We have this. In the body bag, Dan. Go to hell. All right. You know what? Uh, what uh, micromodal spandex? You can take them. I called it. <laughs> Friggin' Dan. Trying his best to hose your show down. Yeah, what an a-hole. All right, let's get in there now, everyone. All right. Uh, doing the voices certainly doesn't help. Okay. Jaden? I need a special zipper sound effect now. All right, just more content to make. All right, hey, here's the update, everyone. Ratty Boy got a haircut. Man, nothing makes you feel like less of a schlub than getting a hot new haircut. Man, I watched the episode that I did on... Wednesday, the last episode I did. Oh my god, like my hair was flopped in front of my face like this. Uh, I'm sicker now, but I look way, way. What would you say? Way more ill. Getting ill. Oh, that's right. I got to change my thumbnail for YouTube. You guys know if you don't change your thumbnail on YouTube manually, it won't show your thumbnail. It just shows the screen. Out of hell with it. All right, let's get in there. All right. Welcome to my uh, space station, everyone. Uh, Freddy Boy, can we get the baseline of the gods? That's what we need hot and heavy right now. All right. Joe Montana Sports Talk Football 2. It's first down. The kicking team comes on, and I can't believe it. First baseline I ever learned how to play on an actual base. This one right here, everyone. Live the dream. Imagine me going to buy a $200 base and then coming home and learning this song. All right, feels good. Ah, uh, just a second, everyone. I gotta do a little back end action here. This is a pretty uh, good football game. Way better than it has any right being. Doesn't even have the players' names. It's like one of those games where I think the only player that has a name in the entire game is Joe Montana. Everyone else you have to know by number. Elden Ring. I gotta go through my folder structure here. We have a better one, don't we? Oh, is that the one? There we go. Alright, and the show can begin anew, everyone. All right, what the hell's going on here? That's the kind of bad baseline. There's the door, Dogen. Unless you're talking like Michael Jackson bad. All right, guys, let's let's crack this soda gingerbread. There's some Teak London. Nice. The hottest Atari Jaguar soundtrack I'd ever heard. Well, the smoothest one, anyways. The hottest one is clearly Ultra Vortex. Good morning, Shorty. Ratty Boy's gonna barf his guts out on the stream. Confirmed. Stick around for that, everyone. That's why we got this soda and jambre going. All right. Elden Ring, as played by Nick Nolte. Guys, this game's fun. 
Now, uh, for those that have missed the last, I did two micro streams uh, to make up for the half the episode we lost last week. Um, I got captured immediately and sent to what Baklava calls Florida. It looks like the bog of eternal stench. Just farts everywhere. Uh, I went to another magic school where a bunch of Poindexter nerds were trying to teach me magic lessons, so I sliced them up Wolverine Weapon X style. Um, and now we're on our way back. I don't know where to go. I think we gotta go back to where we were before, but on the way, there's one dragon called X Zykes or something. <laughs> Pound Town. So, Bucklev, if you're around, you might as well just hop in and we'll beat the hell out of this guy. I don't feel like fighting. Well, okay, I'll give this guy one try. Honest to goodness try, but I don't know where the bonfire is, so that's the other problem. Uh, I need to find a bonfire. Okay, first thing we gotta do is find a damn bonfire to fight this dragon. Then if Baklava here in the chat is ready to rock, we'll just get him in here. Pat this dragon, smash his face with an iron. No big deal. One and done. Rad, bear with me, I'm just fixing something. Oh, okay, good, good. No rush there, Baklava, because I gotta find a bonfire still. Rakuman is fine. Let's be real. It ain't Yuzo Kashiro or uh, Hiroshi Kawaguchi baseline. Now, what was Hiroshi Kawaguchi known for? I'm bad with my Japanese name, Dogen. But I'm good with my Japanese slap face. That's where I'm going to barf right now. Good lord. All right, let's get the game open. Outrun and Afterburner. Okay, well, hey, I don't know the names, alright? When when you're just a guy sitting at your computer, and none of your friends in real life know anything about video games or video game music, when do you have a chance to say the name aloud? If you don't say the name aloud, if you don't evoke the name, you don't even know what it is. You owe him your career. Do I? Do I do hot bass lines? I don't think I'm especially known for hot bass lines. I'm known for adding way too many notes into a track. Like, Rad, that's enough. Come on, slow down. That's enough notes, Rad. You know what I pride myself on as a game composer? You know how sometimes, like, a metal band will come out hot and heavy with their first couple albums? Like, whoa, the energy is insane. And then, like, by their fifth album, they're just phoning it in. I vow to never phone it in ever. I'm absolutely out of my mind with every track I release. Can't be stopped, won't be stopped. I'm gonna be a 60 year old man writing chiptunes. Okay, but imagine without Afterburner, would game music really exist? Yeah, I think it would, Dogen. I, that, that one doesn't even register hot and heavy on my radar. I know it's okay, but uh, that, I'd rather listen to War Song. I'm sure it's a great soundtrack. Outrun's pretty good. Is it better than Outrun, Dogen? Alright. Here's to getting out of your minds, everybody. Load it up. Up, oh, I probably should have switched screens first and then loaded it up. Eh, big deal. Well, I don't need to be this big on my screen. You can tell whenever I was doing a stream for Baby Boy Rad, whenever I, the screen is this big. That's better. All right, and full size any minute now. Any minute now. Oh, yeah, that's right. There he is. Turn the tunes down. Let's get sensible. Down. Off. All right, we got him just in time. All right, now let's turn the game up. You can hear every one of Nick Nolte's skin flaps. All right. All right, Nick Nolte's out of his mind. The hell am I? Am I still in the Poindexter? I am still back where the Poindexters are. Oh, my God. We got a bit of a run ahead of us then, everyone. Love it, guy. See that dodge, everyone? Nick Nolte's doing the goddamn combine in the NFL. Get out of my mind! Sick! Oh. All these nerds, all these goddamn Poindexters, 
They're gonna blast me so many times before I get out of this doorway, too. Oh, God! Oh! Ow! Alright, made it. Alright, this is my Nick Nolte character, everyone. If you'll note, he looks pretty much exactly like Nick Nolte, old man. I'm out of my mind! I ain't getting out of my mind never felt so good. Alright. 37 inch vert. <laughs> 440. Man, do you see that old man's vert? That thing was crazy. Upsies. Oh, alright. Well, we could be in trouble here. Usually I kill this dog before he sees me. Oh, for frick's sake, he's biting my fanny. First time I've ever not snuck by this idiot. And he's killing me. And he's barfing his guts out. There is no way around this stupid moron. I have to claw his penis off. Was it worth it, dog? Was it worth it? Let me jerk it. Run faster. He's got a taste for meat now, boy. Faded airdly flower. More nighttime graphics, everyone. I hate nighttime graphics in video games. Just be a cheat code. Just keep it daytime all the time so I get to see all the hot lighting graphics. Alright, there's a bad dude up here that's gonna be throwing crap down on me. It's fine. I need a better bonfire, though. You think Afterburner kills Outrun? Well, I gotta hear some more Afterburner then, Dogen. I need to hear specifically the Afterburner song that's got you down and dirty. Bonfire around here. Oh, for frick's sake! Probably cleared that round of a-holes out for me. Alright, there's a dragon over here. Jesus, he's still chucking these things at me. In honesty, they're probably tied, says Duncan. Alright, now uh, I might have to kill this knight over here. I don't think he was here before. Hold on. I don't think Mrs. Rad can hear Baby Boy Rad calling her. I see this knight coming. But I can hear. He's going, hey, Mom, Mom. You probably just you forgot to put socks on me. He's calling for you. Alright. Did my dadly duty. Okay, 1,500 credits in the bank. What do you got for me, sir? Say it again. Uh, get a crack pot? That doesn't seem appropriate. Get this sick hairdo. The champion headband. Following example is uh, all right. I'll buy this. It looks filthy. How dare you even sell this to me, sir? When I have little red riding hoods hat, you're gonna try and sell me this dumpy faux metal head hat? <laughs> Nolte loves metal. Hey, old two eyes over on YouTube. Rad, how's the game treating you? Uh, living up to expectations? I would say it's exceeding them, frankly. Um, I'm still a little. Sick tonight, GS. Uh, we got baby boy rads, whatever he had. All right, so we're fighting it. Where'd that knight go? There was a knight over here. Did he flat out vanish? I was ready to take him to Pound Town. I was ready for that to be my warm up. Instead, there's a goddamn dragon behind him. Hmm. You text your wife one thing, and then you get fricked. Alright, uh, maybe if, uh, if you ask this merchant guy nicely, you can borrow his bonfire. He's like, we don't call them bonfires in this game. We call them graces. Alright. Anything down here? Is there a grace down here? Is there a grace under fire down here? There could be. That kind of looks like it could be something. Quentin! I don't remember what the daughter's name was in grace under fire. Okay, 
What the hell happened there? Seems like a trap. Seems like a crappy wagon. Ew, don't pick up those. It seems like this would be a great place for a grace. Ain't nothing down here. That wagon was two days left from retirement. Oh, my antique wagon. Oh, look what you've done to it. There he is. Black Knight's gonna get hosed. Nothing like starting your day with a big basket full of crab eggs. This guy has no idea what's coming his way. The goddamn hard rain, that's what. All these out of his mind. Sneak attack! Hey, yay, yay! How do you expect to beat me? Naked Nick. Damn, one extra dodge and you get hosed down. Oh man, I've not done a lot of damage to him. That's for sure. Oh, he tagged me good when I looked at the goddamn phone. All right, one of us is going to bleed, sir. Oh, God damn, he's using his horse. Well, now I don't feel bad for maiming his horse. Come back here so that I may brain thee. Ah, what tagorific... Piece of poo. Ah, oh, goddamn it. Trampled like an old lady at a trucker convoy. An old lady on a rascal scooter veil. The Canadian way. All right, all right. Sweet flail. It's too busy flailing about. All right, lucky shot by that little a-hole. That's crazy. They have a knight with a dragon right next to him. The murderer's row over here. Stop it. Stop it. You gotta serpentine these fools. Nerds don't know what it's like to run drills for coach. Or to watch an episode of coach. Alright. Firing up rad. Alright, there you go, Baklava. Let me kill this a-hole dog before he knows what what hit him. You stupid son of a bitch. One dead Becky. And I'm going to have a Titan's Ransom in Faded Earth Leaf Flowers after this. Sweet flail. Oh, we already read that one. It's fine. All right, hot daytime graphics finally. And hot raining physics. Nice. Same, but not from your boy. Oh. Go ahead and try and catch up with me, you rascals. You get bombed by your buddy. Oh, dear lordy. Singed a couple fanny hairs off on that one. It's fine. I didn't need those ones anyways. Up oh, and finish the rest off for me. I hope you're proud of yourself, sir. Oh, he weren't uploaded Florida map on my Discord. Is it around here, though, Baklava? How could I have missed it? I don't know 
world did I miss it? Check the screenshot I sent you. All right. Wait, hold on. Let me go get my measly amount of souls first. Okay, and the survey says, let me just get back to being safe. So close to that triangle. All right. Now, Baklava here sent me a message on Discord with a map to a bonfire that's super close to here. And he says... Okay, just down and away. Actually, there's a ton around here. All right, I can find that, Baklava. Baklava says there's a bonfire roughly about here. What? Okay, teleported. Alright, that's more sensible. What the hell? How did I miss this? Good save, Baklava. All right, let me take this Black Knight down, Baklava, and then we're going to beat the hell out of this dragon. For the love of God. Old man sitting cross-legged. Congratulations. Not easy to do. Fungus. Why did it have to be fungus? Ew, what the hell? Secret item over here. Nobody finds that one. It's the worst item ever, though. Golden Rune 1? That's like 500 grace. That's penis. All right, I don't know how big this Black Knight's lap is that he does, but he doesn't seem to be anywhere near here anymore. He proved he was hot. Top dog. All right, he wants to be top dog. Well, that's not going to happen. Because I'm the big dog. All right. He only spawns at night. Ah, okay, that's why I didn't see him. In that case, where the hell? How do I... Sp okay, I guess... We'll go back and we'll get you, Baklava, and then we'll... Take this dragon to Pound Town. Alright, let me use my Erd Leaf and then I'll get you on the, uh... If you want, on the microphone, Baklava, we'll get you on the microphone. Equipment... Mm -hmm. Get it, me. Magic flower. Burp. All right. Only spawns at night. My Aunt Fanny. I wonder how many enemies in this game only spawn at nighttime. Bear with me. I'm coming to your grace. Oh, okay. In that case, uh... I got nothing to do. Haven't been to Florida on New Game Plus. Oh, no. Hey, you seem to really not enjoy your time in Florida. All right, in the meantime, I'm going to go beat the hell out of this bird. Because that's just what I do on my spare time. Or in my spare time. Big ass birds. They grow them big out here in Florida. Nullifying things and just... Oh, yeah, I keep using this stupid thing. I thought I had my healing potion on. What am I, What's going on here? Go to hell, bird. Yeah, now you're wishing you hadn't put your crotch in my face. I think I'm under-leveled for this goddamn area. God. This is 
Christ. Jesus, Louises. Watch, it's gonna be like, oh damn, okay, 1700. Frick, I should it's grind out here. All right then, that took f three of my healing flasks. Right in the cloaker, you got that right, Simon. GSGs, frick that bird gang, I fricked him up. Stabbed his bird penis off. All right, you can pull me into your call if you want. Uh, when you're not gonna, when I'm not getting chewed on by birds. Oh, for nothing, because the damn bird's gonna be back anyway. All right, I need all my health flasks, all my Mountain Dew, all my soda gingembre's for the boss we're about to take down. All right, let me uh, get you in the game, and then I'll uh, do the thing. Baklava here, everyone's a resident expert in this game. He's helped me out on a few occasions. There's just no way I can beat these dragons. Not unless I do a bunch of grinding offline. And I don't want to do that. Jeez Louise. Alright, let's get him in here. Let's get him on the call. Uh... The burps are coming hard and heavy tonight, everyone. There's nothing I can do! Voice and video. Uh, we need to send Baklava through to the uh, thing that you guys can hear, but he doesn't get to hear my game. I don't think. Okay, I think we got this set up properly. Now let's go into a call with our buddy Baklava. Uh huh. And then chat it up. Start a voice call. And that's all there is to it. Technology, everybody. Hey, Baklava, what up, buddy? Hey, hey. All right, now, you guys in the chat, you're obligated to let me know. Can you hear our friend Baklava? Mm? Microphone, test, test. Mm? I think you can. I saw the thing moving. Canadian streamer obligated by law to rep Canada Dry. That's right, in the government of Canada, they say loud and clear. Government of Canada won't even sponsor this program, all right? I even say it in French. So did Gingembre. All right, well, welcome in, Baklava. What the hell's up? Are you uh, liking this pal world or what? I it's addictive. Yeah, I think they know exactly what <laughs> string the to pull, right? Got. Like, all right, it's all right. Addictive. We've learned everything we need to learn from uh, Monster Hunter. Now we're gonna just add guns, yeah, and Pokemon. We'll just add Pokemon and guns to Monster Hunter. Accurate? Can't go wrong. Oh yeah, very. <laughs> I've just seen even Shorty Straw was playing it. I couldn't believe it. It is extremely fun. More fun than it has any right to be. All right, yeah, I heard that there was a pretty small development team for it too. Pal world, dude, he says. <laughs> That's funny. All right, uh, do you know anything about this dragon? Is it magic damage? Should I get my magic shield out? Uh, he does, he applies scarlet rot. It will kill you very, very fast. Ah, what an a-hole. Shorty only it's plays like isometric ultra games. poison. <laughs> like super poison, okay. We, we, aww. What the frick? Bloody finger meow. All right, where the hell's Bloody Finger Meow? I don't know. Honestly, we, we didn't even get like two metric him. blocks over here. <laughs> you want to know what's funny? There's a grace that's even closer to the dragon. Well, what the hell? Where the hell's where? Bloody Finger Dickhead? Or whatever? There, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's over there. All right. Well, I bet you didn't think you'd have two rascals here, would you? Go to hell, Bloody Finger. Oh yeah, get buffed up. Yeah, Baklava's gonna frick you up. He's New Game Plus. You got fricked up, Bloody Finger. You want a piece of the big dog? You're getting a piece of the big dog now. Oh yeah, you hosed it down. What are you gonna do, Bloody Finger? What are you gonna do, Bloody Finger? You better watch out for the fricksters. Oh, you fricked up, Bloody Finger. <laughs> All right. Good job, Baklava. You're welcome. All right, hang on. Let me just get buffed up for this All right. stupid dragon. Guess I should do the same. Here's... Teabagged him into dust, Grimora. You're right. All right, here we go. Glug, 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 glug. Armament. All right, I'm feeling out of my mind. 
Are you feeling strong today, my friend? Hell freaking yeah. Pokemon where you can eat the Pokemon. Okay, Shorty, now you're selling me on it more. <laughs> it's not wrong. Freebie! Oh, whiffed it. It's good design. This dragon looks all fricked up. Yeah, because he's rotten. Yeah, he's, like, diseased. And covered in freaking spores. Stay there. Stay there. Gonna get a single hit on this guy. <laughs> I almost got a toe. Ow! He got me good with that one. Freaking jeez, Louise. Always breathing at us. What the Always hell breathing. is going on here? He's farting all over the place. Yeah, he makes a cloud of you. Ah, I got the scarlet rot. Frick me. He might as well hit me with it now. I already got the scarlet rot. Oh, for frick's sake, it does damage to you. Oh, my God. All right. No, oh, I can't get away from it. He's barfing everywhere, Bakuva. I don't know what. I'm stuck on a wall. Oh, that's just rude. All right, that's it. Nobody just farts on my friend, like Bakuva. This. Nobody. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's doing it again. Uh, he, he does it endlessly. Alright, that's it. These dragons are tough. Ratty boy's going on solo mode now. You killed my best friend, you bastard! Ep, ep, my, ep. Oh, yeah, and now I'm hurting bad. My apologies, I scrubbed it's, it up. It's all good. I've only managed to hit him once, very lightly. I can give him a love tap. Oh. Well, wow, that Scarlet Fever really catches up on you. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I thought I had I thought I had almost a full health bar left. Oh, yeah, no, uh, your health bar disappears. All right. Many, many people refer to this as uh, Kalid AIDS. Uh, of course. Florida clap. <laughs> it's just awful. That's why I have no problem with Baklava coming in here and giving him the business, everyone. Can you believe I'm supposed to be able to take this guy on myself solo right now? Are you kidding me? I could barely even touch him with my claws. How much Scarlet Fever medicine do you have to bring to this fight? Jesus uh, Christ. Yes. Yes. All the Scarlet medicine. Also, you've been uh, uh, hitting the Canada dry. I have been ab abusing my Soda Stream. Oh, okay. Do you? Uh, do they have Soda Stream version of it? Where it is? Like does Canada just dry make it? Water. Uh, I've just been having carbonated water. It's it's. I don't know why some people don't like carbonated water. I'd it's... be in that camp. Yeah, I can't drink it. I just can't do it. I do enjoy regular water quite a bit. Though. You can get ginger ale flavoring. Uh, spent five hours yesterday leveling and getting the cleaver to get the butcher ability. Then I this is Shorty saying this. Then I proceeded to chop up three llamas and have my fire monster cook them and fed them to my sheep. <laughs> That's so messed up, Shorty. My wife loves carbonated water, but what about you, Desi? What about you? Uh, one time I was at a fancy restaurant with my friends, uh, my, like, high school friends, and they offered, do you want the uh, carbonated water or the tap water? And I'm like, tap water, please. And my friends looked at me like I was deranged. Like, well, I don't necessarily want tap water, but I want water. I need water with my meal. I can't drink carbonated water with my meal. I can't even drink carbonated water without my meal. It tastes like earwax. And I would know when I was a kid, I ate, I ate my earwax once, and it tasted just like carbonated water. <laughs> What does that say about those of us that like carbonated water? <laughs> I like me some brisk iced tea. I will take a brisk iced tea over my carbonated water. You hear that, Desi? Your wife and I are waxy wascals. But I get it. A lot of people like it. I don't know. I think once you get into it, maybe it doesn't taste bitter anymore, but the bitterness just... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. We go in. We get wild. We take care of business. Alright, you big bastard. Alright, you know what? He's getting goddamn fire arrows. Oops, and missed my first arrow. Missed with my second arrow. With a target this big, it's amazing I'm missing it all. I'm still crouching back here. Ow. 
I think it's safe to say I'm doing most of the work here. Got a little. Carried by rat, everybody. You've done 15,000 damage to him. I think I've done about. Oh no, not the rot! Oh, jeez. Oh, All right, looks like ratty boy's got to <laughs> get his torch out. <laughs> the AOE is so huge. You want a piece of the big dog? You're getting a piece of the big dog now. All right, no, you got to go in. Under. Oh, all right. It didn't work. There's a reason I tell you I don't like Florida. All right. Game face on. Ah! Oh, for frick's sake. This dragon stinks. All right, you whiffed it big time, buddy. I really did. <laughs> no, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Baklava, you whiffed it big time. Thanks for helping me out. Blew it all the way, or also, you whiffed it. You blew it. I'm talking to this dragon. Couldn't even hit this. You whiffed it. It's easy hit. Easy prey. Oh, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> Fred Couple's coming in. Ah! Go to hell, fart-filled dragon. That was you doing the whiff it. All right, yeah, you get your multitasking. I, I, oh god, this dragon sucks. Well, as long as if you can run away after you do that big damage, like you basically did about forty percent of his health with one of those hits. I think we're we're sitting pretty. Yeah, I need to. As soon as I'm done casting the second one, I need to bolt. Yeah, I think that's the only no way. No pun intended. Got a bolt, and now I'm looking at making some arrows here. Wait, I have no arrow ability left? Oh, when I have friends in, I can't craft. All right, fine. I will do that later then. Because if oh, I can I just pepper him right from now. behind, then I can at least be busy while I'm doing it. Most people that drink soda can't drink flavored fizzy water. Well, you know what I don't understand? They have a drink in Canada called, uh, uh, what is it? Canadian Clear? Or Clearly Canadian. Right. Oh, wait, back. Uh, here, hey, hold, hold, hold on, Red. Uh, da, 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 da. Leave all. Oh, you got some sick uh, arrows here. Fire arrows, fifteen. All right, that'll keep me busy. Nice. There's, there's another thing. Arrows. Was there? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, well, now... I don't use arrows. I've got magic. All right, well, this will work just fine. Uh, clearly, Canadian was a uh, carbonated water drink that had sugar in it. What I don't understand. Is all the flavored, uh, you know, like bubbly and uh, all these other flavored ones. Why don't they just add sugar? Like, make it sugary. What? I'm not trying to go zero sugar. Just put some sugar in it and I'll drink it. With zero sugar, it's just bitter. Not exactly I'd rather carbonated. have carbonated water over buble. It's so gross. Okay. Um, I don't. The flavoring is just. It's wrong. <laughs> That's fair. You're saying it's not exactly carbonated water. It was like half sugar soda. All right, well, maybe. I always thought it was kind of carbonated water. So what the hell is carbonated water then? Does it taste like water? Which, by the way, does water have a taste? Think about that. When it's cold, it feels like it has a taste. But it's almost like the coldness is the taste. It's a weird, weird, hard to describe. You couldn't make like water flavored candy. All right. I, I just need you to get a little closer to me so I can buff you. Oh, okay. There you go. I'm stimming. Damn it, ratty boy, you gotta hit him. Okay, it's coming straight over here. Oh, I better Jesus. get the frick out of here. Oh, that one didn't do anywhere near as much damage. Run, Baklava! Run for it, Marty! I'll distract him with these pinner arrows. Yeah, time to go. Run, run, run. Oh, God, he's on my... F ah! Wow, 
how he hosed that up. Oh, no, I'm getting scarlet fart fever. Ah, for frick's sake. What the hell? I got out this time. <laughs> how did scarlet fever get me that quick? It, it's it builds up really fast while he's busy breathing it. Does it do like bleed does where bleed does damage to you? Uh, like oh, did it do, do half my health? You, yeah, it'll do damage to you while he's applying it, and mm. it'll do continuous damage after it's applied. Well, ain't that some biz? Wait till I tell you there's an entire lake made of that crap. I think I already fell into it or was already dicking around in it, but yeah, that's fine. Oh no, that's a swamp. There's a scarlet lake that is quite literally, you dip your toe in, uh, scarlet rot. God, it's gross. <laughs> it's so awful. I hate everything about that place. Shorty says, if rats died in your well, then it definitely has a taste. Mm. I liked the cherry, clearly Canadian. Simon, I liked the uh, blackberry one. That was the one I would drink. It's the Libyans! Oh my god, they found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for Marty! Blackberry's really good. That's right, I do need an old-timey mask. I could... but do I have any anything that can stop Scarlet Fever better? Scarlet mm. Fart Fever. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, I can give you these. More stims. Preserving bolluses. Yeah, I should have bought some. Holy frick, you got a lot of those. Let me just put those on my main... I'll take my telescope off. And I'll put... <laughs> The appropriate item is gonna on. get you killed. <laughs> All right, just gonna munch on these while I'm peppering this a hole. Pepperidge Farmer members. All right. Also, I know this makes me sound old, but these made good granola minis are really good. Made good? Are those the ones that come in like the beige package? It's like a little, vi uh, like a light purple package. Okay. Okay. And they're a little balled up. Granolas with berries in them. Hey, you never do old to appreciate some granola. They're I'll, tasty. Hey, I can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. I think I gotta be careful buying granola bars though, because sometimes I just eat the whole goddamn box. Like I can't stop myself. Hey, it's so mean, I, good. I, I I can't do that anymore. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you've got a built-in a built-in limit. Yeah. Oh, why am I casting it twice? Fuck, what the hell's wrong with you? Double your pleasure. Ow. You don't do that to my friend! Oh, God. Look at all this hot damage I'm dealing, everyone. And there goes Baklava's damage. Hot spells abound. That's Ratty Boy's time to get out of his might. Oh god, no, heal up, Ratty! What the frick? Oh no. I didn't realize I was getting it too. Ah, that that happens quick. I only realized one second too late to do anything. So did you get caught with it as well? Yeah, I was just on the inside of the AoE. Oh my god. I, I thought got I was far enough away by being under him. Apparently, I was wrong. He's one fart-filled sarcophagus. Alright, uh... Yeah, I wish I could do more, but I, like, I can't even come close to this guy. That's okay. I, I'm, I'm the dragon hunter for a reason. Oh yeah. That's fair. Here to lend my assistance. My sign should be down. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Vale, what song are you humming there? Do, do, do. The song from Big Lebowski when he crashed his car? Oh, the Mentos song. How did that song go? All right, no more dinking around. We almost had him. If I got one more cast off, that would have been it. Son of a! 
I believe in us. So I guess in this game, this is a normal thing for you to just like run by a boss that's way too strong. Like, uh, uh, that's not for me. Like yeah, my my I current level right now, there'd be no that. reason for me to fight this guy. They they set it up that way so that you you get smoked once and you're like maybe I shouldn't be here. Okay. Well, the hell with that. Or you just invite a friend in who's on New Game Plus with hot spells. Take him to Bowtown. <laughs> oh my God. Bloody finger again. All right, he wants round two here. Is this like a hot PVP area or something? It sh really shouldn't be. Usually people are invading inside the castle. Ah, there he is. Coming from the same direction. Alright, bloody finger, you a-hole. Hey! You want some more of this, bloody finger? Eh, he's got the Poindexter hat on. Oh, you're going to pound town. Hey! <laughs> I like how your guy has a voice. Uh-oh. I ran right into a wall. Oh, God, he's a gravity sorcerer. Well, he doesn't know who he's freaking dealing with. Get smoked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you did all the damage and I get all the... All the well, his mistake tea was making a cast while I had a ranged spell equip. The second he got stuck in that animation, that was a perfect time for me to hit him with a lightning bolt. He'll be a stream sniper, I don't know. <laughs> Grimoire. Who's stream sniping? Who's the dead man stream sniping? Well, they got an 0-2 record here. Alright, I'm not even going to put my health on. I just got to get the goddamn bolluses on. For the love of frick. Alright, here we go again. Oh, <laughs> looks like you got a piece of him with that one. Come on, do your roar. There you go. No, 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 no. Bolluses! I'm gonna munch these things down until the cloud is gone. I can't put the bolus on! Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm getting like staggered by the attack. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, he evaded. I got him a little bit. No. Bad dragon. Oh, he's going to eat it on this one. No. Uh -oh. Okay, he got you with that one. This is close. Can Ratty Boy finish it off from here? His stomp kicks up Scarlet Rot. I didn't even realize it. Frick. I only noticed after I saw my health disappear. <laughs> he blew it. I'm not doing a lot of damage like this. Oh, I went to do a dodge and got fricked. If you bleed him one more time, you got this. In, ratty boy! In, ratty boy! Oh, God! No! Oh, no. Ah, get him, Red! Get him! Oh, man! Baklava, you took me halfway way to there. Go. All the way there. Goddamn! Nicely right. done. That's, that's some epic <laughs> goddamn <laughs> Elden Ring action. There you go. Desi's like, go for the taint every <laughs> dragon. <laughs> sa, 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 sa. <laughs> oh, my God. That's pretty good. Holy smokes. All right, I got to go back to the grace before this gets all fricked up. But, man, Baklava, you're doing like 80% of the damage. And then I just got to flail about until hopefully I get that last 20% there. And oh, I got really so lucky. Big. His attacks, he didn't do any Scarlet Rod attacks after that. Yeah, huh? he decided I needed to die. But there, the, the, the cool thing about the big AoE lightning is it's 
eight bolts of lightning play. hitting multiple times. So if it's a really big target, it'll do a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a tough guy, though, because uh, you have to basically be in the Scarlet Rot super zone just to cast it, right? Yep. That was uh, that but was I got a... you halfway there. That was the important part. More than half, but yeah, I, I needed a good two solid volleys, and he picked the wrong attack on each one. Ah, that went perfectly. Where the hell is my bonfire? And you should have a ton of runes right now. Wait, can I just teleport there? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I got runes galore. That was like 30 or 40. Thou, in the bank. There you go. I, I wish I could drop you all the runes I'm currently holding. Just, like, they don't do anything for me anymore. So they don't let you do that in multiplayer? Um, no. I can drop uh, golden runes, but I don't have any left. That's all good. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see. Uh, oh, more... wait, no, I lied. I have some in my box. I had that many that they were getting stored? What? <laughs> I don't need these anymore. That's all right. You know what? It might violate the spirit of the game to get level up items. I mean, at least we had to put in the work with that one. We had to go in there, take this guy to Pound Town, live the dream. I mean, this is Florida. That I don't believe anything violates the rule. <laughs> Here, here's all the end game weapons. Here's a fully keen pair of claws. All right, well, I don't. How many hearts do I got left here? Purchase. Uh, what did I collect? I got something from that guy too. Oh, the dragon heart. Yeah. So there should be uh, a temple in this zone. There's also one back in Limgrave, but you have to work your way to it. Uh, to commune with the dragon idol, and you can use or sacrifice the, the dragon hearts to get dragon abilities, which are spells. What? That's awesome. This game has really yeah. uh, layered so much stuff on top of itself. I'm very impressed with how much they've, they've layered in here. But in typical fashion, they're like, we're not going to tell you about any of it. Come on. You don't get to know about any of this stuff. It looks like the Erd tree is right in front of me. How is that possible? It'd be like way over there. Looks oh, like that's it's... a tiny Erd tree. That one there is a tiny one? There, there, there's a tiny Erd tree and then there's a really big one. Well, that's not the big one. The, no, that is the big one. Why does the it look like it's... The smaller glowy trees are, are where you find more of those tears for your flask. What? Yes. Like these trees here you're seeing? Like the one yeah, that little tree, it, there will be a guardian there that when defeated will give you more cracked tears. More cracked tears. Oh, what? God damn it. I need that. I need more of that in my life. But look at this. If, if you see what I'm seeing here, the Erd tree is in front of this mountain range. How can that be? That means that it's like it, right over there. That is very misleading. It, it's, it's actually really far away. All right. That's what I would have thought. Well, maybe you can just always like maybe it's like a rainbow. You can always see the Erd tree. You can never actually get to it. I can't wait for the expansion. The Shadow of the Year Tree is going to be bonkers. All right. Well, hey, we'll we'll end on that. Tell me, uh, do, what do you know about the expansion? Have they announced anything about it? There's a lot of rumors coming around that we're going to see a trailer drop soon. God damn. And a release date. I believe that's going to happen in February, but they've been very hush-hush about it. Okay, so they haven't announced anything specific, because I wonder if there's going to be a new area, or if they're just going to populate this uh, this world map, which is already humongous, with new stuff. Interesting, interesting. All right, I need some crack. If only tears, I was man. still in regular game and not new game plus. So you wouldn't recommend <laughs> Everything doing... Everything hits harder. Yeah, that's true, actually. So when you come into my game, though, you have end game skills, but you're not doing as much damage as you were, or you have less health than you would have? I have less health and my uh, my faith. All, all of my stats are scaled down, but it's not significant enough that I'm not doing any damage, apparently. Hmm. God damn it, this thing looked like it was right around the corner. Oh, that's actually not so far. But yeah, my health is like significantly nerfed because uh, what, what level are you? Oh, that's a good question. Ratty Boy's current level is 51. I'm a hundred and... 39 levels ahead of you. So I'm uh, so how does it know how much health to give you then? Wait a second. Hot loot. That I'm not certain. Starlight shards. The hell are starlight shards? Sharpen oh. all over myself here. So 
Starlight shards are used for an NPC. You sell them to him, and he gives you uh, puppets. Okay. <laughs> Those puppets are summons that you can use while playing alone. I see. Well, goddammit, this tree's nowhere near me. I thought I was living the dream, but now I'm just living a goddamn nightmare. Oh, yeah, no, the, you, you can totally get there, but not from that direction. You'll, no. uh, that's, that's death. There's a ravine in the way. A whole ocean in the way. This one looks like yeah, it's actually I'm pretty sure close. You can swim. Just dip a toe in it, right? It's not gonna hurt you. It's only Florida. All right, this game, I can see where this game goes off the rails. You're like, well, I'm gonna go to that tree and get something, but there's hot loot over here. God damn. You can get lost just finding stuff. It's yeah. so much fun. But the thing I like that, you know, you can do that in Elden, or uh, no, uh, Elder Scrolls games as well, but at least in this game, like, the, the combat is fun. So it's, it's like, I don't know, I would prefer my open world games to be more like this than Elder Scrolls open world. I want to have a reason to be going around doing stuff. There we go. Speaking of Elder Scrolls style games, I'm actually really looking forward to Avowed. What is that? I haven't heard about that. That is an Obsidian uh, open world RPG based on the style of Elder Scrolls. Huh. Maybe they're going to show them how it's done. What uh, what is Obsidian known for? Uh, Obsidian did Fallout New Vegas. I see. Did they also do Alpha Protocol? I want to say yes. I really liked Alpha Protocol. I like it in theory. I think it, in practice it kind of had some problems. It did and have issues. Little a-hole stuck on the wall. This is bogus, man. This is gross. Uh, All right, frick them up. The bug the, people. The yes. Aeonian butterfly. Hey, whatever I got to do for some hot loot, all right? All right, well, thank you for that, Baklava. We took the dragon down. That was the most epic we could hope for. Like, I, I when this game works, uh, with when the multiplayer works and it's a close fight, it really does feel fun. And it's always felt like that, right back to Demon Souls. Like, the, the challenge is very fun. I always encourage people, like, when you can, invite people into your game. Especially if you're getting your butt kicked, but for some reason on stream, I'm like, no, I gotta be the ultimate badass who does it all by himself. But it's fun when, when it works out well like that. Oh man, that was epic. I'm always happy to play. You just shoot me a line when you want some assistance. Oh god. Well, I'm glad. I'm uh, I'm glad you take time out of your day to help old ratty boy out. Cause yeah, there's no way that dragon is meant to be fought this early in the game. That's for sure. No. <laughs> well, we took him to Pound Town. We did it like a couple of studs, and we took stupid. Fart ring or fart finger or whatever his name was. We took him down to Pound Town twice as well. Getting yes, fricked. Yes, the two invaders. So th those are two players. Like two separate ones that both had a ring or finger name? Yeah, the, the, the finger, uh, in, invading finger or whatever is their title as an invader. Oh, okay. Just like I'm the, uh, 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 like the, whatever it's called, furled finger assistant or something. Oh, okay. All right. That's the fine. ones you really want to worry about are the recusants, because those guys have just done nothing but invasions and have completed the PvP storyline. So they're the King Rascals. Got it. Yeah, recusants are a pain in the ass. Alright, well, they don't know who they're dealing with with the goddamn Fred Couple super fans here. Alright, yeah, that is gross. All right, I'll, uh, I'll leave you off there, Baklava. If you're around tonight and we're still getting fricked up, you know I'll definitely... Uh, I'll definitely accept any more uh, heroics from you. Of oh course. I'm happy to help. I'm just going to chill and watch. Ah. Get my butt kicked here. Nope, not like this ratty boy. Not after that heroic dragon victory. All right. Oh, damn. need to get these guys out of my face for one second. I'm gonna go over to Discord. All right. All right. We'll call you again if there's any need for it. Baklava, everybody. The man. Anytime. All right, Ratty Boy's flying solo again, everyone. It's nice to just have Baklava pop in there, isn't it, everybody? All right, and Old Obsidian uh, did Baldur's Gate and Fallout 1 and 2. Florida sounds fun. It's accurate, Florida. Imagine having swamp ass all the time. God. 
It's a nice thing about living somewhere cold, am I right, Shorty? Can't get swamp ass, it's too cold out here. Well, I was gonna go to that tree over there, but now I got sidetracked by the notion of hot loot. And the promise of hotter loot. I see this dog waiting to sneak around. Gotta roll for it! Roll! Stupid dog got me. Frick. I got stuck on that little ledge. Fine. We already got the dragon. Live like kings. I don't know where this thing is. Uh, and the danger doodles? Dude, we had minus 29C yesterday, and then I'm sure they said, but the wind chill makes it feel like minus 50. What does this minus make it feel like nonsense? Oh, Dan, you want a piece of the big dog? I know that's your dog, Dan. That's the haircut you always get for him. All right, I don't know where the stake of Marika is. It better not be way back there. All right, everyone. All right, maybe I'll just leave these stupid a-holes to their own devices. I've got a tree to go find. Am I right? Uh, where was it? That one there. Because here's the thing, everyone. Baklava said that those trees contain a cracked tear, which makes my flask heal me even more. Go to hell. going on that tower. I bet something nefarious. I bet they're holding their farts in in there. That is nefarious. Hey, check it out, everyone. Found a grace. Under fire. Quentin. Off the horse, sir. Nailed it. The nefarious... N A N R T or F R T. It's time to F A R T Y because I gotta. What's this thing? This looks uh, very nefarious. Use bullseye telescope. A bird's eye telescope found in various areas to get bird's eye view of the terrain. Uh, all right. Okay. Why in the hell would I do this? Why would this just be here of all places? That tree, no, that tree's a red herring. It's not over there. That's the one we want to get to. suppose we could get that one, too. All right, and disengage. I swear it said, use the birthday telescope? Yeah, that sounds fun. No Florida rod right here. It froze to death. That's a cold one, Shorty. We've been having some minus 20 uh, days as well. That one the other day was, with wind chill, feels like minus 50. Wow. That's like, you open up the door to your house too long, you're just going to die standing in your living room. Definitely death range cold. For those, oh, okay, what the hell's going on here? For those wondering... In cool runnings, when they step outside at the airport and it's all windy and freezing, that was minus 24. Because it says. All right, are these hugsters? Oh, God. A cunning strategy. Okay, get your claws on for the love of God. Ain't blowing up on me. 25? These guys are giving me nothing. Dead Beckys. Okay, what the frick? No, 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 no. You see how many of them are coming after me? Jesus, the wazes. What the hell's this thing? Is that another enemy? Oh, for Pete's sake. Yes, it is. Why, yes, it is. 
That's a little Frickster. <laughs> All right. There's no stopping that attack. Sir, you're going to start a forest fire, and I'm not going to allow it. Oh, God, no! I don't know why I'm so hell-bent on killing this guy. For the 1,600 experience points, that's why. I also picked up a fire blossom. How's that tree I was looking for? Is that the one? Yes, sir. Trogdur. Hey, the most. Yes, welcome back in. We're getting out of our mind with the official show. I think you were here on the uh, the weekday streams, right? Well, this is the official one, goddammit. This is where we get out of our mind. Baklava uh, in the chat, and I already took down a goddamn dragon. Way too high level for me. Surprise, motherfucker. All right, pound town. Taking them to it. I want that cracked here. Oh, goddamn, another Grace. Quentin. You guys do get their Grace Under Fire reference, right? All right. Hey, Richard, welcome in, too. All right. Uh, it sounds like BC's getting the goddamn literal hard rain. Right now. We're getting freezing rain here right now. Well, that's the worst thing ever. Regular rain is already annoying. Now it's freezing rain? Ugh. I just sneak by all these a-holes. Maybe they won't notice me. Naked Nick is getting out of his mind. You guys hear that? Something shimmering away. Item ahead. Be a good item, not a teleport me to another location item. Oh god, watch. You probably have to have strength 60 just to lift it. Strength 30. That's your big boy. I think maybe I should experiment with some weapons. I know the reason I haven't been is because you have to upgrade them. My, my claws right now are like level 60. Or no, not level 60. Uh, level... Or like a level... What the hell are my claws? Level 8? Level 8 keen hook claws. So I don't really have anything that can compare to that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I had this badass samurai sword, but uh, eh, it just wasn't really rocking for me. This one. I, I did like this one, the Warhawk Talon. Weathered straight sword. Do have any special abilities? Square off. A little stabby rapier. What does this one do? Causes blood loss buildup. All right, well, we already have blood loss. I don't need to switch blood loss to blood loss. Great sword. Uh, what the hell is this? Maybe we'll just fart around with this one. Unless it gives me fat roll. Yes, it does. That's why we can't play with anything else. Alright. Easy does it, everyone. We're trying to get to that tree right there. Oh, frick. He spotted me. I need to get the hell out of this area. Hey, Seabear, get the hell in here, buddy. Retreat throw up 500 channel points. I have a barf bowl. <laughs> Not feeling well tonight, everyone. Welcome in, Seabeard. I bet you just love seeing old ratty boy get eaten by a giant dog. You got problems, Seabeard. Five of them right here. Although, you can get on that goddamn sea dew with Baklava and I. Damn, where the hell is this? Oh, okay. It's where we need to be. Oh! I'll kill you. Damn. Go to hell, Dan. Right, you know what? No 
pussyfooting around these dogs. We go in, we get out of our minds, all right? He's eating another dead dog. That's uncalled for. See, if I can just get beside them, then I can kill them before they can bite me. What? Did he only give me 300 XP? That's bogus, man. God, is there enough frickin' dogs around here? Eh. Oh, alright. He saw me. Frickin' dog. Damn it. He's got no wind-up. Have you heard the Blight Town song? I haven't. Like a rap song about it? That was a very good fight, Red. Very close match. Thanks, you. Ah, I love that. So good. So encouraging. Maybe I gotta start. No, the Steak of Marika's way farther back. Frick. Why did they even give me that option? What? Stop it! Stop him! Stop him! No, 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 Posed. What kind of move is that? There's no wind-up. Dead Beckys. Get them all a body bag. All these little a-holes a body bag. Just dead Beckys. All right. All right, well, that steak of Marika is actually a really good one. All right, we're going to go get ourselves a cracked bloody tear or whatever it is. All right, we're on easy street now. Sailing. Just cruising it. All right. I sent that message when you got killed in three hits and landed none. It was a sarcastic tone. Oh, goddamn you, Seabeard. Everything Seabeard says is in a sarcastic tone. Wait! Eh? Fight more of these dogs. Those carriages over there. Most of them have chests in them. I already got the chest. And it had a giant sword in it for a heavy. Not for this muscly, muscle bound old man. Alright, Seabeard. Okay. Alright. I'll keep my damn cape on. Thank you very much. I think this is. Jesus Christ. That's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. That's what she said about naked Nick. And. and how the goddamn hell do I get down there? What does this do for me? Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the route. That is funny. That's very funny. What do I just got to leap for it? How the hell? That doesn't seem that far down. Could this be a sniping spot? Do I have to fight all these goddamn pots and pans? Because that is a little... It's asking a little too much. I want a piece of the big dog. I'm gonna give it to him. Obviously. Sand Fricksters! What the hell is this? Hey! Let me be! What are we doing? Alright, how bad do you guys want it? You want it that bad? Hey, he does. God damn him. I'm stuck on nothing! Nick! Naked Nick, run! Hot loot. Hot loot, I said. Naked Nick's not done fricking around. Man, those guys are obsessed with Naked Nick. And with good cause. Oh, that'll cost you Naked Nick. Oh, that's a body I've already dispatched. Oh, Damn it! Activated. Oh, frick zone activated. Thank you, Seabeard. Oh, Dan, you want a piece of the big dog? Dan, this is gonna be you. Oh, Dan, this is gonna be you. Body bag. Frick! Frick! He's free, but his bladder doesn't work so good anymore. Oh, dear lord. 
<sighs> Stab me right in my manties. No, naked dick! Alright, we got him. Is that a statue of Marika? What the goddamn hell happened here? Stumbled into a boss. I'm naked, god dang it. Oh, for heaven's sakes. This can't go well for old Naked Nick. Naked Nick at night. What? What are you doing? Are you insane? All right, cue that music again. <laughs> Dan! God, Dan! I'll kill you. Dan, 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 Dan. Read this, he says. Stake him, Rika. Yeah, I think that was one I passed, right? There she is, she looking flying. Did you see that one guy fall out of the tree and instantly die? That's just how bad he wanted to hug Naked Nick. I can relate. Now let's all go see how much damage we do to this guy. Oh yeah, we got this guy by the balls. How many ballises do I have to guzzle down? Eh. No! Kill you. Stay, Marika. I'll give you some ballises to guzzle, buddy. See here. You can't. All right, Naked Nick's got to put his clothes on. <laughs> Why is he doing so much damage to me? I'm just the naked warrior. All right, you want a piece of the big dog? Well, you're getting the hard rain now, buddy. <laughs> All right. All right. He's got to do one little quick step before he swings his... Just keep dodging, Naked Nick! No. Uh, he is no longer the barfy one. I'm the barfy one, Seabeard. But he uh, survived. It was... I don't know. I think that last barf he had last episode, I don't think that was a scheduled barf. I think that was just like his stomach going like, Are we still doing this? No. Mm -hmm. uh. First things first, you're the illest. Hey, thank you, Artsy Jelly. Let's get ill with it. All right, drink the damn flask. Do the do. Now you hosed up, buddy. What? I rolled at the perfect time. Everyone saw it. Oh, I see what's going on here. Son of a... Hosed me down at my prime. Ah! You spewed goo all over me. I still have Elden Ring installed. I can help you here. It says Seabeard. I see. Well, old Bakova here is also our resident. We just took down Exikes, the dragon. But maybe we'll get three of us in here and triple team this rascal. A 3v boss? Yeah, we might as well. Do we dare, Seabeard? I don't even know how to join people in Air or Elden Ring. Lol! It was a... A false claim. It's gonna join as a red phantom and just start rascaling me around. This guy's attacks just have one second longer delay than you would expect. Hey, tag me. Cut me down at my prime. Eat the balls. 
God, son of a butt. I'm gonna roll right off the edge of this world map. Ah. Hey! It's too small of an arena to be fighting this guy. Dead man coming through. See the delay on that? Oh my word. Now you're in trouble, big boy. Oh, it doesn't go all the way around him. Now I'm learning a thing or two about this dingleberry. Oh, he's still tagging me with it. What a piece of stool. Come on, you gotta bleed, sir. The guy doesn't bleed. Nope, nope. He's still tagging me with it. Uh-oh, I don't know what this does. Ah, God, no, ratty boy! Oh, God, shaved an eyebrow off on that one. Stop rolling because he was charging another attack. Ah! Why would a tree bleed? I know what the, I, most enemies in this game bleed eventually. Damn! 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 That's a pretty good fight. Yeah, we're getting close. It's just I gotta learn to. <laughs> Kill you! Get my body back. You're learning. Yeah, this guy's got very odd delayed attacks, and there's such a—it's such a narrow area. I keep getting caught on these damn things. All right, I'm available for a summon if you wish. I'm at the same stake. No need for a Discord. I'm happy to just be your silent assistant. Are right, you giving me one more box? But we've seen I can do it. But do we want to sit here all day waiting for Rad to just get the perfect attacks lined up? Or do we just want to beat this guy and move on with our day? Eh, you know what I mean? I have 25% of the game installed, lol. Okay, are you installing it right now just for the Seabeard? Because if you are, we'll we'll get you in here. We'll do a three-way power trio. Unless I just take him to Pound Town right now. Which is almost certain. Damn his attack. Oh, I got lucky that didn't go behind me. Oh, it was one of those. Okay, okay. Dungeon to your right side of the tree. You can go in for that if you want. I'm stalling it, but I can't wait for the next boss fight. No worries. All right, that'll be fun to get you on there. Well, we'll get you on the Discord too. We'll do a triple chat. Are you down to chat tonight, Seabeard? Or are you going to also be a silent assassin? All right, if you didn't get that lucky attack at the beginning there, we would have taken him to Pound Town. Now, this is a tree. Baklava said that these trees have uh, cracked tears. That's what I'm here for. Crack tears. Oh, that yeah, he's right at this the right at the foot of it. Alright. No, if we if you can chat, that'd be funny. I think it makes for uh more entertaining content. We had Baklava in the chat. Get you, we'll get you all in the chat. Dang it! Just go ahead and keep doing your crappy attacks, sir. Tag me with it. I 
Ah, they robbed me on that one, everyone. He's just going to keep doing this attack. I got it made in the shade. All right, that was a necessary, necessary heal. All right. Oh, for God's sakes, that's going to cost you everything. Ready, boy? Well, I was stuck on this stupid log anyways. The big game, though, isn't it? Isn't it close to like 100 gigs? <clears throat> Out of my own rage here. <coughs> God. That water went down the wrong way. 48 gig. All right. Wow. That's pretty, that's pretty efficient game. All right. Will Rad be able to dodge his first pinner attack? You decide, everyone. Hey! I have no time for stamina. I got time for stamina. I just forgot that that has an area of effect with that. Dang, I'm mowing this guy down until that one mistake. Ah, signs down. Go on. Go red. Go. I think I can take this guy out, but then, you know what? We'll uh, we'll go into this dungeon, Baklava. We gotta wait for Seabeard anyways. Asteroid Blues? Alright, we're no longer fricked. We got the Frick Zone out of there. Asteroid, I got the Blues, buddy, and the only thing that's gonna cure it... Wolverine is gonna be the new Elden Lord for sure. Snicked. Snicked. And... <laughs> and he's played by Nick Nolte! Come on, that's a good casting. I don't know what the problem is here. He's a little old. It's not too old. You're too old to be Wolverine. Wolverine himself is 100 years old. It's fine. All right, party time. <laughs> not what we're about to party our balls up, Dan. All right, cue up that song. Fred, we need it, buddy. We need it bad. All right, you did it. Asteroid Blues. Kill you. Damn, 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 Two fresh nipple hairs, one per nipple. One curly, one super straight. Take your pick. Ah! You know what? Fred, get in here, buddy! Yeah! Hey, you know better than Frick around, around with Fred, Dan. He's like our guardian angel. Man, feels good. Thank you, Fred. And thank you, Asteroid Blues, for getting out of your mind. Confirm. I'm so close to beating this guy. <laughs> My nipple hairs are the envy of everyone in town. Except for Tino. Tino takes the cake. Obviously, we all know that. There's no point in competing with Tino. Smooth legs. Hairy nipples. That's the only other place than the top of his head that has hair. Silky, though. Wine. It worked out very well. Ah, you guys are a bunch of rascals, eh? Now let's get the hell in here and beat this stupid tree with all the might of Nick Nolte playing Wolverine. Ah! Dan's an a-hole.
All right, stay Marika time. This is actually a pretty good boss, I think. There's not a lot of super cheese here. It's a, it's a, they're just, they're forcing you. Don't stay close to him. When he does that attack, we know you get, you get free attacks from behind, but you can't. You just gotta wait. Okay. You stupid son of a bitch. I didn't expect that. I guess you can't really call this a boss fight per se. Like a micro boss. And he just keeps doing the same attack, which is really not that hard to dodge. Hey! God damn it. See how long the windup was for that? Damn it. He's boss light. Because I shouldn't be able to... <laughs> Usually they have a, a much better way of screwing you over than this. I'm able to get way too many attacks in. Alright, no more hosing around. He doesn't even know where I am. I don't even know where I am. I take me clean and true with that one. I don't know. It seems like I was doing what I usually do, but apparently not. I guess I got the Scarlet Fever there. All right, we got to make sure that I'm trying to salvage blue, blue dodge, but maybe, you know, maybe I got to use my blue dodge. Two blue dodges, then attack. Florida rot. Florida uh, swamp ass. All right, bring them back up here. If Sub Zero is going to be up here, we're going to nail this one right here, right now. All right. Everything I know about this guy has been thrown out the window. Here we go! Here we go! Holy god dang piece of poo. I didn't think he would wind up for his second attack there, it's fine. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, dudes. Okay, roll the other way, ratty boy. Damn scarlet toots everywhere. Me pinned. All right, shaved an eyebrow hair off. That's fine. There we go. Back to the try, tested, and true stink attack. What? You can't do this three times in a row. That's bogus, man. I think it's time for living in the city, Shorty. Ah, this piece of poo. Wasn't it though, Vale? All right, yeah, time to live in the goddamn city. Gonna hose me down like this? Bossomania. I can't get out of Florida. This isn't even where I'm supposed to be in the game, everyone. 
I don't know where I am supposed to be, but there is one thing I'm supposed to be listening to right now. That much has been made clear to me. Let's get it. I tried so hard to wait. Scarlet farts all over me. Can't you see, goddammit? You see what you're doing? No goddamn time for this, man. I thought he dodged that. Ah, take me clean and true. So many feelings to be found. No one except for this guy. City, you know you have to survive. You gotta keep the dream alive. Everything is real, a fantasy. Feel it? So many cases all around. So many things that we found. Dan, you got hosed. Oh, Dan, you got hosed. You hosed me down, Dan. God damn it, Dan. You know you have to survive. I think you caught me with that one. I'm like, keep the dream alive. Yeah, I think you got me. I'm not feeling better. But, you know, playing this game makes me feel better. Back we go. Frick Dan. I had him good and true. You guys saw the rhythm on that one. I had the rhythm in my heart. <laughs> Stars are shining bright today, everybody. It's just a feel good hit. I'm cured, goddammit. I feel a million times better. What the hell's he waiting for? Do something. No, 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 I totally, I was zoned out. Damn it, you go too early, you get hosed. Oh, 
Is he glunning? A little victory lap here? All right, here we go. Hey, God, no. Am I gonna jump right off the world map here? Frick, the frick am I? Oh, dang it. He's going for round two. See me juke and jive there for a split second? Alright, we learned everything we need to learn about this guy. There's nothing he can do to hurt us now. Oh god, I'm stuck on a log. A bump on a goddamn log. Play this one safe. Heal up. Damn it. Run for Marty! Oh god. Doing it again? This guy, I tell you. Look at him. He has no idea where I am. Come on, play it cool here, buddy. Ah, for Pete's sake. Uh, no, not like this, ready boy. Play it cool, I said. for the last 20 minutes. I know how to do it. Uh, Moonwalker. Is Moonwalker worth watching? Uh, it It's probably the most accessible watch in that you can see. All, like I added a little screen above my head with all the other Fanny's screens on it. So it's the one to watch in the archive, but Jigs was not going easy on the old Michael Jackson jokes. Uh, blame it on the music. This didn't work in that fight. You see how many times he hosed me down with that one? Alright, this time. This is the one. Must have been some geometry I was stuck on or something on that last one. Oh, everything's coming up old ratty boy's way this time. Except I'm getting scarlet fever everywhere. Okay, if I get pelted here, I'm gone. Ah, uh, yeah, you're busy rolling to get away from those things, and then he just waits for you. And he knows you're going to get stuck on a tree. All right, well, Seabared, what do you got? Goddamn Namachuke. Uh, if you got the game working, I'll just get you guys in here. We'll just beat this guy. He's an a-hole. Well, the fact that you're still duping it out in Florida, man. Kudos to you, resilient man. Can't stand this place. It's far filled sarcophagus. All right, we need some pump it up jams here. Pump it up jam. It's installed. I'll boot it up right now. All right, now how do we get this man in here? Uh, we gotta pick it up. Namachuke now, says Dogen. That's the pump-up jam? How the heck do I join? Okay, so I think I have a, um... I have a password here. The password is... Multiplayer. Multiplayer password is Ratty Boy with capital R. Uh, also, I can't do Discord because Eric is asleep. That's fine. We'll do a silent battle here. We'll just get both you guys in here. Dogen, that is blasphemous. 
They are on level playing field. Um, but then I don't know what... Baklava, how would we explain this? Because I don't know how Baklava's been joining my match. This guy's done! Yo, this dude's getting fricked! Alright, GS is saying, oh, I'm also playing, uh, Monster Hunter World again, because I watched you and remembered how fun it was. Well, then we'll have to get you in there as the fourth. Uh, hold two eyes. Thanks, Influencer. That's my new, uh, career choice. Alright, uh, Dogen. You guys don't understand the magic of living in the city. Okay, but I am FM, and this one's not FM. Jake's rip ripping Michael a new one. And he's a fan. The tunes are a little loud here. I don't know why this song comes in so goddamn hot. Alright, Seabeard. You gotta use the furled finger to leave the sign where he's at. So do you, can you get to this area, Seabeard? Uh, we're at the Stake of Marika, just in front of that tree. Brad, can you show us my... Yeah, that is a good idea. That is a hot idea. Pro tips from Bakuba. Right. Right here, in the minor urge tree. Right around here. On my way. All right. Now I can see what Seabeard's heavy looks like. Man, this is so overkill for this guy. Okay, Muggin, get the hell back in here. Never mind, just glimpsed at your map. It looks like uh, you didn't yet. What are you saying? Hey, Matt, did you manage to make it to the castle that is in the far southeast of Caleb? The far southeast. Over here? Not yet. How do I do? Oh, there's a bridge. Yeah, I was fighting. Uh, I was going to head that way because I was looking for a grace, but then I decided to go fight that dragon over here. And then I made my way down here, and now I'm trying to get Erd trees to get cracked tears. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Now, I've been fighting this guy for 20 minutes. He's not especially hard, but the geometry has hosed me down big time. Well, we're going to get three of us to come in here and just pound this guy. Alright, let me, uh, where the hell is the damn statue? Oh, it's right here. Right in front of my goddamn face. <laughs> Souls King Zeus! Get the hell in here, buddy. Uh, if you're playing Xbox, I could help. Well, I got a couple of rascals on PC coming in here. This guy does... I do not need help for this guy. But you know what, Souls? This guy... It, we're gonna triple-team this guy into oblivion. And he's just gonna explode into dust in front of our face. Alright. I have him. Souls is welcome in here. We're having a great time. We're playing as naked Nick Nolte. Maybe I should go naked just to balance it out. I don't know. All right, you guys, uh, you let me know when you're here, Seabird, and then I'll put my damn furled finger down. Or I'll furl some fingers here. Or furl calling finger remedy frick. And welcome to the fold, by the way. Glad you're here. Uh, every Sunday, I'm getting out of my mind playing this game, and several times throughout the week, if I can swing it, you know, work and things, you don't have time to play through things, but Sunday, I get out of my mind. That's an official, the official night where I get out of my mind, and I need you back in here next Sunday. All right. You're, I'm OMW. Um, what? I'm bad with acronyms. Alright, also, if you're a Discord user, that Discord's just waiting for you, buddy. No pressure. It's a good time. We're having a good time. Okay, put mine down. Hell yeah. I'm gonna furl some fingers right now. Sick of this. Alright, who do we got here? Touch the gold sign. There's Stormcaller back. The Baklava himself. And now we're looking for Seabeard. The bearded one. You better have the biggest goddamn weapon I've ever seen, Seabeard. My name is Wii U. Is this a separate one? Alright, we got Stormcaller here. And I'm looking... Do I have to put another furled finger down? Just to see the next guy? Hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 you gotta use Ratty Boy. That's all one word, capital R. Eh?
Do you have a multiplayer password? I do, yeah, it's good call, Zeus. I'm sorry, says Seabeard. No worries, buddy. For victory this sweet, we can wait. We can take this guy to Pound Town. Okay, I put it in. Wait, some little finger a hole is coming in here. All right, Bakova, we got an invader. Let's take him to Pound Town. Bakova's AFK! I'm fricked up, fool! You know what the frick you're dealing with here? Yep. You get the spinning spin of justice. All right. Uh oh, I triggered the goddamn boss. Where's? Uh, hold on. I got you. You're coming in, Seabeard. All right, stay alive for a second, Bakova. We got to take this guy down once Seabeard gets in. Oh, dear lord. All right, we're going to do this again. We're going to go again. Because <laughs> Bakova got smoked. Ah, it stinks in here. Oh, good. All right, we're going to try this again. Don't, don't worry, Mark Game. We're going to get this. That's OP. GG. Did you see how sick that move was? All right, we beat the hell out of the rascal at the very least. It's fine. Now, we'll get this going. We gotta get the right tune playing. You know, if we're gonna get all of us in here, we might as well do it right. Alright. This boss has been rascaling me for half an hour, even though he really shouldn't. I got one step too close, and then he came after us. Alright. Here's one. Call him in. There's two. Call him in. We're ready to live in the city, a bunch of rascals. I got stretched. I don't want to pull a hammy. Stormcaller back, ready to rock. All right, you guys ready to get out of your minds? All right, let's go frick them up, dudes. No mercy. All right, this is a goddamn Elden Ring dance party. Oh, you fricked up, dude. Well, and I fricked up immediately. <laughs> Guys, take care of him while I get killed. Living in the city, you know you have to survive. You gotta keep the dream alive. Everything is... I can't even tell what the hell is going on. There's so much magic in the screen. Oh, he's farting all over us. A fantasy. So many things Here's the team. Did we, did we whip him? Good job, boys. The best friend brigade, brigade is back in town. All right, thank you for that, boys. I, I almost died in that fight. There was so much magic on the screen. I couldn't even tell what I was looking at. I don't understand. Is he doing his area of effect attack? All right. And that's how we do it. You guys want to mess with the big dogs? With the big dog brigade? I don't think so. And right, now we can turn the tunes back on. Plenty more where that came from, a-holes. All right. Thanks for having me. A er tree in the city. <laughs> er tree in the city, you know you have to survive. All right, so that was a cracked tier we just got. Uh, he didn't really look. I was too busy celebrating. Uh, uh, or do I still have to find something here? There's a dungeon ahead, says Baklava. One of those throwaway dungeons. Get in, one and done. No one of you guys is going to come and try and get me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Seabeard, you want to go do a dungeon with the Bakuva Knight? What the hell is that blue thing? Oh, it's a dude with a goddamn bow and arrow. No, thanks. Aha. Uh -huh. Try luring it out. If you ever need me again, I'll keep switching to a different massive weapon. So you have a f uh, you got a few favorites? All right. Well, why don't we uh, roll through this dungeon together? No pressure, everyone. I will lay my furled finger down here. Or my furl calling finger. Looking for furled fingers? The... Uh, Charge up. Uh, uh, flasks. Increase. Add charge. No, I don't have the seat. What is this one? Increase amount or replenish flask. Sacred tier. Is that what I got? No. Allocate flask charges. This man, you can allocate the number of charges. Oh, hell yes. Well, that's no good. I don't want to do that. I thought I collected something I needed to do something with a flask. I wasn't really looking. On PC, yeah. As you lived, damn it. Oh, it's still there? That's up to you. It's still active. So if you guys are up there still, or you guys want to put one down here, whatever you got. It's still active? Oh, you guys are down here? Is that one of you guys? That is Stormcaller back. Alright, so if you put it down here somewhere, Seabeard, you will come back in and we will rectify all the wrongs. I'll go there too. Yeah, we're on PC King Zeus. Uh, all these rascals are uh, all PC as well. While we're waiting, I gotta see what the hell did I even pick up? No idea. It was green and it was circular. That's all I saw. And I oh, I can't look through all of my stuff while I have people invaded. All right, what the hell's going on around here? Oh, that was you rolling. Thought it was an invader. All right, is this? We would like to play. Frick him up, back of up. Done fricked. All right, down at the bottom. I picked up something for my flask. All right, I thought I did. I don't see what it is. All right, what the hell are you working with here? That looks like the thing right out of uh, Bloodborne. Are right, you looking swole, brother? What the hell's going on here? You done doing crazy moves? All right, hop aboard, you bunch of crazies. No mercy! Dead Beckys. Oh, God damn, something pelted me good. All right, I thought he was significantly stronger than that. All right, pulling the lever. I didn't even see that we missed a door. Was there a door? Eh. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're getting scarlet fever in here. Yeah. Got an invader, eh? 
damn it, I got the Scarlet Rot. Bloody Finger Vanquished. Man, that guy didn't do much. <laughs> Fricked him up. Oh god, there's baddies in here. Alright, good job, crew! My claws don't seem to be doing very much against these guys. Is there a door in here or something? Oh, God. Is that a door over there? Ah, it stinks in here. Man, my guy does jack all damage to these guys. Unless they bleed or something. Gave them the business. How the hell do we get up there? What are you doing over here? Uh, right. I mean, is there even a thing in here? All right, doesn't seem like there's anything in here. Watch out, Seabeard! We go down this pit. All right. Anyone else want a piece of the uh, best friend brigade? Man, we're buff as hell. Oh, God. More stinky bog. All right. Frick these guys. Eh. You get off my best friend. Oh man, that does some damage, doesn't it? Holy freaking lord, Bakuva. That thing did it like a whole health bar's worth of damage. Alright, duly noted. Seabird, don't let him touch you! Is this another statue of calling friends? Man, Bakuva got one hit. I'll head down to the door. Alright, can we call you in again? Cut him down at his prime. I was only joking before. Don't roll in the rot. Oh, okay. And rolling apparently fricks you up in the rot. Gives you the shakes. Why, why am I still getting scarlet fever? I'm nowhere near the scarlet fart zone. You're beautiful. <laughs> thank you, Seabeard. Should I say thank you, Seabeard? That was nice of you to say that. All right. You mean down here, Baklava, or do we have to wait in here? There is a statue here. I'll take a piece of the big dog. Alright, well, so you got all the range. I can't even come close to these guys. If they could take one bite out of me. Ah! Got him. All ratty boy. Ah! I have uh, apparently not done it in my game. Up at the door. Wait, what do you mean, uh, Bakova? up a goddamn glass shard that's odd right, 
wow, this Scarlet Fever is no joke, man. Oh, so you... Oh, here we go. That's funny. We can just call you back in. Dynamic lighting. Alright. No more goddamn blobs. Oh, it's right to the boss. Alright, let's do this, everyone. Are you ready, Seabeard? Welcome to Pound Town, boss. Let's get it. Uh oh, we gotta fight two of these a-holes now? I don't remember all the top secret moves to fight this guy. Oh, God. Ow, magic user. Oh, jeez. Tell which attacks are the bad guy attacks or our attacks. But you guys, we did it. And let us all jiggle and rejoice. <laughs> Good job, boys. We got the mad pumpkin head ashes. Nice. I've been waiting for those for a long time. A really long time. Okay, that, that seemed like kind of a low-level boss... Uh, for this area of the game. I mean, I know we beat the hell out of him, but I still feel like that wouldn't have been too hard. Solo. Would have been a pain in the butt. But... So many spells. It's like, man, I'm doing a lot of damage. And bum, 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 bum. Oh, God. All right. Party time. Sometimes I use my unlimited magic flask and then send out six or seven Rikard skull attacks. Well, I don't know what the hell you just said, but it sounds like an effective attack. All right, so we've effectively... I think I've lived the dream enough in fart-filled Florida. I don't know what a sending gate is. But I was up here last I checked. We beat the hell out of this place. And I was supposed to continue going forward, I believe. And we don't even have a single uh, thing to go find up here. Oh, I guess that means we haven't been there yet. All right, fine. Hey, get game! Get in here. I see Rikard's Rancor. The Fort of Sacks one. Nice. All right, Gek is approving of your moon maneuvers, uh, Seabeard. All right. Well, I'll just, I'll travel over here. I don't know what else to do. Living in the city, no. Red lightning. It's fun. Okay, how the hell do I get out of this place? Jump off the edge? No, that doesn't seem like the right call. Why is it telling me to go back in? Why would these little fairies tell me to go back in? Is that the exploding sorcery? Examine the seal. Oh, we want to go the other way. This way? Hell, which way is up? Alright, I guess it is this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I already went over this way, but I think we have to jump down now. Magma Sorcery. You guys are out of your mind with super high level stuff. All I have are these claws. They're level 8. That doesn't really get you much though. I guess we have already been this way. YOLO! <laughs> the 
hell do I get down then? I biffed it. Got me, I biffed it. Alright, let me go get my souls. Hopefully they're not sitting at the bottom. Claws truly are the ultimate weapon, Dogen. They look so badass. How can you not use these claws? But I need I need more abilities on them. I need like uh flame claws or magic power claws, something. It's the only a-hole without super special abilities. Moonvale! That's where I gotta go. Oh yeah, I gotta take this uh glintstone key to some jerk. Is that one of those uh duplicator guys? It looks like it. Where is the Sub-Zero falling emote? Hey, you guys make emotes, I'll toss them in there. I just don't have time for emotes anymore. Uh, it said it was someone super far east, wasn't it? Is it this thing over here? Get back up here, Sub-Zero! The Schmoon Schmail. Uh, if I go down here and then just ride my horse across all the water, I could get up here. Why have I seen this guy? I've already met Fingerita Crone. Dogen, do you not use channel rewards? How many channel points are you sitting on? You must have a nest egg. Oh, man! Get him a body bag. All right. Well, why don't I go here and just see what's going on over here? This looks like a very... A uh, place that should have some hot stuff going on in it. I think I've done channel rewards twice now. I have a lot of points. Okay, well, one thing I got to do then, I have to read my... Uh, I got a golden seed? Hell yeah. Temporarily boost stamina, recovery speed, in mixed physic. Okay. I got one of those from this guy then. Temporarily boost strength in mixed physic. Fire attacks! Okay, I'm getting some hot, hot upgrades here. Enhances charge attacks for uh, mixed area. We don't need that. There's something that tells you what you gotta do next. I don't remember what it is though. I had like an item. Meeting place? Mm, no. We've already done the meeting place. Someone lurks among the waypoint runes in the road through Limgrave! Welcome in Hippo Tax Refund. Get that refund, buddy. Don't let the man get you down. They? Them? The government? Alright. I uh, need to uh, need a who's that Pokemon redeem and then that's revealed you're making a weird smile smirk It's just my regular smirk. Good luck with the playthrough and have fun. Thank you Gek. Back to work he goes um, Which area you find these mm, About the cave knowledge Man it's if you play this game once a week as I've been doing it is way too easy to get lost now I have no idea what I'm supposed to do I just go over here. I'll travel over here, ride my horse to the edge of the water, go up, live like a king. I don't see a problem with it. Lernia of the Lakes. I don't even remember how I got here. I got teleported here, didn't I? And then there was a big ass dragon. That's right, we were going this direction. Wow, choppy. We were going in this direction. Is that where this is spitting? Yeah. All right. Game can't handle its forest, apparently. They might as well make it a whole family. Ah, they got away. And I just made a Batman origin story for a goat. Some a hole, some naked old man came by and stabbed my whole family. And I'll do it again. I'm out of my mind.
why on earth are these red jellyfish hiding by this dilapidated uh, wagon? That's the hot backstory we we desperately need. I should probably have used my levels, my grace to level up. That's too late now. Onward. How tough could this guy be at? Oh, man, he's got magic using a-holes. Spotting him. Guy behind me shooting at me? What the hell's going on here? All right, who's the dead man peppering me up top? Wow, he's really far away. All right, we're out of our mind, clearly. Ah, for frick's sake. Not Benji. Hey, ratty boy, you gotta want it, buddy. God damn it. Spoiler of what it is, uh, what's really fun, Rad, is that the Spirit Ashes, you can get as you approach the later half of the game. It's a spoiler what it is, but it's so much fun. I just splashed myself with water. God damn it. All right, hey, Hippo, if you're still watching, that Discord is waiting for you, buddy. If you're a Discord user. And this area is hard and heavy on the old graphics card. And I'm rocking the most expensive graphics card you can get. And it still can't handle this area. I am running it on maximum settings, but still. Remember when Rad played old games? Stick around, Yong Street. We're going to play Castlevania 3. And you guys are going to see just how crappy it is. Sick of all these people that are like, Castlevania 2 is crappy. Wow. Castlevania 2 is a goddamn masterpiece. It's just poorly translated at the time, but that much dialogue in a game, it's unusual. We'll get back there, Nostalgia. We'll get back to that, Nostalgia. I think I paid my dues, Young Street. I've earned a couple of modern games. Ow, ah, for frick's sake. A few a-holes kill me. It was this damn dog that got me. There, this time. Ratty Boy's the one bringing the hard rain. Let me go get my grace before I lose it all. God, we busted him up. Hey, Choitus Blue, 1422, get the hell in here. Glad to have you in here. Playing a little Elden Ring with my buddies on the internet, eh? Ah, we're having fun, huh? Oh, what'd you do to all my friends? Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Man, I would love to go bust this guy up. Little dingleberry shooting me up from the uh from on up there. Ah, he's still doing it! That's it. Alright, Marksman Rad is getting out of retirement here. I don't even care. Oh, uh We gotta adjust for the wind here. Did we whip him? I love a Pete. This is hot entertainment. Hot content coming through. Keep it up, buddy. I don't need this goofy crap in my life. <laughs> Look how many arrows he has in him. I wish I could see how much damage it was doing. And that's all the arrows I had. Well, I guess it's safe to say these arrows don't do any damage from a distance. Mm-hmm. 20 unanswered magic missiles to the face. 
For anyone that wasn't watching in the last hour, Rad fought a tree, Volva monster, Seabeard, and I helped out. I died. Unceremoniously. Much jolly cooperation was said. Yeah, we did have some good fun. I got ringers in the wing, alright? So if this game wants to rascal me, <clears throat> at any given point, I can just rascal the game back. But you know, when you're playing this game offline, it's part of the fun. But when you're playing it online, you don't want to halt up your entire stream because one boss has a hard-on for being a dingleberry. Sometimes. I, well, I fought the guy for 20 minutes. Said, ah, to hell with it. Paid my dues. Sometimes it's fun to just flex on some fools. Like this fool. Ah, he got away. It's weather balloon land. This guy's problem. Oh, that's not an NPC. What the hell's going on down here? Races around here? Might be stepping into a world of hurt here, everyone. Well, I guess it's too late. I already hopped down. Alright, well, time to give this guy the hard rain. Man, I'm out of my mind. He stole our throwing daggers! Are you kidding me? Who? Where was this guy hiding? Under a pile of dead bodies. Okay. Uh, Desi's butt, says a young street. Desi's still in here. All right, I'm glad Desi's still in here. So look at that cod piece. All right, well, you know what? What's a little risk here, all right? I'm clearly too powerful for these guys. Nick Nolte is naked with a cape on. How about a little uh, incentive to keep watching everyone? Will Ratty Boy lose his level up? All I need is a grace. We get one grace, that's a level up. Not before I get some crystal blood. Ah. <laughs> Roach. Say Roach. <coughs> All right. Um. If I were a game developer, where would I place another grace? Is that a little a-hole? No. Just playing a little soccer. Hey, Pele. Just like Pele is king of the soccer field. Grace? How many souls you got? Oh, you guys can't see. Yoink! No, you still can't see. Yoink! Yeah. Yeah. 1747. Or 17,000 ish. That's a level up. All right. All right. Hot loot coming up. Actually playing through Demon Souls on my PS3. Hell yeah! Demon Souls is legit. Is that your first time, Yong Street? That your first Demon Soulsing? Because Demon Souls is just it goes down smooth as hell. Oh, this is not happening. I don't need this. I'm naked, goddammit. I'm gonna this goofy crap. What am I scared of? I'm goddamn naked Nick. Naked Nick at night. I don't know how much stamina I got. I don't have to play it cool. I can just spam the hell out of this. Oh, okay, this is way too many dudes! Alright, naked Nick ran away. I guess I could just hop on my horse, right? Air. Jeez, we got lo lobsters and crabs everywhere. I don't see any grace. How am I going anyway? 
Oh, this is the right way. Hold on. Hot loot abound, everybody. It's golden rune twos. Not even worth it. But when am I going to be here again? <laughs> Naked Nick is stealing. Oh, man. He's making out with this place. <laughs> That's how you do it. Oh, God. That's how you do it. Oh. Can't be stopped, won't be stopped. Like I should have come across a grace by now. Not like a super bad guy, is it? Naked Nick and Knight. I love it. <laughs> That's the new name of the stream. For next Sunday. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, there's got to be something in there, right? You think? Yeah. Oh, oh. No, just a goddamn flower. I'll kill you. Damn, 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 damn. All right, uh, how many Chuck E. Cheese tokens can we get for 1744 7? Not nearly enough. Now all the arcades have the swipe card, right? What a sad state of affairs. Well, I got some smithing stone. Run, Naked Nick! Uh, youngster saying, can't we convert these souls to, uh, CTM? You can only convert them to rad bucks. Alright, we're fine. We'll go on the horse. On a mission here to find a grace. We're being stingy. Oh. Walk away, not today. Oh, I'm going backwards. This is not the direction I want. All right, is there a statue over here or something? No. Only up there is my statue. All right, well, either way, I got to go up there. Fine. We'll unlock the statue, and then we'll finally know where we need to go. And now that I have my horse, it won't take me very long. Not the lobsters. Yeah, the lobster kicked my butt pretty good last week. Or the week before, I can't remember. Goddamn lobsters and crabs, no karate. It's out of control. What the hell are these things? All right. Well, I don't want to find out. I don't want to find out that bad thing. Is that a grace? Go for it. Ratty boy, you gotta want it. Ah, oh, we graced out, dudes. Young, we're hating on Sony again. PS forever, baby. Wait, why is Young Street hating on the PS? Uh, up. There you go. There we go. And the adventures of Naked Nick conclude. We made it to the grace. We can level up. All right. Ooh. I like how my bow does more damage than my actual main weapon. Eh. It's fine. We're dexing out of our minds. Now, I have something for my flask. Add charge to flask. No, we need three golden seeds. 
increase the amount of uh, sacred tear. Did I get this thing? No sacred tear in memory. I thought I had. All right. Uh, that's all he does is look at Discord status on weekends. <laughs> like, hold on. Hold on. What's he playing right now? Nintendo for life, baby, says Seabeard. You know, I would like a Nintendo 64. If I could get a Nintendo 64 uh, with an actual controller, I would I would maybe play through, like, Goldeneye on a proper controller with the proper uh, sensitivity. I don't know what the hell the sensitivity is doing. When you try and emulate a Nintendo 64 controller with any other controller, it just, the sensitivity, it's borked. You can't do it. Lego Star Wars Skywalker Sega, easily the best Star Wars game made in the past decade. I know a lot of good merchants. What's the, uh, do you know roughly what the price would be? Uh, you know, maybe at some point in the future, that's on my docket. Well, we gotta explore this thing, right? I don't know what the hell this is. Got nothing to lose. Fresh out of souls. What do we got? Oops, alright, well, wasted one of those. Seek three wise beasts. Or just go in here and beat the hell out of all these rascals. Sneak attack. You must solve the puzzle to enter. I like how they actually tell you. Alright, seek three beasts. Guys are a wee bit alarming how strong they are. All right, we need to seek three wise beasts. But I don't really feel like doing a puzzle right now. Is that a wise beast? The dead beast. Rad, you're not supposed to kill it. You were supposed to pet it. Naked Dick doesn't pet anything. You have to solve the puzzle to enter. I'm blown away that they would even tell you that. They're nearby. All right. I guess around 60 bucks, but let me see. Uh, Rad, look for the blue spear turtles. All right. We found one blue spear turtle. I'm sure they're just all around the perimeter here. Isn't that crazy? The game told me what to do. Solve the puzzle. It won't lay in unless you solve the puzzle. It's very unlike them. We gotta get back up top. I got no vision down here. Man, this is a leg workout. Right, these little signs are probably telling me where to go. Gonna be a stupid turtle up here, is there? So with these jumping mechanics, there's no way in hell I'm gonna get up there. Alright, eyes peeled, everyone. Uh, there near my... Get myself a new fancy N64 and sell you the one I'm using now for dirt cheap. Why, are you looking to get a new one, Seabeard? Like a designer one? I know you were looking to get back into some speedrunning. Oh god, don't fall down. Like one painted up like Pikachu or something? Tell you, I didn't imagine turtles when they said seek a wise beast. Oh, here's a dead. Dead a hole, Dan. Kill Dan. 
Get him a goddamn body bag. Yeah. Only one more wise beast to go. Let me be honest with you, Rad. I'm 21 days into playing Super Mario 64 every day for six months. Have you noticed like huge gains? Are you are you bumping up against some like top top 100, top 10? Noticing all the signs down there. You should stream it, that Z. You were insane at Super Mario 64. I, I'm surprised you're not streaming it. So you're just playing it? Are you just practicing? That's still pretty cool. You need a doctor for that. Dr. Miyamoto prescribes more Mario 64. That and Grace. If I wait at this Grace, do all the turtles spawn back again? The only one way to find out, everybody. I'm um, grinding practice up until being good enough to stream runs again. Well, so you're not even good enough, you don't even feel. Start st uh, streaming runs in like July or something. You gotta wait till July. You're like training for a. You're like a professional fighter training for a match. No, nah, I need six months training for this. Oh man, I wonder if there's like hot new strats that you gotta learn. And when I'm playing uh, like Mario Odyssey, does the game have like one to one, like all the same moves you're doing? Does the Mario Odyssey community speed run? Are they out of their minds? Oh boy, Rad, I've been the same. Training that long, I am much better than what I used to, or than I was, but I uh, want to be good enough to get top 100. That's a good game to stream. That's uh, that's definitely one that people are interested in watching speed runs of, especially if you're good at it. Like That's one category on Twitch that's like it's always going to work. If you're really good at a game, people will watch. Like, yeah, yeah, this guy's crushing it. This guy's out of his goddamn mind. Because I know that that's what I enjoy watching. I like watching, like, highly technical play. Yeah. All right, what are you yelling? Jumping off ahead. Do not tell me to jump off. There's no goddamn turtle down there. It's a liar. If I see the turtle, I'll jump off. Blizz. Hey, Sapphire, were you the one that just uh, scooted onto the uh, Discord the other day? Nice to have you there. If you're not, then just nice to have you in here. All having a great time. Dark Souls 1 speedruns are also utterly incredible. Yes, I definitely love uh, watching speedruns for these games. Because I understand them. So, like, once you understand the game, oh, yeah, you understand all the goofy crap they're doing. One of my favorite speedruns I watched was uh, early on in the speedrunning days. Uh, the Half-Life 2 speedrun. Wow. Wow, well, I didn't realize you could glitch a game like this. I don't know what the hell I'm seeing right now. What the hell are these majestic glowing turtles? I gotta read all these signs, even though half of them are just liars. Look carefully. Don't expect to high up. What? Go to hell. Try up. Is there a turtle hiding in a tree? Because that would be too much. Too much for my little ratty boy heart. Well, the music is picking up. Sort of. I don't... What? God damn. Uh, turtle hiding up in a tree, but it's usually the last one that spawns there. Uh, when you find the other two ones. So, I went to a Grace Baklava. Does that mean all the stupid turtles are back in action? I had to trigger it. I had to. I guess let's go see if that first one is still down here. All three spawn at the same time, I think. Says Hustler. You ever watch The Hustler with uh, uh, Tom Cruise? Or not Tom Cruise, but uh, the sequel to The Hustler, The Color of Money. That's a good movie. May need to trigger the puzzle again. Ah, I got hosed. I hosed myself down. All right. Let's just uh, seek three wise beasts. I gotta tell you, it didn't it didn't feel like I was gonna see turtles. All right, the first one was over here somewhere.
Hot content. Alright, he doesn't appear to be there anymore. That's good. The other one was on the ground, so we can't miss him. If he is, in fact, respawned. Dead Becky, confirm. Alright, no dead Beckys over here. Four hits! Are you out of your mind? Why in the hell would there be a turtle in a tree? spot? I don't know if I am. Ah! I see the rascal. Bet I wasted all my arrows. Alright, we did it. Legends. Puzzle elements. Alright, and hot loot is our reward. It's dark in here, man. No loot back there, it's fine. Climb it up. Welcome in, Hustler. Good to have you in here. You almost saw it. Yeah, I must have just missed it, right? I was picturing higher up. I didn't think it would be like on the side of a tree suction cup style. I thought he was going to be like resting flat. So I was looking for a, like a, a platform of some kind. All right. And survey says hot loot confirmed. Definitely sh uh, shadow the Colossus vibes here climbing this thing. All right. What do we got? Old ratty boy unlocked the claws of unlimited power. Here we go. Memory stone. Everything is for magic users in this game. Where's the dex users? Nothing for dex users. I don't have a single spell yet. I mean, I will use spells eventually. I'm waiting for the spell that uh, lets me cast magic damage on my claws. Da, we got hosed. All that just for a hosing. Naked Nick knows how to dodge. Okay, back on the horse. Uh, hold on a sec. Where are we going? We want to go this way. Or, no, I wanted to go to that thing and unlock the thing. All right. Why are you calling the dogs turtles? Are they dogs? Dags? What is this thing? Only one way to find out. It's one dead Becky. Confirmed. Eh. Oh god, it's way stronger than it should be. I think I'm way faster than it. Let's give it a smack on the bottom. I don't think this is going to pay off for me. Did it heal? Right off the damn horse. Let's fight this thing like a man. Alrighty, get the goddamn hell out of the way. Any second now. Oh, this is bad. This is gonna be like a one hit killer. Oh, God. Get on the horse. I'm getting the freak out of here.
What is going on in this? This thing had 50,000 health. Okay. Nailed it. I'll just take his ovaries. Man, this guy will take anything. A uh, piece of dung. Rotting eyeball. Severed penis. All in my pocket. Uh, but we have dogs with shells. Somehow I don't think I'd enjoy America. Shoot at the penis rat. I know. Where's my goddamn Robocop gun? Shaky Johnson coming in here? Get those, uh, shake all the goddamn fluty flakes off that Johnson. <laughs> uh, welcome back in, Shaky Johnson. Bed deckies. They can go to hell. Alright, statue time. And grace time. Alright, Quentin. Too many goddamn fluty flakes. Wait, rest at the bonfire, Rad. Great to see y'all. Yeah, welcome back in. We're about to uh, take our halftime, I think, where we will play as far as we can in Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, on my actual Nintendo. You know, people always talk a bunch of yang about Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Oh, what a crappy game it is. You know, the angry video game nerd loves Castlevania 2. He was just making a funny video. Yes, the translation's awful. The game itself is the first Souls game. The Souls light game. Anyway. Think about it. You die. You start back at the same spot. Just like in these games. You collect items. You keep them. So it's about pushing as far in as you can. Get those items. Scoot back. Doesn't matter. Roll around the world map. You gotta find all these things. Unlocks. It's the first Souls game. First Souls game was Nightmare Creatures. Or Tenchu. <laughs> ah, you got me there. Nightmare Creatures. Or Nightmare Creatures 2. <laughs> Next to Dr. Jekyll. Now, Dr. Jekyll, actual crappy game. Alright. A new map of Lernia West. Alright. Hot content. No idea where to go. What the hell is this thing? Obviously something to investigate. I think I need to get here. To Finger Reader Crone. Wait. Have I been there before? I have no idea where I've been. Well, I guess we're just going to keep going until we get to this castle. Why not? I don't know where the hell I'm going. Uh, I was there 3,000 years ago. Alright. Simon's Quest was great. It was probably the most frustrating game he played. What? I don't even think it was frustrating. Do I have to play Simon's Quest 2 before I play Castlevania 3 so we can put into context how truly frustrating <clears throat> Castlevania 3 is? I can't speak about Castlevania 1. Yes, obviously, says Bakova. Maybe I will. All right. All right, we'll, we'll push pause right here, everyone. I know you guys are enjoying this hot Elden Ring content, but I like to sandwich my content with a little palate cleanser in the middle. The palate cleanser tonight will be Castlevania 3. Castlevania 3 is also frustrating for dumb reasons. It is. Well, they'll spawn enemies just so that you have to turn around and come backwards. Like It's like they hate forward momentum. That's not the way you should develop a game. It's a harder version of CV1. Uh, it seems like the more frustrating version of CV1. I won't even give it the credit of calling it a hard game. Dude, Nightmare Creatures. You know what? I, I have to show you guys the... Fine, we'll... Hold on. I might as well just go like this. Alright, stick around, everyone. We're not going anywhere. We're just going to take a little detour, and we'll come on back. All right. All right. Get out of our mind. Alright, here we go. Alright, welcome to my space station, everyone. A little fricked up because Dan's been hosing around. Employee of the month, my Aunt Fanny. Alright. There we go. Here's the vibes. There's the Rasta vibes that you all came for and know and love. Elden Ring, sick as frick. You know what's not sick as frick? I owned it as a kid. Now, I liked Castlevania 2 so much, I borderline named my son after the game, Simon's Quest. <clears throat> it wasn't even my suggestion, it was my my wife's suggestion. I'm like, actually, it's a great name. Let's go for it. Then Simon's Quest, or uh, Dracula's Curse, Dracula's Curse Castlevania 3 comes out. I don't know anything about it. I'm just like, Simon's Quest, the sequel, I'm in a hundred times over. Because Simon's Quest 2, I was six years old at the time playing it. 
Loved it. Because it was the first game that had dialogue that I was... Like, you walk around the town, you collect items, you talk to people, you just tell you what to do. Um, Get in here, Johnny. But then you get um, Dracula's Curse here. And there's no townspeople. There's no RPG elements. They bring back money bags and points. And the story is not... It's non-existent. Like, in Simon's Quest, the whole game is steeped with story. You gotta resurrect Dracula. You kill him in, in Castlevania 1... And his curse spreads across the land of Transylvania, and you have to resurrect him just to kill him again to stop the curse. But you're also being cursed at the same time. And if you take too long to beat the game, Simon's Quest has three endings. This game was way ahead of its time. If you take too long, you get the bad ending. If you're in the middle, you get the middle ending. If you're really quick, you get the good ending. The only thing I will say that Simon's Quest uh, has against is lack of bosses. Yeah, the bosses are... They're kind of like... Some games do that, though, you know? Some games make a big show about the bosses, and other games, like, say, Splinter Cell. It's like, well, here's the boss, but it's just like a room where a bunch of guys run in, and good luck. It's kind of like what that was. Simon's Quest was like, there are some bosses. I actually really think Dracula's, like, the sprite design of Dracula, it's it's ghoulish. It's scary. Dracula in Castlevania 3 and 2, or 1, from what I've seen, he just looks like some a-hole. He looks like the guy from SCTV. No, no, no. I might, I might just have to play Simon's Quest just so that you guys can see just how goddamn good that game is. Where the hell is Simon's Quest? I have it out here somewhere. Because I honestly do believe Simon's Quest is basically, and for that matter, Zelda 2. They're like the earliest Souls-like games that there are. I'll show you how. Uh, all right, I got to go get Simon's Quest. It's behind me. So enjoy these hot jams. Why don't we just do this? Why don't we call it a bathroom break? I'm not going to the bathroom, but... Hey, you guys need something in the background, right? Found it. It was in the bathroom. <laughs> Why was this in the bathroom? Hey, I, God damn it! Even the logo. I know you can't see the green on the logo though. Oh my god! It looks awesome. The logo. Simon's goddamn quest. Look at him. Ah! A little backstory with this game. My parents got divorced right around the time we got this game, so I played the hell out of this game. Bow, 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 bow! I played the hell out of this game at a what should have been like a pretty traumatizing time in someone's life. Didn't even feel it at all. I think their divorce has more of an impact on me now than it did on me back in the day because of this game. It was just so captivating. Man, I'm really blown away by this game. What's going on over there? I don't... I can't tell. Oh, Johnny, or uh, King, that was a long time ago. Let me say this, Rad. Go on, I blink. Let's get the fart zone out of here. game was surprisingly so good. I'm gonna... I just have to... Anyone that... It's like a meme that this game is crappy. This game is not crappy. This game is fresh as frick. But I'm not gonna play this game without getting the right uh, game box on the screen. So I gotta find Castlevania 2. Type Simon's Quest. Simon's Quest. Game box. All right, well, at least you guys can see the green. I don't know what they did with this green, but this is like the the perfect color of green. An AVIF file. 
What has the internet turned into? Jesus Christ. JPEG. Now there's a sensible file format. All right. Let me just toss it in the old box here. Oh. Look at that green. Actually, that's not even the right green. That's way too bright. There we go. Try to find some hidden cool items. I'll just enter my code. I still know my password from when I was six years old. All right, lack of, oh wait, you're saying uh, cryptic hints and bad translations, but it wasn't that cryptic. It's cryptic, it's more cryptic as an adult than it was as a kid. As a kid, I could barely read anyways, so the words were already, even just the fact that there was words I was reading, six years old, like, I don't know what the word, some of these words are. I don't know what any of these words are, mainly. Uh, cryptic mechanic, uh, the whirlwind mechanic was cryptic, and... That's why we had uh, kids on the playground. The, I didn't even know what you were supposed to do with that red crystal, but I heard you have to... There's a tornado that comes. So I was like, all right. You had to hit down and circle or something. What did they say? There was like a hint in the game about making the water lower with the blue crystal. That was like kneel at the river and something will happen. And so that there's a person in the game that says bang your head on Deborah's cliff. That's what it says. What do you mean bang my head on Deborah's cliff? Like, <clears throat> like crouch? Bang, bang. That's what it says, bang your head on Deborah's cliff. So that's like a... I guess you could call it like a Miyamoto puzzle, but it really wasn't. That They had no idea what they were saying. It says drill a hole into the cliff. I thought it said bang your head. Alright, well, I, you probably know better than I would. You played through it recently. I'll show you. I'll beat the game for you guys, because I still have my password. Still gotta use my game genie on my games or else they won't work. Oh. We got an actual CRT plugged in over here, everyone. Ew, Simon's Quest, Dogen, how dare you? That's blasphemous. I don't think Dogen likes any games. <laughs> he doesn't like a single game I play on this show. Oh, God, not again. Oh, gross. All right, we got to go to the black void for a second here, everyone, just so I can go over here and click this button. Oh, game GD, gross. All right. All right, let's uh, go over here to the Radland official screen. Why don't we, I'll give you guys the full shot. Yeah, there you go. Nah, we'll go here instead. I know it's, you don't see as much, but at least you can see stuff. Uh, game two, is that what we need? Double dragon, no, we don't need that. Damn it, I can't change that. Fine, we're gonna have to just turn this off. I don't have a window that I can change that on anymore. That's fine. So I'm not going to enter any codes anymore. Anyway. I don't want you to think I'm, I need the codes to beat the game. Gotta make sure the volume works. You guys hear that? Yeah. Play Pal World! Dogen has to love that! Alright. Oh, there's the green. Good lord. Wait, let me change my, uh game title on Twitch or else no one's going to know there's hot Simon's Quest action going on here. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Let me change the title as well. Simon's Quest is the first Souls like game. Prove me wrong. I like it. We're having a great time right now, and let's get back in here. I don't know why it has to be so quiet, everyone, but uh, Prolog, step into the shadows of the Hell House. You've arrived back here at Transylvania on business to destroy forever the curse of. Oh. Knock number one against Simon's Quest. Going too fast. To destroy forever. 
the curse of evil Count Dracula. All right. All right, the code, of course, or the password uh, to get to the end of the game is pgzrfrb for u a d t r q z. My brother and I used to have competitions to see who could say the password faster. So this is my actual password from when I was six years old. I think I got it. I mean, you say it so fast so many times, you kind of forget. That's the one. Alright, three tries. Uh, there's, look at the graphics, too. The graphics of this game way the hell better than uh, Castlevania 3. I'll see if I can lower or raise the volume, but it'll raise everything on my computer. For better or worse. All right, that's a little loud. All right, so you see I've collected all the items. You have to go through Dracula's uh, various mansions to collect his body parts because you're resurrecting him with these goddamn body parts. And then you have a couple of extra weapons here, like the holy water, which you can use whenever you want. Um, I've also collected a better whip. You start with the leather whip, and then eventually you get one that looks like the chain whip, and then you get a longer chain whip, and then you get the goddamn flame whip. Uh, you have various daggers you collect throughout the game. Now I have the golden dagger, and you have the crystal, which bounces everywhere. Uh, the ring makes a bridge appear. The crystal will do various things uh, on the world map, like make the water lower, and then you, it's basically like a Metroidvania. You need this to get to the next area. I don't remember what the claw does, or his fingernail. The eye, I think, shows you invisible platforms. I don't remember what the heart does, but the bone gives you a sick shield, which is pretty fresh. And the shield bounces uh, projectiles back at enemies. I don't think it does damage to them, but... So there's a townsfolk everywhere. They have stupid things where they say, 13 clues will solve Dracula's riddle! I don't know what that means, old man. Go to hell. Time to process Dracula's boner. Dracula's rip for MVP. Oh, welcome in, Hatter. You scooting in here, buddy? Let me move my chat over here so I can see what you guys are saying. Change of plans for tonight, CV2 before CV3. Yeah, we had to. You guys are giving me so much of this rascally business. Also, the tunes. Nothing beats this tune. This is like the all-time best NES tune. So the hearts are also your experience. You see the E004? That's my experience points. When you kill enemies, you get experience and you level up. My level is still one. Now, if you'll notice, it says T, 24 hours, 15 minutes, and 28 seconds. I'm still level one, and I beat this game. I had no idea, as a kid, that this game had level up. I had no idea what leveling up was. That's crazy to me. I'm at the end of the game with the lowest level. My health bar is tiny, way tinier than it should be. Flame whips out of control, too. I think I remember how to get to the place I gotta go. I think I have to go to the other side of the river and then back. I can't quite remember. These tunes are sick and fresh. Yeah, this is an out of control tune. Uh, I won't argue with that. Kind of a mystery. Castlevania 3 has great music, but. Uh, the graphics are a bit jumbled. Well, they I'll say that they have a little bit more parallaxing. Good for them. I think I have to take the ferry back? Is that how it works? No, no, no. You gotta go all the way to the left. That's right. It has day-night cycle, everyone. But nighttime, the enemies get stronger. But they also give you more experience and more hearts. More... Uh, and all the townspeople go inside during the night. Zombies, everybody. It feels like it controls better than uh, Dracula's Curse, too. Uh-oh, I'm getting my butt kicked by these goddamn blobs. 30 years of my life, these blobs have been smashing me. 
Jesus Christ. Oh, we got hosed. That's fine, we got three lives. You die all your lives, you start back. Oh, God, at the main town. I think I have to go down at some point, don't I? Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Uh, the heart is needed to use the ferryman. Oh, to initially get the ferryman going. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, goddamn invisible locks. Okay, I don't think I have to be down here yet. got the goddamn stair mechanics, though. At least they're not as prominent as they are in Castlevania 3. Dead Beckys. Hey! I'm just gonna go get to Dracula's castle. We'll call this a day. Bifted into the water. Some sitting diagonal. Alright, here we go. I'll do this for you guys because I like you. Alright. I don't think they ever brought the flame whip back either. This thing is legit. I'm about to go up a level, but the thing is we just never saved the game after we went up a level. You gotta jump on the blocks at the top, everybody. This is where everyone thinks Simon's Quest is the worst game ever. What do I do? I don't know what I'm- I'm stuck! Obviously something happens here, right? You got the guy saying, drill a hole in Deborah's cliff, or whatever. Now, earlier in the game, there was a uh, ocean, or like a, a thing of water that you could not cross, and you needed a blue crystal, and you have to hold down a button and crouch or something, and then it makes the water lower. That's how you use the crystals. Now, maybe the manual helps with something, I don't know, I don't know. But there was just rumors on the playground. What you gotta do is this! Whip rolling right off the screen and coming back. I'm crouching and pressing A, I think. Oh man, this is out of control. Uh, Dracula X Rondo of Blood, if you don't pick up a sub weapon, Richter can item smash to give him the flame whip for a while. That's awesome. So here, once you get over here, then you turn back around. You're at a whole other part of the game now. And we got the morning sun. You read this as a kid. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. It's oddly... Oddly poetic. damn bone back on. Hey, hold. Oh, birds. Birds again. I, he roasted me good. Got the Medusa heads back. A-holes galore. Oh, this town theme. Out of control. Hope there's a church in this town. I need to heal up. Yeah, the, the movement is quicker in this game. It's more responsive than in Castlevania 3. Just here for a while. Health up. Hell yeah. When do I go up a level? Oh, they also do have, like, sneaky little things like this. A lot of hidden stuff in the game. What do I do here? Okay. Well, there's someone down here already. What do you sell? Buy some of my laurels? Maybe I will. They make you invincible for a time. I'll just note the uh, jumping, how quickly I can jump and jump again. That's something CV3 does not do. Oh, 
that's gonna cost me. I'm going too fast. I'm doing speedrunner strats here. I will say this game seems like it has more slowdown. Uh, these guys have way faster shots than the ones early in the game. A little more slowdown than CV3, I'll give them that. I'll give CV that much. CV3. Let's go up a level? No, still level one. Dead Beckys. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Wooden sword. CV3 went back to CV1 physics, so it's not a surprise. But Dogen, the, the physics are slower. I like how this last town right before Dracula's uh, castle. Oops, I still have the crystal on. I need. Whoa, whoa, I spent all my hearts. No, I didn't. Okay, we're good. You need at least a few hearts to take Dracula to Pound Town with the golden dagger. This last city right before Dracula's castle is just all boarded up and fricked up. See if I can. What's this lady say? Let's live here for uh, together. As a kid, I thought if you stay here long enough, something cool will unlock. Cause she wants you to stay here. Stop it, man. Just take this. The holy water will break uh, breakable blocks as well. I guess they're cursed blocks. I don't know. Zer Birds. Oh, they're just as fricked as ever. They're more fricked! <laughs> okay, that bird is a completely deranged enemy. Free hits! Okay. Uh, look at the detail on this screen right now. There's a lot of graphics going on here. There's just no parallax going on, but that's fine. Need his ring on or something. Nice crisp mountains in the background. Long walk to Dracula's mansion with no enemies. Oh god, we're going in at nighttime. Shaky Johnson, shake that Johnson up. Buddy. I'd chill with her. Ah. Alright, this song, Dracula's Castle theme song, just creep me out as a kid. You guys realize in this entire castle, there's not a single enemy? Highfalutin. High concept. It's just a long walk, because you know what you're doing. You're here to stop Dracula's goddamn curse. His fart-filled curse. Bills would have won if Flutie was there! <laughs> you know how fast I'm jumping? Even here. This game lets you move, baby. And I will say I like that when Simon falls off a ledge, look, his legs come up and he kind of has like a, hey! Whereas in Castlevania 3, he literally just drops like no gravity and no animation. It is funny though that the game slows down. I don't remember this much slowdown. There's not even any enemies in this castle, so I wonder why it slows down. It's fine. We're going in to do the deed. That's Trevor, he's fat! That's fair. Calf training with Simon. Glad I ain't missing CV3 salt. Not yet, I have to build up the salt. Okay, we're gonna put the golden dagger on. As a kid, I figured out this method for beating Dracula. <laughs> it's slowing down with nothing in here. Okay, let's also note, this Dracula sprite is ghoulish. This will give you a nightmare. Resurrect Dracula. Bring him back. Just so you can kill him again. Look at that sprite! That thing is humongous! Oh, God. You gotta figure that one out. Most people just let him zip around the screen like a maniac. But unfortunately, for old ratty boy, as a six-year-old, I spent 24 hours getting to Dracula. 
the battle has consummated. As a kid, I don't, I don't even think that's correct English at all. <laughs> now, peace and serenity have been restored. The song is awesome, by the way. To Transylvania. And the people are free of Dracula's curse forever. forever. And you, Simon Bell, 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 will always be remembered. For your, for your brave, 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 and, and courage, courage, courage. Perfect audio, perfect audio, cue, audio, perfect cue, audio, cue, audio cue. for the sad part of the song. So I don't know why it says Dracula on the grave because I'm pretty sure that's Simon's grave. But either way, Simon didn't make it. He did. Simon's dead. Simon fought Dracula, got cursed, had to kill Dracula though. Ultimate legend, ultimate hero. Boom! Uh, eye blinking. I'm pretty sure the endings are wrong. Yeah, that's that's got to be Simon's grave, right? That can't be Dracula's grave. Why would I see Dracula's grave? All right, resurrect him to kill him. That makes no sense at all. Well, his curse is still alive, Shorty. So you got to resurrect him so that you can finally stop that curse. I, don't know, I need to read the manual to get the full story there. Right? Dogan says, uh, by default, the NES can do can only do parallax by using the sprite zero detection. You basically place the, uh, the first sprite. It can be invisible where you want your screen to be. And then the system lets you run some code once it hits part of the screen. And you can increase the scroll speed to do fake parallax. All right, that's funny how they had to do weird stuff like that. Dogan, what's the name of that technique they use? I'm sure you know. Um... That let the game. We saw you, Sam. Saw you beat that game, Sam. That lets uh, the games have more fidelity over the control. It's like something where they divide it by some really small number or something. I can't remember what it was. Saw you breaking Dracula's curse, Sam. Yeah, we broke the hell out of that curse. Now, for some reason, the curse comes back. I don't know why. In this game. So, as a little six year old, you play through this game 24 hours. It's like the most involved. It's, this game felt sprawling to me as a kid like I can't believe it what an epic journey this was and then we go and we get this one the next year or two years later whatever it was sick no brainer mom Christmas Castlevania 3 this is going to be the greatest game ever imagine if they'd made a true sequel to Simon's Quest it could have been so good instead we get this do this off screen so you don't see my my shirt right up on my back I literally need to put these games in my game genie so that the Nintendo will actually register them Right, for a while when I was a kid, I had to shove a VHS tape into my Nintendo at the top so that it would pin it down. It was it had to be a VHS tape. It was the only thing that could properly shove it down. All right. If I recall, there's a story, uh, something called Cultist trying to resurrect Dracula by combining his organs and had already partially started the process. So you bring him back and then it's time to make sure to destroy the organs in the game. There's something story to the Cultist. So you bring them back, and then this time, make sure to destroy the organs and stuff so they can't be brought back again. That makes more sense, Grimoire. Thank you for that. Alright, uh, you're rebuilding Dracula's body. Reminds me of Mega Man X2, where you gotta rebuild Zero. Oh, okay, that sounds like a hot storyline, actually. Rip Dracula, the level rascal. I can't believe it. 
Not fighting him with the stake. That's a bold choice. I had the golden dagger, Grimora. I was looking up the map where this game uses. All right, glad I ain't missing. Three salt. AVGN said this was bad. AVGN can get frick. I like him, but he was making a meme, and everyone read it the wrong way. All right, I would chill with you. All right, Dogen, uh, the easier, miserable level design. And the player moves so slowly. Yeah, but look how fast he can jump, right? It was just a bad era for games. 1988. They they were going. They were punching above their weight. They're like I don't know how to design these games without slowdown, but. All uh, right. Town theme is killer too. Yeah, the music's out of control in Castlevania 2. Uh, it was a total lie, giving it a fairyman garlic. I had Charizard before Rock Tunnel. Total lie, the heart needed. Fairyman's the only thing I believe. Okay, so the heart. Yeah, you basically need to collect these things just to get through the game. Uh, but they don't tell you that. So I'm sure a lot of people were salty. But you know what? I was more salty playing Michael Jackson's Moonwalker as a kid when I rented that. And they don't tell you, oh, in level 1 3, now you have to push up on all the windows. Uh, to collect the kids. You have to collect kids in the game. Watch it on YouTube now. You'll see how great that game is. All right. Uh, I think Castlevania 1 is a great game. I haven't played 3 enough to know, to have a strong opinion on it, but uh, they they may have gone too far. Uh, maybe it plays really smoothly. That might be the one thing I'll give it. I don't remember it having much slowdown. Let's uh, check it out, everybody. Castlevania 3. For some reason, it doesn't display my game genie code. That's fine. Let's see what the story is here. What the hell happened? We resurrected Dracula. We're gonna have to fight him again? This song is pretty fresh. I'm so pumped as a kid. Now I'm like an eight-year-old kid going... Oh, man. Oh, God. During the 15th century, Europe... There lived a person named Dracula. He practiced sorcery in order to create a bad world filled with evil. He began taking over the continent of Europe, changing countries from good to bad. The good people of Europe tried to fight off Dracula, but no one was able to survive. Finally, the Belmont family was summoned to battle Dracula's vile forces. The Belmont family has a long history of fighting evil. The townspeople became afraid of the Belmonts' superhuman power and asked them to leave the country. Fortunately, the people found a mighty Belmont called Trevor. I don't know what's going on. Why the hell did they tell them to leave? They're the only ones fighting Dracula. The curse of Dracula has begun. The fate of Europe lies with Trevor. Was this a prequel? I think it might have been a prequel. All right. Hey, go fight Dracula, but don't fight him too good. Get the hell out of here. We hate all of you Belmonts. Eh, password. That's already a bad sign. Oh, wait, no, that's a good sign. But it's not the right kind of password. All right, naming your character. Wow, this is going to be the best RPG ever. Dumper. Religious imagery. 100% a prequel. All right. Oh, no. This can't be right. This looks just like Castlevania 1, only waste. What's with the graphics in the background? It looks like my game genie's glitching, but it's not. Why am I able to jump through these blocks? It doesn't make any sense. Some blocks you can jump through in this game, but not all. I will say that the game's running smooth as hell. That's one big plus for this game. As a kid, though, I didn't even notice slowdown. It wasn't even a concept I was aware of. What? Of course the game slowed down. Why wouldn't they? Point bag. Red flag. Red frickin' flag right here. Makla, watch him from a mobile device. Dumping out as usual. Oh, that's a... That sounds like I'm ripping on Bakla. Dumping out is a good thing on this program, Bakla. Goddamn hero of Elden Ring. I've been playing this enough to know you just have to jump this goddamn bat. So this screen looks like it's good graphics at first, until you realize, why is there, like... See these ones over here? Why are they broken? There's nothing under it. It... Two looks like a Game Genie glitch. The colors are nice. Yeah, I'll give them that. 
Alright, yeah, if any of you guys are ever watching my stream on your phone, dumping out, uh, you let me know what that command, um, uh, what that command phone, because then I won't bug you and be like, come on, answer this question for me. Look at this pillar in the background that's yellow-ish. Why? That doesn't look right. And the brown stuff here? That looks like a Game Genie glitch. Maybe they, that's what they had to do to make it so the game would run smoothly. Look at how he just falls. Now, I don't know if you guys know how to get this thing in the background. Not that candle, but the one over there. I don't think you have anything that can collect that candle. How the hell do I get up there? Uh, Japanese version had extra ammunition, if I recall. Sort of offsets the background detail. I like how Contra Japanese had animated stuff. Yeah, they had tons of animated stuff. Which is weird. All the trees animated. All the guts animated in the last level, too. Uh, at least as much ra He was raging the other day playing this with a producer stream. Well, you just wait. I will definitely rage while we play this. The game is easy up until one certain spot, and then the game becomes just horrible. After Dracula was killed the very first time, the Belmont clan was largely viewed with suspicion and blamed for all the monsters and stuff appearing across the place. Oh, so yeah, he had to go clear his name. That's right, something like that. So now your holy water, which you used to have infinite of, is hearts. We went back to hearts. I, could, I can't describe how much of a backward step it felt like, even as a kid. Wait, I used to be able to just use these whenever I wanted them. I don't want to run low on time. After you beat the game, you can come through again on a second loop, starting with your buddy character. So some of the stuff's intended for that. Uh, which game are we talking about here? Okay. Occasionally gets fuzzy. Japanese version. Password is help me, right? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! This game is frick. And we're back to having food inside the walls. I gotta tell you, they could they could use a couple more chickens in this game. See, these ones you can't jump through. It's an odd, odd choice. Rock solid frame rate, though. So far, rock solid frame rate. That's the only thing I can say I really appreciate about this sequel. I've played through Double Dragon 1 and 2 recently, and this one is by far, like, just the most frustrating. He's just so slow to turn around. Oh, God. Ah! The hole. Hot DPCM voices, though. I don't know why we're collecting all these circles, either. What is it about these circles? The biggest problem with this game is that I was always always forget where the sub items were in the candles and mess up and get a double. Yeah, you know what? In my playthrough, I don't get a double or a triple. I get nothing all the way through. You'll see. I don't know where they are. That was Castlevania One. Have a good night, everybody. Are you out of here, Baklava? Right. The the power's not coming back. Up. The power went out, back Baklava. Frick. All right. Well, th hey, we got it done today. We got the job done. Thanks, Baklava, for uh, helping me take out all those bosses. Warps falling. That was Castlevania. But yeah, but they're back in this game. The Netflix cartoon, it's more uh, like he was abandoned. The other ones struck around, but the church called him a demon for having extra human power. I see. All right, get some sleep then, Baklava. You've earned it, buddy. Maybe there's some ones and twos over here somewhere. Or twos and threes. Well, I like to get Sifa, even though I don't know any real reason why seem like she's especially helpful or the levels are easier that's just the way I went as a kid so I'm gonna do it again 
But she takes more damage if she gets hit. One more square on average, I think. I wonder, did Castlevania 1 have so much slowdown? Get the doubles, triples, you have the... Uh, to get doubles or triples, you have to hit the chandelier that normally contains the sub weapon you already have. I see. That's weird. I'll show you. They don't. This. Okay, the force looks alright in here. I'll show you. There just isn't anything over here. Okay, where did. I didn't get the boomerang. That's not good. Oh, here we go. You don't kill these bats, I'm telling you. You're, uh, you're in for a bad time. I just wonder what was going on at Konami where they're like, they go for this big highfalutin RPG and then go right back to action. Like, it must have just got such bad reception. Or something. I don't know why they would go back to a, like an, a straight up action game. this first area so many times. When my son's playing modern games, I play this one in the background. Trying to beat it, I still can't get by one certain level. I mean, I'm getting a little further every time, but it's not... The progress is slow. Ah. That's good graphics, I'll give them that. These are pretty hot graphics for Nintendo. Castlevania 3 had a little less, but uh, a little less than 2, I think. I mean, 1 and 2 had a little different designers, I'm sure. Nintendo didn't uh, let anyone use custom mappers in North America. Contra used VRC2 in Japan. That's why this version of CV3 used Nintendo Mapper instead of the Konami VRC6. Really? where Baklava said his power was going on. I've lost power. Oh, he says up there. I think it's a good time to go to bed. Alright, good. Just making sure I got that in there. Well, you can tell at least they put some time into the coding. It hasn't slowed down for a single second yet, which is very impressive. But it doesn't help you. It, it oddly does not help you at all. I've learned my lesson. You gotta kill these guys. You gotta get all the guys in one go. To get to this point where I was able to beat these levels without taking a hit, it took it's taken me weeks. I still can't get by these damn spiders without getting a hit though. This might be the first time I've ever got by the spiders without taking a hit. Come on, ratty boy. Next level gaming. All right, I also figured out how to beat this stupid moron without getting hit. It's a slow burn, everyone. Dang it. Like! I'd be thinking, wow, Rad's pretty good at this game. It's only gonna get worse from here, everyone. 
Did I just get a one up? Hell yeah. yeah. All right, here's where we collect our first extra character. I mean, this is no living in the city, but I'll take it. Yeah, the music is good in this game, but uh, it's oddly lacking in a lot of texture that uh, other Konami games had. Every song in this game that I've seen that I've analyzed so far, and I have analyzed them uh, for Odo in the Ancient Worlds, um, they always use just a simple pluck. And they have echoes and stuff, but they don't do much else. Whereas Bloody Tears, that used um, duty cycle modulation in like a really interesting way that uh, really it is standalone. Most games did not do what they were doing in that one. Will you take him with you? All right, I will take him with me. Brad, it's the water soundtrack, bro. Yeah, I get it. A bigger contract. Oh, you mean you like the, uh... You like the Japanese version. Because the Japanese version has extra channels. If you can't make it work with the channels that the Nintendo provides you, then what the hell good is it? So now we have a separate character with different moves and different abilities, and you damn well better learn to use them or else you're gonna get hosed down. But you honestly have to sit through this whole animation every time you want to swap. So this character is weaker and takes more damage, but has this move here, which does a ton of damage. And it's kind of necessary for some of the bosses in this game. This is where the game starts introducing uh, the fact that it's going to frick you over. Or maybe there is some uh, ones and twos down here I can use. I don't know what they expect you to do. Damn, I'm trying to use my axe, but I keep going up the stairs instead. There's no way over there. That guy's just going to get you no matter what. That does kind of explain why it's such a simple soundtrack, Dogen. If you didn't collect the clock power up, this part's impossible. Bigger cartridge could directly increase the size of the animation, the graphics variety, assuming you had a mapper to handle it. Red is watered down, such as more like the Nintendo was cheap. At this point, yeah, they were just rolling high at this point. Frick it, I just freeze that guy now. I don't even bother fighting him. Money bag. Ugh, close call. Will we make it? Hey! I'm looking for those ones and twos now. Or those twos and threes. There's just none in this playthrough. This guy sometimes gets me. If you whiff your first hit, he's gonna get you good. And do a three squares worth of damage on you. Still no slowdown. Have you guys seen a single bit of slowdown? I haven't seen a single fleck of it yet. No, I tried to do a crouch attack and went down the stairs again. I swear that the game was designed around that. Like, that'll be really hard to deal with, right? Yeah. Eh. I swear that's the exact sound that Goonies 2 used when it opened a door. Close call. Probably don't want the knife. See, well, look where this guy spawns. You can't get him. You have to walk over here and then turn around. That's the kind of feeling I get a lot from this game. Like, just make it more annoying than it has to be. Cartridge itself has extra sound channels. Yeah, that is a weird thing that the Nintendo would just start being like, fine. Or the companies would be like, fine, we're going to add an extra channel in our cart itself. Take that, Nintendo. I think to get that one over there, you have to be Grant. But I don't know when Grant does this level. So here's where Sifa finally comes in handy. For just mowing through this boss. Or this mini boss. That 
that's a lot harder with the whip. Beyond this door is where my ability to control the game disappears. I guess technically this screen I have some control over. And they do have the heart to give you a little chicken in the wall. But that's it. God damn, go to hell. Got him. Alright, you guys ready for the cheesening? Here we go, everybody. From this point on. Damn it, after this screen. Once they give you once they introduce you to the first bird in the game, that's when it starts falling apart. Hot physics. Here we go. If you miss one of these birds, you're gonna have a bad time. Hell yeah! Big play, huge play. Yeah. This one too, I think, just gets a free hit no matter what. <laughs> hey! Dad, you get hose play! <laughs> ah, he still gets a free hit! I've never got by that guy without getting him a hit on him. <laughs> Found it very funny. Oh god. Whatever, I don't care. Alright, what the hell is going on here in this thing? Maybe it's still aim, probably uh, extra money cost. Da, 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 da. That's why the SNES had multiple releases. But the NES didn't get one until the NES Junior or whatever. You mean the top down one? DPCM Death Scream. That is pretty fresh that they would use that for that. I think they're also using it for the whip sound. Uh, go ship, let's go, says v -Rep. Oh, you're in here, v -Rep. Yeah, we just started playing this one. Uh, you got this. Well, I'm doing quite well right now, but after this level, falls apart. The run falls apart. There's nothing I can do! Get so freaked up! The top loader, alright. So basically, uh, when the game flips, you the bird the first time, yes. And, um, I can't stress enough how frustrating that, that whole section w used to be for me. It's been weeks and weeks of me practicing this game. We'll see if it comes in handy again here for the mummies. Nice. Way to go, girl. How have I been? We're doing good. I'm not feeling great tonight. I felt like I was going to barf at the start of the show, but we, we powered through it. What the hell kind of crap is that? Oh man, they're hosing me down on this one. Oh god. One hit. Damn it. Damn it, Danny! They already, they're already replicating or doubling up on bosses. It's an odd choice. This level, I, I can't, I can't believe this level. Oh, during Elden Ring, uh, I was there briefly. Oh, your connection was spotty. Yeah, we were playing Elden Ring. I got the barf bowl here in case I need to yak it up, but I don't think that'll come to that. In fact, I'm feeling pretty good. At Elden Ring, uh, living in the city really was what hit the spot. Proud of you, Rat. Thank you, Grimoire. for beating that level or for not barfing. <laughs> Proud of you, Rat. Uh, how have you been, V Rep? What are you playing these days? I know we haven't been playing a lot of retro games lately, but as you can see, we're playing actual retro right now. I've been peppering in retro games in between 
Elden Ring sessions. But they're on the actual Nintendo now. At least for the time being. Go to hell. I don't know if that's helpful or not. Alright, not so bad yet, right? Well, give it time. These guys suck. I'm trying to throw my knife, but it's not letting me. Dare knock me off the edge. So as they float across the screen, their parabola gets bigger and more, less manageable. So if you do not kill them, they will knock you off the platforms you're standing on. You gotta learn that one the hard way. Oh god. At least if you get hit on the stairs, you don't fall off. But they do do, they do do four squares of damage, I think, which is unruly. I think that's a little uncalled for. The whole time I'm pushing up in the knife button and he just is not throwing it. You might think, Rad, just get up there and hit him. It's no big deal. Nope. This game doesn't know how to time out its hits. If I want any chance of doing this right, I can't afford to get hit by this guy. Point bag! Alright, uh, three squares. It's a Ninja Gaiden bird. God damn it, you're right. And if it's Sifa, it's four squares. The music is good. Yeah, this is great music, but um, as Dogen has pointed out, the Japanese version had extra channels on top because it had the expansion ship in the cart. And I think that they just removed those expansion uh, channels uh, for the North American release and said, that's fine. There's something missing. Uh, something hollow about it when you compare it to like an actual NES tr uh, soundtrack that was written on just the NES, not the Famicom. Okay, we're slowly creeping along to the screens that really make you want to throw the card out the window. I uh, didn't need that hit. That's going to cost me. That's going to cost you Tinkerbell. I'll take that. I know they think, hey, the holy water is really good against these guys. No one in their right mind would ever use the holy water against these guys. Now their path is random, so you can't get up these stairs without randomly getting hit, and then suddenly the floor is moving on you. You have to deal with these guys on the stairs non-stop, and they don't spawn until you're one square away. You're like, oh good, I'm clear. No, I'm not! Money bag? What the hell? Look, there's gonna be a guy above me. You know this. Beeline it! Ah, oh, this is fricked. I could die right here because of this random movement. Ah, going into this screen with only four squares? That's bad. Or not this one, the next one. I, I might just die right here. Oh my god. I'm just looking for doubles here. They have to be around here. There's no doubles! Truly no doubles! Alright, at least we got to the checkpoint. If we die, we start back on this screen. For whatever good it's going to do me. Damn it. Nice. God damn it. A hole takes enough of hits. All right. 
I swear some of those should end up being doubled. All right, men from the boys here. This screen stinks. Sweet meat walls. Yeah, where are the meat walls? Nowhere. The meat wall is right before the final boss. That's it. Or the boss of the level. Fanboys in the corner. All right, if I recall, you know, if you know you're going to take a hit, uh, if you're crouching, it won't do knockback. Whoa, what? But I might be mistaken. Well, I might give it a try. But most of this one, you're going to get hit on the stairs. And this is random. Sometimes they'll shoot three, sometimes they'll shoot two. I think. One, two. But you have to wait for that. You can't just go after two, because sometimes a third one will come out. Or some of them are shooting three. I don't know which one. Now, here's the problem, too. If you push up in the attack button, you're supposed to throw a knife, like... But it's not! Alright, so you basically have to hold down... I didn't know you could hold the attack button down. That's kind of... That's kind of a feature they should probably explain. This whole time, I didn't know you could hold the, the attack button down. What is this? Line a ratty boy. Ay. All right, you got to play this one careful, everyone. Oh, the, I held the button down. He didn't do anything. It only works on stairs. What the frick? Oh my god, that almost killed me. I need to recoup for a second because this is way too close. Not to mention, I have no health. I'm gonna get the chicken, and I'm gonna have no health to fight the stupid Frankenstein. Alright, love this game despite it being such a monster. This game is a goddamn monster, but you know what? After having played, I just beat uh, Simon's Quest right before this uh, with a password I had since I was six years old, V-Rep. And uh, there's a lot more slowdown in Simon's Quest than I remember. This game has absolutely zero slowdown, which is remarkable. Alright, only two. One, two. No three. One, two, go. Nope. I don't know if the, you have to kill this thing. I wonder if I can just throw knives at it from the stairs. Can I hit him from the stairs? Because here's the problem. You have to crouch to attack that guy. Do I only have 20 seconds left? Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't have a lot of time. Time is running. Uh, well, we're probably dead on this one anyways, then. We all experiment. I guess you have to do that. What the frick? So this screen is non-stop ridiculousness if you're doing it without all the, uh, the knife that I had. I don't think I would have made it through even if I didn't have the time problem there. Like, you just gotta eat it. You just gotta eat hits this whole way. And I'm just getting greedy at this point. the pattern. You just gotta take a hit. You can't avoid it. One, two. One, two. He only shot one. That guy over there shot one. Does he only shoot one every time? Alright, that's good to know. Or none. I should have gone there. This is unbelievable. Now if I get 
by the stupid bird, maybe we have a shot. Oh, uh, don't worry, there's another bird over here, everybody. Let's see how much health we'll get back from this... Money bag! Is this one here? That's not a lot. Uh, Frankenstein's coming after me for some reason. Tag me, beg and tag me. Frick! What the hell? I didn't get hit so many times by this a hole, by everyone else. I don't know why this guy's so hard when you have tiny little whip. Good lord. Jesus. Right, I guess I don't even need that. Just give me that. What the knife? Alright, that'll do. Oh, Adam! I know it was close. Here we go. God, you a-holes. I need the bottom one to trigger first. There we go. Run for ready, boy! Ah, he's gonna skin my tootsies! Alright, we did it. Gotta take that hit. I don't know any other way. Alright, we aced that one. Oh, this is no good. This is no good! Bird's being an a-hole. Oh, for God's sake. He's gonna come back, watch this. Alright, we got full health fighting Frankenstein. We should be able to pull this off. Money bag! Full health, starting now. Oh, cheese dinked. Trapped up here. Bop! Right in the back of the head. Jesus Christ. Now, this is the level I've never been able to get by. You can still use Sifa's lightning warps. I could have. I don't know how far it goes, though, but that probably would have done a lot more damage. Because the whip lags until you have full whip. Oh, God. Game can only generate so many projectiles on the screen at a time, so it gets confused when it's supposed to be shooting out more. All right, thank you. De Bam! Bedtime. Thanks, Dogan. Passing out here. Thanks for rascaling me tonight. Oh God, flea man to start the level with. No. Nope. I don't know if this will be helpful or not. We're gonna play out the continue, everyone. Because the game only gives you, uh, continue, so we'll get as far as we can on this one. Why in the hell would you give me holy water here? What good is that gonna do me? I guess it's for those guys? I can't imagine 
anything else it would be useful for. Like, I do have a whip. It's not like I can't use the goddamn whip on these guys. Alright, let's go! By leg, I mean leg between hits. Alright, yeah, there's an odd... It's weird the way the leg works with the hits. I guess it's for this guy. I finally got a two and it comes out of an enemy. Uh-oh. Out of the air. I don't think I've ever even seen the boss of this level. Oh no, I have. It's the dragons. Oh god, yeah, that's no good. Ah. You damn well better kill these guys. You can't let them live. Right, the holy water seems to come in handy for this part. What? Oh, I can't even get it. Oh, frick. Oh, that was by the skin of a bum's hair. We gotta concentrate here, everybody. This is high octane mile a minute action. I'll take the damn clock, thank you very much. It's like when the screen is loading, you're just like, what are they going to throw at me now? What are they going to hose me down with now? Why would they give you the clock and then immediately give you the knife? God, that bird's going to hose me down. God, no. You just knew it. He was floating back there, guaranteed to hose you down. Jesus Christ. I need some meat! I need some man meat. No, they're gonna make me fight a boss down here with no meat. Good lord. What? You start me with a bird in my face! Oh god. Clutch. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do on this boss, though. Like, I can't be anywhere near him. He's just gonna do insane damage to me. Maybe I can find Sifa's... ...thing? I don't know. I basically have, like, two shots here. Did do three damage at least. Oh well, that'll cost you Tinkerbell. No. Didn't feel right. Not going for it. It doesn't feel right. Shite! At least they stagger a bit. I tried to turn around and give him the business. Don't you dare continue me. Oh, God, don't die. It just switched. Trevor, get in here. I'm going to get hit no matter what. I don't need four squares of damage off. Though it doesn't really matter because uh, I don't get ki I don't get killed from life loss on that boss. I just get knocked off the ledge. Oh, that's going to cost you. Ooh, real.
That's been Castlevania 3. Something like that happens to me in Zelda 2, but at least in Zelda 2 you get you get sick uh, inertia in the air. Sick. This game, it's just bonk! You're flying off the edge. It's way worse than Ninja Gaiden. People gave Ninja Gaiden a hard rap, like, oh, come on, it's so frustrating. Now, I know that boss is doable. I, I just have to get right on the edge of that one square and then shoot with Sifa. We've learned that now, but you know the trial of fire you have to go through before this game becomes something you can play and be happy about uh, spending your time on? It's quite a lot. Yeah. I was on a crumbling bridge, and then a unicorn head came out and hit me in the back into the lava below. Alright. I will say, noted, the slowdown is legendarily smooth. That gameplay smooth. Doesn't help you much when you keep falling off ledges. There's a lot of RNG in that as well. I'd be surprised. I, I'd be surprised if this is a very hard game. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a very hard game to speedrun because they're just like non-stop. Uh, it seems like everything is just slightly randomized in that game. All right. Yeah. All right, that feels better. You know what, I'm, my stomach's actually feeling a little better. Maybe it was all that soda gingembre I was guzzling. I might go get myself Diet Pips Caffeine Free. What do you guys say? To, to do that, though, we gotta get to the VIP. I'm not going anywhere until I go to the VIP. Alright, it just knows in the goddamn world. Alright, I don't know why my camera keeps zipping off there and then another one generates. That's gonna bum me up. Well, you guys are watching someone who's put multiple weeks into that game. Still getting hosed down with the thumb over the nozzle. Um, that's, that's about as accessible as that game will ever look to anyone. It's real. The frustration is real. Double Dragon 2, I thought, had the most frustrating gameplay I've ever played in my life. Castlevania 3. Alright, now let's, um... Let's refresh here. We gotta get Elden Ring back on the big board. That's crazy, though. Man, 1988, what a wild time. They're like, I don't know, reinvent Castlevania as a uh, an RPG. Action RPG. Why not? Zelda, reinvent it as an action RPG. Why not? Goonies 2, make it an action RPG. Why not? Rygar, make it an action RPG. Why not? It was just the flavor du jour at that time. But I really like those games. Like Symphony of the Night, you know? Symphony of the Night is basically a Souls game, just in 2D. At, at, at least it gives you the same vibe. You know, you're feeling it. You're flowing. Alright, the tunes are a little loud. Distracting me. I need to go over to Twitch. I need to go to Stream Info. Change it off retro. Back to Elden Ring. Hard swings, left and right. Ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna wrap up this big bastard with a little more Elden Ring tonight, but I need a Diet Pepsi caffeine free in my gullet. And some more water. Why not? I encourage all of you to do the same. Let's meet back. Short break. Eh? All right. Uh, I should really come up with some stuff to play while we're on break. Do not change to another channel. Let's see. What can I do? What can I do? All right. Maybe I'll open up a YouTube channel. For one of my own clips you guys wildly entertained in the interim. No, no, click to another streamer! Watch mm, Ratty Boy playing through what is probably the best unknown fighting game I've ever seen in my life. Ultra Vortec on the Atari Jaguar. Hell yeah. All of the streamers can go to hell. Fine as they is. Alright, let me change my private window to be this one instead. Uh, 
hell's the chat? Where's the tiny little chat? It's gotta be on the screen somewhere. Why would I leave you guys with no ability to chat? And I swear I didn't delete it from this scene. Right, one thing we gotta do first. Scoot over here. Grab the chat box. Scoot back over here. Boom. Boom. There. Live the dream. I am in a dilemma, though. Do I leave it in the middle of the screen, or do I have it off the desk? If I move it off the desk, it... Well... And it's not covering the desk, but then it's not center screen. You can see the bind I'm in. Oh. All right, you guys enjoy this hot clip. Uh, I'll be back well before it's finished, but that's all. You guys will get a taste. The, mo the most... The frick is this look Rad can give? That was the old one. Now I would just give this one. That's the hose look. This was this is actually an old transition. This one goes back like two and a half years. You can see I have less grays in my hair. All right, let's get it going. Full volume. Let's get the HDification going. I dig it. All right, we'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Ultra Vortex. I might have to look up some of the fatalities in this game. Not that I'll ever be able to pull them off. Crap, they're going hard. Jesus, Louise's, they've tuned that thing all the way down. It's like drop B. Ultra Vortex! Alright, three button fighting game. I'm in trouble here. I got machines of death coming after me. Penis punching wins tournaments, guys. I don't care if he's a robot. Taking the pound down, get him a goddamn body bag. Victorious. Why did every fighting game at this time have... Victorious. Watch out, Skull Crusher. She's lost her mind. She's gonna be punching your robodom. Watch out, buddy. Why am I wearing my midnight lingerie out to this fight? Red, that's victim blaming! I am fighting Skull Crusher. Model did not know that she was for... <laughs> It's like, I don't know what is this. I, I'll wear my finest leader hosen. Okay, this soundtrack goes hard. Oh, looks like Buzzsaw wants a piece of the big dog. There we go. Can't handle this, Buzzsaw. Your AI is not programmed to deal with this level of high octane maneuver. One more girl, come on, one more, you got him! Ah, oh, freaking Buzz. Is victorious. Look how heavy this guitar riff is. It seems like AI generated music. Just picking notes at random. Bing, da, ba, bing, bong, ding, ba, ba, bong, ba, ba, bing, ba, ba, bing. Rad, you're not gonna cheese him for the whole fight, are you? I can't. Hey, whatever it takes to win Evo, all right? Penis punches win tournaments, okay? Game point. Freaking combos, goddamn! Come on, Volcano, you gotta want it, girl. No, oh, not like this. Up, upsy doodle. Buzzsaw's an a-hole. Maybe I'll see some of the other characters. Nice touch. I don't I don't bleed blood. I bleed little symbiotic versions of myself. Jesus Christ. Strum rip. That's Buzzsaw, that's how you chose to annihilate me? Gotta go back to my girl. I can punch his buzzsaws, all right. Where's the guitar riff? Let's <laughs> get that quick riff there. Ah, this one hits me right. After all that suffering I went through, this is where it all comes to play. Ah, yeah, this feels good. Fight. 
Now we're talking. How do I do that move consistently? Why do you have to give him an air throw as well? I guess I gotta be Buzzsaw. He's the only one that can beat Buzzsaw. This game... This game is giving me a weird feeling. How low the sound effects are. Everything is so strange. This is the moment we all waited for. Ah, I beat him to it. Buzzsaw is legit. The soundtrack is killing me. Wow. I, I needed to look up who made the music for this game. I need to interview him and have him on the show or something. He just put on a clinic. It's like a 10 hit combo. Why did I fall down when I hit him with the jump kick? Oh, that's me over there. I'm regular Buzzsaw. He's slightly darker Buzzsaw. Damn it. I'm the only one with penis punches here. Out! Alright, we found the we found the loop in his AI. Oh man, Rowdy Boy's back. Alright, what a good game this is. Annihilate him! Alright. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, Let's I got a get really back busy game. screen right now. This is hard to look at. The correct game Elden Ring. Coming back at you. We'll wrap this big bastard up. In the short amount of time I was up there, I had one little bit of Rice Krispie Square, three cookies, and two chunks of chocolate. I'm out of my mind. We'll see if my stomach can handle it. Maybe I'm just testing fate. Come on. Barf already. Now there'll be no barfing during our Elden Ring playthrough. Much as I know Dan would appreciate that. Alright, I don't quite know where to go in this game. So we're back at it. Jeez Louise. Hey, I guess I don't even need to save and return to desktop. I never actually went to the desktop. And back in we go. Boom. 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 Oh yeah, we gotta change it. We gotta change it here. Disregard this scene. There's gotta be a smoother transition, but uh, Raddy doesn't know how to fix that. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta get going to that castle. Look at that thing. How the hell do I get up here? Hey, shout out, what up? Hey, no rent suit. Get the hell in here. I just beat Castlevania 2 and then played all the way to the last level in Castlevania 3 as a little palate cleanser, and now we're back to playing this. What are you up to? Everything changes every second as when you roll and go back up. How well do you think it is? I don't know what the hell you just said. Everything changes in life. Is this like a metaphor? Rolling is like a metaphor for life. Right, I don't know where to go, Noretsu. I don't know where to go. That's the problem. I just beat this place and collected a glint stone key. Let, well, let's look at our map then. Let's look at our inventory. I think the inventory said something. Go here and give this glint stone key to some guy. Key to the, uh, to the seals binding both gates of the Academy of Lucaria. Activates warp bound. Huh, glint stone key will remember its user, meaning it's used only once. No, there was something else I got. This thing? Academy glint stone key. Key that seals binding gates. To the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Activates warp magic. The Glenstone key is still brand new. Unused by anyone. Somewhere they said, go give this to a guy who's way over east. But I don't remember what they said. So in the meantime, we're just going to travel north. Up here to this place. Whatever that is. I should probably just pop one of these here. Oh. Get on the damn horse and ride, goddammit. Yeah. Ah, uh, now we're going to
gonna stay up on land. I'll jump down on the water, then chances are I can't even get up there. I mean, unless there's no way to do it on land. We'll see. More roa fruit, my favorite. I'm gonna make a smoothie later, it's stupendous. All right, here we go. One baddie confirmed. All right, let's go frick this guy up. Oh my God. I still tag me right in the arse. Right in the arse hole. I don't take kindly to that. I ain't about to stand for this. My arse hole is off the menu. Invisible? Is that the problem? Dead, Becky. I hear you guys in here. Man, there's a lot of magic users so far in this area of the game. He's too busy smoking the ganja to deal with my hot moves. Alright, they are batting a thousand against me. God, no, not again. He was going to take a swing at me. What a nerd. What the hell am I looking at here? You got some grapes for me? Hmm? Old man? Ah, EG, forgive me. These royal grounds were placed in our trust, but we stood no chance. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know who EG is, so... It's not going to help me out. Wolves! Man, I'm out of my mind. Okay, alright. Easy dog. Dead Beckys. I can't believe these guys. The Gaul. I don't have a oh, God. He set a trap for me. All it took was Glintstone Firefly. The cheapest date he's ever seen. <laughs> God, these guys have wolves everywhere. Well, V-Rep, have you played much of this? I know you're a retro guy, but do you play any modern games? I'm rocking a 4090 just blazing this thing. Maximum settings. At 4K. And yet somehow, I'm streaming it. You just gotta imagine, this is Castlevania 2, and it's all 2D. Now we're walking through the graveyard. Another A-hole over here. Gotta use my Dracula's bone. Take a dex out of his mind! My guy kind of looks like McNulty. Oh, I'm out of my mind. A lump of flesh. I keep telling you guys, this old man will put anything in his pocket. Severed penis? In it goes. Uh, what was it? I literally stole some ovaries off a creature. Whatever you got. Yes, sir. A bit of this on and up, but you, uh... I have a vastly better graphics card. Well, I'm still paying for it. Um, I don't think I've come close to paying that off, and it's burning a hole in my credit card right now. But, um, I do a lot more video editing now, and I'm getting stuff done way faster than I've ever been able to, so there is a huge benefit to it. How the hell do I get over there? I had to make a tough call. Like, all right. For the good of my career, I need a computer that can just rock nonstop. What the hell? There's no way across! Ah, unless there's an invisible wall or something. Uh huh. God gamer confirmed. A am I in tune with this game or what? Holy lordy. There wasn't even a sign on the ground. Yeah, Eldenvania. He hates fences. Alright, well, we're good. Rest here. It's perfectly in sync. Alrighty. Hold on. Let's mix some new physics here. We got some new 
New stuff. Oh, well, this drink I have here is a buff I can use once per rest. Right now I say give me a little more HP back, but I might get rid of that. I might get rid of that. We'll keep this on because I like that it boosts my stamina because I'm a stab -a maniac. Temporarily boost stamina recovery. Speed. I can just be all stamina all the time. Boost strength. Fire attack. Enhances charge attack. All right, why don't we just try ultimate stamina, man? Like, I'm just non-stop swinging. So, I don't think this is an enemy. Well, look at you. Mm -hmm. I presume you are uh, tarnished. What brings you here? Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? He's very polite. I am E.G. Hmm. A blacksmith who once served the Carian Royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am, still quietly plying my trade on this spot. Perhaps you'd like a display? These bones are old, but still able. Oh. What have ye? Oh, I need two more of these to get my next level keen claws. What else we got here? Hmm. Maybe it's about time I upgrade something else. Anything else so I have just a backup plan. <clears throat> I mean, I could get this thing going way up. Uh, does it have blood? Yeah, it does do bleed. I just don't have anything cool yet. I don't have anything magical or savage. And I, I'm also not able to carry a lot of the stuff. I'll have to take off my sick armor. I don't want to use any of this other stuff. Knight's great sword. Oh, I need strength 16. I could, I could rock this. I just can't physically carry it. Uh, he sells stuff too. Oh, god damn! I need two more of these to upgrade my claws. I might as well find out how to buy these. Is this disrespectful? I can't physically get up there. There we go. Is this disrespectful? I guess they won't even let you talk to them like this. Why? Look at all this gear I got. All three, let's go. Ah, we're gonna get close. I need two, right? So I need 12... 12,000. We can do that. We've been blessed. Why not? I don't know how much of this will give me. All right. Something else. What the hell? I need level threes. Here I am buying level fours. Yeah. Wait, okay, Something just buy the level 3s then. Alright, we'll save that until after. Frank the Narberman. What do you need from me, you a-hole? Oh, I need 6 and I need... Okay, I only have... I only had them. Alright, right, right. we gotta keep going. Keep buying. Ah, I'm one short? God! All right, that stinks. Well, how many of these does he sell? It's infinite. That's nice. All right. Well, you know, in that case, I'll just uh, I'll take a couple of these. As long as I don't use any level three stones, we're fine. We got a bitch and katana. Are you my uncle? Kill X, yes I am. Are you one of those uncle... uncle trolls? My uncle told me to sit in a, a camp. I don't remember what it is. Something else. Hey, go on, get it out of your system there, Kill X. X, X, X. 
He's still coming to my birthday party. <laughs> it's really funny. I feel like I'm having a really good time right now. I felt like barfing earlier. Now I just feel like retching. All right. Uh... Oh, is that so cute? <laughs> funny guy. He's a really funny guy. Alright, eh, Now, you made me alt-tab out of the game just so I could do this. You want me to do it? Want me to do it? Wait! Hey, you got something really funny coming up? It'll be good! Alright. Ah, it doesn't hurt. I'll just leave the... the ban... Okay, you're not my uncle. Alright. It'll be good. I don't really care. So it's like when you have a kid. Once, oh, for the love of frick, what the hell's going on here? Jesus Christ. When you have a kid, like a small child, like once you once you come up with a rule, you have to follow through. If you don't, the kid gets all the power. All of it. So we got a little bit in there, and I had to give you the... Go for the hard rain, but now, you know, before I got all the way there, before I uttered it, you pulled me back. Alright, we gotta go. I don't know who the hell is shooting at me, but he's dead man! There's a guy up there shooting. Oh, okay. The clouds are coming alive shooting at me. They're a terrible shot. You guys think you can hit naked, Nick? Most agile old man in the goddamn biz. This is crazy. I <laughs> think the game doesn't explain this at all. More magic users, though. This game is so full of magic enemies. to do it right up into the grace point. The what now game? Alright, yeah, we got the next little area to go here. Did it! Oh. Maybe you know what I'll test out? My ultimate stamina potion. Level 30 in Elden Ring. All right, that's you're newer than I am at it. Well, what part of the game are you at? I'm level 51 or 52 or something. Oh, okay. Dead Frickster here. Oh, this is unnecessary. Giant goddamn hands got me. The hands of doom. What the hell is going on in here? All right, let's place a bunch of ticklers in here. Trying to beat Margit. Yeah, I had some help with Margit. I would have done it. If I was offline playing, I would have just played for as long as it takes. And Margit was a frick fest. An absolute frick fest. Um, I think the weapon determines how hard that fight's going to be for you. And I started as a tarnished or whatever. So all I had was the club, and it did not do me any good. All right, let's see if we can try this again. No, no, not like this! Tell me these fingers have magic spells, too. Good thing they bleed. The best you got! Ah, the little one's coming out. Damn, even with my stamina boost, I'm still running out of stamina. Dead Becky, coming up. Oh, all right, I'm the Dead Becky. Somber Smithing Stone, too. This is gross. It's good enemy design. Oh, God, we got another big hand. Jesus 
Christ. This is super gross. Level 30 fighting Margito, man. You've been busy uh, scooting around the whole world. Oh, whiffed it. I think I was fighting Margit at level 10. Yeah, this sucks. My ass kick. What a brave little rascal. Gotta bleed. Bleed him out. Uh, what kind of character are you playing as there, uh, Killex? Alright, what do you guys think? Shortcut door on the way back? Yep. A Vagabond. What, uh, what's your build? Like, what kind of weapon are you rocking? Alright, we got lots of enemies in here. Lots of freaking enemies. Oh. oh, here we go. Game on, dudes. When the hell am I going to unlock the magic spell of imbuing my weapon with magic? I'll start using magic once I find that one. Put me inventory. What is this one? Impales foes with a magical greatsword. Intelligence 27. You guys out of your mind? How smart you have to be to use all these goddamn things. Those foes towards caster. Why would I want that? Damn. You're on the Weeping Peninsula right now. Let me just, for context, where the hell is that? Did you get sucked over here? Is that what the Weeping Peninsula is? Oh, no, it's the one that's down here, right? I didn't even go there yet. I don't know what's down there. The game never really told me to go down there, and I didn't even... The game said you better go up there to that big castle. That's what I did. But then there was a whole area that the game just never tells you to go check out. Likely story. Bunch of rascals here. You want a piece of the big dog? Uh-oh. That one snuck up on me. And if you, if you want somber smithing stones, this is the place to be. the genuine grossest area I've been in the game so far. Smoking the Urba Man. I want it to look so cool, but it never works out for me. Uh, is this your first Souls game? A lot of people end up, this is their first Souls-style game. Not my first Souls game. Uh, I've been playing these games since uh, Demon Souls, since that very first one, but man, they're like my favorite game. What's just these goddamn hands? These spider hands. That's really, uh, good enemy design. It's gross. Hot loot. going to be a guy fall from a tree, isn't there? Crystal Bud Mon. Ew. Hold on, I always hit the wrong button. The damn Crystal Bud is. Crafting item? Rhymed crystal bud. Why the hell? Why does there have to be two types of crystal bud? Oh, there was two of them. And I whiffed the first hit. No, no, okay. I thought it was two big ones. I do really miss the Bloodborne uh, give you your health back mechanic. That was a good one. Oh, 
Was it a big one? No, little one. Oh, I whiffed it big time. Big dog coming out to eat. Come on your life, buddy. I think they have such a moronic hitbox. I don't even know where they're swinging. All right, hidden item confirmed, everybody. Ah, oh, what? No, turn around, Nick. As if our music being uh, very pretty right now. I like the Souls games with music in them. Usually they don't have any of it. This is, uh, it's been working pretty well in this, this game. Oh, that was sneaky. What a cheeky bugger. My guy has the uh, claws, which do bleed damage. So if I hit him enough times, eventually he will bleed, and that does like half of his health. All right, somber smithing stones confirm. All right, I think we've investigated this area thoroughly. Now we can move on. I might have missed some more somber stones or moon bud or whatever. Better to kill one more dead Becky. Oh! He just had to get a hit on me, didn't he? Sneakster. I keep doing an extra attack because I feel like they need it, but they all go down with the one running attack. Yeah, you guys see that? There's got to be some hidden items back here. Or in here? Nope. Alright, moving on. Go time. Out of my mind. At least it's nice and doable. I like when I'm strong enough in an area, coming in just rolling through. I feel powerful. I feel capable. Obviously, they want us to go in there, everyone. But, hidden wall. No horse ahead. All right, great mess. What does it say? Why you gotta have such a stupid message? Something about that. Damn liars. All right, we're going in. Wait, what did that say? Oh, that was the blood stain. All right, in we go. I don't know if we even need to be here right now. We're going in. This is Carrie a Manor. 
Uh, by the way, loving your streams. Uh, hey, thanks, Blaze. What? Oh, Blaze, you're completely out of your mind. That'll play. Uh, my nation, a combination of humor, retro, modern is fantastic. Oh, we bring it together like this. Am I right? And you know what? When you get subbed up to this channel, we give you a little extra. All right. Every Saturday on the Discord, we get out of our minds. It's a, it's a bespoke stream. Usually, we just fart around. Uh, but you guys, you've just paid your entrance fee right there, right now. Second of all, we get out of our mind. Our mind. Our mind. Everyone subs up, and you just subbed your balls off. So that means we have to do something special. Hopefully, I don't get attacked while I'm doing this. We have something special to do, and that is as follows. Crank it up. Money cannot buy the honor which is bestowed bestow tonight. Blizz, you did it. You entered the Hall of Heroes. Why can't I type? Oh, yeah, it feels good. It feels good to get out of your mind. Come on. Oh no. Oh god, no. Teddy Rat is back. He's gonna get out of his mind. There we go. He's tiny, but he can stand to be tinier. Sensible. Yep. Ah, damn. Pose ah, around and find out. Get him a body bag. Fred, show him how it's done. Yeah. All right. Bliss, how long have you been watching the show? Michael? Uh, yeah, you said you've been watching like the, the mix of uh, retro, modern, and comedy. That's what we've been doing here, and only recently have we been able to really bust out the re uh, the modern stuff, because I got a new machine. Might as well put it through its paces. Uh, maybe I need to get an emote for the little kids from Moonwalker. Oh my god, that was, that was a little out of control. That's ignorant, I blink. It's ignorant. I feel a little better. Quantum, welcome in Quantum. Um, Jigs was unstoppable. He's trying to get us all banned. I got banned anyways. Not banned, but YouTube... YouTube said, you can no longer monetize this video if you ever want to. I can't because the restrictions are very hard. Uh, because Billie Jean, it, it copyrighted Michael Jackson Moonwalker on Sega Genesis. It's not even Billie Jean. How can it do that? All I did was put a label on it. It said, warning, ultra cu uh, crude humor. It only makes people want to click it more. Not too long, just like three or four streams so far. It's a great place to vibe. Yeah, the Sunday... We, unless I'm dead or dying, Sunday goes off without a hitch every Sunday. Uh, and then if I can, during the week, we do as many streams as we can. And the Saturday show, uh, almost every Saturday. I had to miss the last one because I was sick. I felt like I was going to barf. I slept on the couch for five hours um, instead of doing the uh, bespoke stream last night. We, we needed that. I, this, when this stream started, I started with the barf bowl just in case. I actually feel a lot better now. Elden Ring and all you rascals cheered me right up. Jags is a true speedrunner, speedrunning to demonetization. Yeah. <laughs> Seabeard over on YouTube. What are you doing over there, Seabeard? What if I barf on Sunday? What if you barf on Sunday? 
Well, I still came, even though I was barfy today, I still streamed. Eh? So I don't know if you know this, uh, Blizz, but yeah, we used to do retro hard. We used to go hard on the retro. Take a look at this. All those games right there, those are all the retro games we played in a series I called Up Late with Rad, where I went through, oh God, no! Not so pro gamer. You bringing the Rady Rascals in here while we're celebrating our newest sub? That's fine. We got enough Fred couples to go around. I was just explaining to Blizz what the hell we used to do on this show. We've morphed it a bit. Welcome in, you Rady Rascals. Scoot in. Hey, King, did you bring these Raiders over here? Hey, King, you shouldn't have. I mean, you directed them over here, I'm sure. Like, I know a guy who gets out of his mind. I wrote the song you're listening to right now supposed to be a local news track. Anyways, we used to play games. Uh, I'll show you from the set. Mose oh! around to find out, Dan. Get him a body bag. Get him a body bag. I'm all a goddamn body bag. All right. So, uh, this is my space station, everyone. I know it's not much to look at on the inside. Dan, you just saw, is the maintenance man, and he's been in charge for the last year. He's really running into the ground. It used to look like this. That's nicer. No, this is all a facade. This is my holodeck using Tachyon technology. No, it looks like this now. God damn it. Anyways, uh, this is what it looks like from the outside. If you want to see what the space station looks like, this is what it looks like from the outside, all right? She's a beaut. Radland, she's a beaut. All right, anyways, uh, what we used to do on this show, and we would like to do again at some point, but it's just, it's been a while. Uh, I used to play through games one month at a time. One month at a time, starting in 1995, going all the way, month by month, all the way until uh, we finished up 2001. We finished it up. That's over 1,100 games we played on the show. And we had to do retro games because my old machine just really couldn't handle much modern games. Now that we have a new machine, I'm, I'm playing catch-up. So that's why we're doing a little modern at the time. But we want to go back. Everyone knows we're going back to that 2002 season. Hot and heavy. Heavier than ever. We got a modded PS2, a modded Xbox, and a modded goddamn uh, Wii, which can play GameCube games. We're going to play them all. We're going to play them all. All right, so what the hell's going on here, Not So Pro Gamer? You scooting in here and no one's giving you a shout out, I will give you that big shout out, buddy. Hey, Buster. This is what we're doing. Not So Pro Gamer. Playing Pal World, the game that's taking the world by storm. I haven't played it yet. That price tag is kind of hard. They're like 30 bucks for a game you never heard of before, made by people you've never heard of before, but all your friends are talking about it and playing it. Are you gonna Are you gonna jump off a bridge too? Ah, I don't have the money to. Ah. Maybe. All right. Uh, you got a modded Xbox? Noise. I need one of those. You know, I had to mod it myself under uh, Devin's tutelage. Um, Devin Danger. OG member of the show. Doesn't come around that much anymore, but you know what? Uh, he helped me out modding this Xbox. I had to mod it my goddamn self. I had to unscrew it with Torx bits. Just little screwdriver bits that look like a star. And uh, I also modded the PS2 with his tutelage. And apparently it's really easy to mod a uh, Wii to play GameCube games. So we've got it all. So the 2002 season will come back, but you know what? It takes a lot of planning because I would take uh, an entire evening the night before the show to plan it out and when I'm doing like uh, I work I'm a musician I make music for games and when I have big contracts it's hard for me to get that whole uh, <laughs> play the month my ass all right does it know how to play does it now play your backups what do you mean like uh, this song goes pretty damn hard uh, yeah it's all backups Quantum. I own every one of those discs. You know, I actually bought WWF Raw on Xbox off eBay just so I could play it because it was not emulatable. This was before I had it modded. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do for this season. I guess I'm going to have to buy all the games I'm going to play. I'm like, this one I want to play for some reason. I don't know why I wanted to play it so bad. Anyways, um, well, wrestling games are a big, you know, I've, I've done every wrestling game since 1995. So I was like, I got to play this one. And then I got copy striked into oblivion. Not for the audio. For like a visual stinger that plays at the beginning of the game. WWF st like stung my video in the archive and it is not available anywhere. You cannot see it. 
Jesus Christ. Shout out time, non Retsu. Get the hell back in here, buddy. All right. If the bridge was as cute as Shillette, maybe. Uh, very funny in the last Souls game. Uh, wait, I'm reading the chat backwards again. Let me go to the top. Very funny that the first Souls like is called Like Me. It's fine. Everything changes every second as when you... What are you saying, Nonretsu? I don't know. No, Ren! No, Rensu, I don't know what the hell that means. Have you lost your damn mind? Can someone do a sanity check? Someone call Nonretsu and see if he's okay. Alright, well, let's get back in the game. You guys came here for hot gameplay. Let's do hot gameplay. I was just, you know, I was telling uh, our newest sub, our brand newest subs, uh, Blizz, all about the show, and then the Raiders came in, and I had to double up. I had to stack on top of each other. Now we can go back and play the game, all right? All right. I'm rolling in here as a clawed naked Nick at night. Now, you guys might uh, know Nick Nolte, the famous actor. Well, I accidentally created a character that looks basically exactly like him. And so now that became a running theme on the show. Nick Nolte's out of his mind. Nick Nolte should have been Wolverine Weapon X, you know what I mean? All right, uh, we will put Nick's clothes back on out of respect for the man and what he's accomplished. Good actor. I like him. So I'm a uh, light build, but I'm wearing pretty damn heavy armor. Just heavy enough to do some rolls. All right. Who's the dead man? Who's the dead man who set this table up wrong. I don't need no dynamic lighting in here. All right, very funny that the first Souls like is called Like Me. Is this an internet meme? I don't know what the hell you guys are saying. But you know what I have to do? I have to scroll over here. That going. All right. I pray for your house's swift revival. May the moon shine upon Karia. See, weird. When you beat this game, did it make any sense? Were you able to be like, yeah, sick storyline? Lady Ranny, we waited for a long time and we fall. All right. Someone save me from Naked Nick! He's ruining all my stuff! Alright, we got a Grace over here. You know, you know you've been playing this game long enough when you start calling them Graces instead of Bonfires. Alright. No, oh, I had to watch five or six YouTube videos. Okay. I am eagerly awaiting my uh, storyline breakdown. What the hell happened in this game? I hope it doesn't end crappy like Bloodborne. Bloodborne's ending was such a bummer. And it still is my favorite game. Even despite it having a completely crappy ending. Smithing Stone 4, everybody! Oh, God! Is that- no, we need another Smithing Stone 3. Nah! How am I supposed to get Keen Claws level 9? And those finger enemies down there, do you see that, Seabeard? Holy frickin' lord. It's creepy as hell. It's good design. One day you will understand. I haven't played One day you will understand too, Seabeard, if you haven't played Bloodborne. Seabeard uh, or uh, Sekiro will always be your favorite. Well, you can't know, and I can't know until we've played them both. Now, Hatter might be the only one who's played them both, so Hatter's the only one that can be a deal breaker there. And I know how oh, I got. I need to go double fist in these. Dead Becky's coming through. Am I still not double fisting these? Double fist. Man. Magic enemies everywhere. When do I get to the ninja level? Where the hell am I getting shot at from? Oh, okay. Oh, this is the first guy that didn't stagger when I chopped him with my claw. I need to if he's dead. All right, new gauntlets. Maybe they look fresh. I got a pair down though. What is this cheesy cheese dink maneuver? Exact same goddamn thing. Get it off my screen. All right, uh, the hand area is awful. They are just awesome design though. They made them look like spiders. Ugh. That's well done, game. You ah! pose around, Dan. You get the hard rain. Go ahead. Go ahead. Figure it out. Oh, 
Oh, damn, this area's big if you can start flopping on the rooftops. All right, go to bed, Seabeard. Thanks for watching as much as you did, man. And thanks for helping me take that a-hole boss down. Okay, one dead Becky coming up. I don't even know if there's any reason for me to be in here. I gotta get up there. How do I get over there? I chose wrong. I had one choice, and I made the wrong one. God damn it. All right, one more dead a-hole coming up. Oh, this is bad. I'm getting tagged here. Bagged and tagged. Damn it, like claws. Frick. Man, these guys are paying off. Yep. Level three. Bolts. Damn it. All right. Well, not so pro gamer. Uh, let's see. Are you into Elden Ring as well? Oh, God damn it. In Elden Ring as well, if you're still here, or anyone from his stream. Oh, for Christ's sake, I got tagged hard there. Pal World seems fun. I like that everyone's getting into it. It's like a runaway hit, right? God. See that sneak attack move? I'm gonna throw magic at me, but oh dear. Alright, they got it. Haven't played it yet. Uh, doubt I would get very far. I guess it's, well, it's kind of weird because Monster Hunter, is Pal World and Monster Hunter kind of like the uh, same genre of game? Is that accurate? Like, I have no idea. I can't, I cannot be the one to confirm it tonight. Holy goddamn, it's getting out of hand in this bridge. What the holy hell is going on here? Target this guy, for the love of God. Alright, just running away. Not worth it. Ah, they still tag me. God damn it. Hey, Jake, naked neck. I can't believe it. If there's anything hidden over here. Nope. Uh, the name is accurate. I love games, but I'm pretty bad at them. <laughs> I told you what was going on here. That's fair. Well, these games, these Monster Hunter games, or Pal World, if it is similar to Monster Hunter, there's enough mechanics in there that you gotta be... There's no goofing around in those games. It's super intimidating. I was uh, playing Monster Hunter World for the first time ever. First Monster Hunter game I've ever played uh, with some of the uh, viewers of this program, and it's just like, man, it's like a wave just crashing over you. Like, more systems you need to know. Ah! But... Once you get the hang of it, obviously it's great, but man, I, they're intimidating, those games, for me. So, you know, you might not call yourself a pro gamer, but uh, to, to get good at those type of games takes, like, a special type of fortitude. I'm good at rolling. I'm the rolling man. You want to see a guy, you want to see a naked old man roll across a world map? Uh, that's me. Uh, but any of the systems in this game, that, that's where I start falling apart. This game has quite a bit of systems, too, I won't lie. But at least I understand the high octane, uh, the language of high octane rolling action. All right, that was Rage. Rage was one of the guys I played with. Arc X Pokemon Arceus, Arceus, from what I keep getting told, that's what it's like. I would consider Monster Hunter closer to Souls. Really? What even is Pal World? I keep hearing about it. Yeah, it's just the last. You know what it was? I saw you play it. Rage uh, on Discord. I saw it pop up. I'm like, never heard of that before. And then I saw say or uh, Baklava playing it. And then I saw Shorty playing it. And that's where I knew something crazy was going on. If Shorty was playing it, something insane has happened. There's no isometric uh, camera angles in it. Something funny's going on. Uh, I definitely get the Arceus vibe. But with way more things to do. So what is the action like in the game? Do you have, like, can you do high-octane rolls like this? Any game that lets you do high-octane rolls like this to get away from attacks, I basically am okay with right from the get-go. Oddly enough, those sandboxy type games are my favorite because there's 
too much to do and create. Uh, it would be too easy for me to get lost. Shorty has been taken over by the pod people. That's how you know. That's how you know. Not so pro gamer. That is exactly how I got into Souls games. When Demon Souls on PlayStation 3 came out, it was the laughing stock on the internet. Everyone's like, look at this crappy game. It's so crappy. Because uh, you see the little uh, menus over there with my items in them. The Demon Souls icons for it looked like clip art. It was really crappy stuff. And so it, it didn't show well in pictures. And so everyone would write about it and laugh about it and just be crappy. And I actually rented it. It was like 15 years ago. I rented it, and I rented it as a joke, and then ended up, like, just being completely blown away with the game after, like, the first boss. It took me to get to the first boss, but... I speed AF my man! Alright. What are we doing here? Wolf enemies. These guys look like they mean business. So do I, goddammit. Sworn there'd be some hot items down here. All right, let's see how these wolves deal with me. Oh, they're biggest frick! Those wolves are no joke. They take a full stamina meter of hits. Jesus Christ! Outstanding rolls. Okay, well I'm glad. If it has outstanding rolls, that that puts it on a higher list of my stuff to uh, check out. Uh, oddly in the quantum short he's been thinking about an article about how awful it was. Actually, yeah. High speed is frick, my man. Okay, outstanding rolls. One of the first major boss encounters you do will encourage you to dodge roll. In my opinion, games with iframes are just meh. Bro, Keto, you don't like them? What would the alternative be? Like a game where you... You have to dodge with zero, like, absolute precision? I can see the appeal. And you know what? I will raise you that... And say, sometimes when they give you the iframes, it gives you the sense that you're better than you are. So, it, oh god. Not the rhymed crystal bud! Which increases your, um... Like, the fun. It feels like it's more fun. Oh man, I'm unstoppable. I'm the ultimate killing machine. No one can touch me. It's like a little dopamine hit. Every time you successfully roll in this game, you get a little dopamine hit. Like, oh, I'm out of my mind. That's why I'm playing as this little claw frickster. A lot of people play with big weapons so they can attack from farther away. I'm just hoping I roll. Stab, stab, stab. And then uh, stick and move, stick and move. All right, well, we're going to see how far I get with that strategy here. All right, more nerds, everybody. More magic using nerds. I don't know who the frick they're dealing with today. Go back to school, Poindexter. deal with the big boy. No mercy, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy. I'm gonna make a bleed. First I'm stabbing him right in this bee hole. Oh, frick! Alright, game on, dudes. Can't be good. I think I'm crouching the whole time. Alright, just go for it. Oh, he tagged me with that one. He backstepped. Clever girl. How do you guys expect to beat me? Troll Knight's ultimate sword. Wait till you see how much strength I'm gonna need to be able to hold this thing in my hand. That's actually not that bad. Let's see what it looks like. Oh god damn. <laughs> hey, you can attack pretty fast. Just got one of those, alright. But I can't use it. And also, if you have too much gear on, you do a fat slow roll. Known as fat rolling. I like that for sure. All right, chat's getting on it. Outstanding rolls. All right. So you say that game has outstanding rolls, but not an iframe rolling game? All right. 
Uh, I have a skill issue as a tag on all my streams. Skill issue. Well, at least you... Are you sure you're just not self-deprecating? I bet you're better than you think you are. Touché. I still have... Uh... Alright, Frokito says Dark Souls 2. I didn't much care for Dark Souls 2, but it wasn't necessarily because of the game's fault. They just kept adding multiple enemies at you. I don't want to fight five rats while I'm trying to fight a boss. It's not that type of game! Although I'm not saying there's claims going around now on Twitter with the community notes saying that there isn't anything AI about Power World, by the way. Was there some sort of AI in it? It was created by AI bots or something? Because it was a remarkably small team that made it, wasn't it? Skynet made it! What a darn fine soldier this guy is. Frickin' dealing with here. There we go. Hot loot galore. I gotta tell you, I don't think any game's ever done loot better than this game. This loot a mania. This is a lootathon. <laughs> What's with these guards? Go, go over there, I swear! Ah, he peppered me good. I got so much stamina, there's no way you're getting away from it. Although I'm now out of these. I'm slow and steady. Our crystal bud. Ah. I could have sworn this was like a doorway. No, nothing. Alright. I just don't want to be invincible when I roll. All right, I can see the appeal. If the roll's designed around it, hell yeah, I get you. I will say that one thing that could be frustrating with these games is that the enemies, they have these attacks that swoop around them, and so you gotta kind of... You just gotta understand what the game is asking, like if he... I don't know, like there's certain parts where you're safe to roll. Roll in that direction! Like if he has a sword in his right hand and he's swinging it down this way, if you try and roll towards the swing, um... You can stay safe that way. But yeah, there's sometimes where they come straight down on you and the iframe save you. Uh, there's footage of the game going around for quite a bit. Maybe a couple of years. Oh, okay. We get good if not. Fair. So, you're saying you like the rolls in PAL World. Are they not iframe rolls? Alright, what is this? Guarantee that's a sick area down there to go check out, but I'm not going to do it yet. Oh, there's a boss over there. Is there a bonfire anywhere? What the hell's going on here? You guys are going to make me fight this troll every time I want to go fight this boss? Nothing? No? Alright, that scared me. Only got one flask left. I'm not going to fight this guy now. Hey, no, you're not at all, Fro uh, Frokito. Not at all. You're speaking your mind, and you're not you're not being a stickler. You brought up a good point. I can see the appeal of having high octane rolls matter. You gotta dodge correctly. No iframes. It's a very Japan thing to do, you know. Japan's like, you know what? We want to get out of our mind with iframes. I want a game that has nothing but iframes. No item ahead. Noted. Nothing over there. Noted. I can hear someone clomping around in there, but... I don't know what the point of this... red herring is. Alright, well, I guess we gotta go fight the stinking boss with one flask. With one Mountain Dew Code Red, how am I supposed to beat this guy? You tell me that. Oh, all right, and I guess we don't even have to because we're fighting him here. Oh, God. Oh, he's tagging me good. Let me get this going. This gives me ultimate stamina. 
stamina for days. Oh, okay, yeah, that was a good call. I feel like fighting on the horse is a detriment. Ah, uh, you know what? Give me a second shot with more healing items. That guy's going down to pound town. I want no frames ever, says Shorty. Yeah, Shorty's not a fan of the Souls game, so I can imagine that. Shorty only wants you to be able to crouch on your belly slowly across the whole map and one hit the final boss like this. Ah, ah. Name that game, Shorty. I like that Shorty's no compromise. Which is why, Shorty, you playing Pal World and digging it? That's like, it's blowing my mind. Like, that game must be something else. Commandos 2. He knows, damn it. All right, look at this. Eight, eight flasks. This guy wants to deal with the big dog with eight flasks. He's going down to Pound Town. Easy to, okay, frick. What do you think? Was that iframes, do you think? Oh, God. How about hit me with every single one of those? That should be fine. Okay, that was iframes. Oh, God. Leave me alone. All right, we're back in action. happens every time you fight a boss. You do so well the first round. You go in there brimming with confidence, and then you just get your ass handed to you the next one. Imagine if Sonic had iframes. I don't know. Sonic's a, Sonic's a tough sell. I think Sonic had, had some big problems. Oh, I like so You like Souls game, Shorty? I've never seen you play Souls game in my life, Shorty. I would love to see you play a Souls game. Alright, you whiffed it, ratty boy. Back at it you go. Who's the dead man? Stop shooting magic at me, Abel. Hey, God, no! It's funny how rolling's even a thing in game. It shouldn't be really. Oh, God. Of course I should be able to roll non-stop. You ever rolled like this in real life? I'll take everything out of you. Oh god damn it. Specter ever gonna bleed? God damn it. What? Hey! Okay, that was all iframe all the time. Okay, he shaved an eyebrow off on that one. It's like Oh, he tagged me. He bagged and tagged me. He's got new moves now. He's done fricking around. What? No! All right, he's definitely busting out the new moves. What if I stand behind this chair? Does that protect me at all from these swords of death? In you go, ratty boy. No mercy. Ah, he got me before I could heal. But the Thor. More than enough. All right, damn, the chat's getting on his mind. Just here and read this for a real second. All right, uh, Commandos 2, me frame, not an eye frame. Was the Ninja Assassin game that was big? Sekiro? Shorty, you don't need eye frames to turn based, uh, in turn based isometric. Am I right? Yeah, there's no eye frame at all in there. <laughs> it's only you telling your guys to uh, commit genocide over a whole city of people in uh syndicate they didn't have iframes it didn't save them just don't like goofy anime swords in them it wouldn't it get kind of boring though shorty if they had just regular swords the whole game i'm gonna start with sekiro just to be a nut job 
I think it'll be fine. I just it's hard to go from all these games to Sekiro. Maybe if you played Sekiro at the time. All right. Uh, I have shown you my butter tool with the Kimball. All right. We're getting closer. We're cinching it in. Got to notch that belt in, everyone. So he gets new moves at the second half. Maybe I'll save my ultimate stamina potion for back then. My natural male enhancement potion. All right, go. In, one, and done. How do you expect to beat me? Oh, dear lordy. Ah, he thought I was going to get away from the horse mule kick. I'm going to get away from the goddamn trees. Not again. Ah, oh, Ratty, get out of there. Horse mule kick. Okay, okay. I'm just permanently out of stamina in this fight. I took for granted that potion I had. All right, so you guys might notice I have two actual, two rolling moves. I have an actual roll and then a sidestep. My claws give me this uh, quick step ability, which I like a lot. Still peppered me with one. No! Okay, gotta watch out for that, I guess. Alright, stamina time. Oh, God, did I get away? No, don't get the frick back! Oh, God, I was rolling backwards. I should have rolled sideways. Seems like I'm a good level for this boss. I, it's not one of those bosses where you play them and you're like, am I even supposed to be here yet? And my swords work in Final Fantasy VII because that was the entire theme. This mixes realism graphics-wise uh, with goofy swords. Uh, but they are still very pretty games. Well, at least my claws are pretty realistic, right, Shorty? Look, he's just got, like, wooden planks on his arm. Sick. Cut me down in my prime. Let's stop letting him get away with that move. Holy freaking move. What's up with all these new moves? Ah, I keep letting him get that one hit on me. Damn, that one comes down and then around. I gotta make sure if he's doing that when I dodge to the right. Yeah, the chair actually saved me there. There's no way away from this. Damn it. Damn it, I have too many items. I'm trying to flick through them. All right, this guy wants a piece of the big dog. Well, he's getting it. It's not even worth it. I accidentally took my stupid claws off. Go ahead, can I finish this one up? Took my claws off and took my bow out. How did that even happen? Ah. Ah. Gunblade, though. Nick Nolte is all realistic, man. You have, he's right down to the pixel perfect, Nick Nolte. All right, uh, gun blades are dumb as crap, says Shorty, and nothing anyone says will ever change my mind. That's fair. What about the gun blade in Final Fantasy VIII? I thought that was kind of cool. That was the first time I'd ever seen it, though. Maybe it's a little played out by now. Me? I like claws all day. Yeah, I get... You know what? I gotta take the stupid bow off. I don't know how that happened. All of it's coming off. You, done. You, done. All of you, done. 
don't need any of this goofy garbage. Get me in there, fight this guy. One and done. Pound town. Like a gun that shoots blades. Now you're thinking. Ah, he clocked me with that one. Don't make me bust you up, man! No. See that sick dodge-a-thon? Oh god, I keep thinking he can't hit me there, but of course he can. hell over here stop being an a-hole one hit only red Jesus Christ is so greedy can't be stopped won't be stopped ah he take me good he stopped me damn it get me a body big Nick Nolte needs to dispense some extreme prejudice and soon. All right. Only one thing missing from my current attempt at this boss. And I think some of you might know what it is. You need to pick me up, and I need it right now. Nope. Okay. I don't know what it used to be at. hell is it? It is missing in action once again. I swear I, s I put it at the top of my playlist every time. And it gets sent somewhere else. Did you go scooting down here for some reason? Imagine trying to s find a needle in a haystack with just your eyeballs. That's what I'm doing right now. Maybe I should just make a section that's like 30 of these songs in a row. Way it won't get lost. Well, now it just looks like I'm a goofball. That's not gonna work if it's just Valdezir. There it is. Why in the world does it get that tangled up? All right, here we go. Party time. Nope, party time. <laughs> City, you know you have to survive. You gotta keep that dream alive when everything is real a fantasy. You know you have to survive. You gotta keep that dream alive when everything is real a fantasy. So many so many people seem to me, but there's no time. So many people stand as God, so many gags, to be fed. Living in a city where no one lets you down. Hey, hey, you know, oh God, hold on, whoever just came in, get out of your mind. Alright, Brokito, you did the right thing. I'm proud of you, you did the right thing. Can't be stopped, won't be stopped. Oh God! Living in the city, you know you have. 
have to survive. You're gonna keep the dream out, oh, frick me. Bogus man. Shave the testicle hair off on that one. Can't you see, goddammit? There, you hosed up, dickhead. Nope, nope, play cool, ratty boy. Cool as a cucumber. No, no, no. Living in the city, baby. Ba 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 boom. Get in my body bag. Living in the city, magic, baby. God, it works every time. 10% of the time, it works every time. Thank you, Sonic R, for once again showing us just how hard it is to live in the city. All right, Froquito, in the middle of that, you got out of your mind. Hey, that Discord is waiting for you, buddy. I don't know if you're a Discord user. Click the link, head over there, be a champ. It's just another way to know when we're doing stuff, you know? When things are happening on the stream, you can't trust Twitch. You can't trust Twitch. Twitch doesn't give a damn. All right, so if you guys didn't know, uh, I forgot to actually share this earlier. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel, which I stream to live. Dual fork, even before Twitch let you, because I'm a rebel. Um, but I edit content over on that YouTube channel. I'm out of breath from that. <sighs> I edit content over on that YouTube channel as well, and we have a great time. All right, back in we go. Loretta's great bow. Ash of War, Loretta's Slack. Alright, what did we get for that? 10,000? That is not a lot. Uh, here I am celebrating like I just took down the goddamn Goliath, and that was not a lot of XP. And then we're there's a fog gate right over here, just waiting for another fight. Isn't there? No? Oh, okay. It disappeared once I beat the hell out of that a-hole. Alright. That's so funny, that's from Sonic R. Yeah, but we played through Sonic R on the show, and that song stuck out. But the whole soundtrack for Sonic R is just a banger. All right. Whew. Some sick as frick living in the city. I agree. You know what? I think we could probably... Probably... What the hell? Let's check our inventory out here, because I think I can go up a level by just popping a bunch of stims. Ah, no, it's gonna be close. I don't think I'm, I don't unless I have like eight of the other ones. Eh? Let's risk it. Oh, this is not gonna work. I'm gonna lose every single one of these. You guys can't see it. I'm adding uh, souls or grace to my uh, level up meter. It's just behind me here. You guys can't see it while I'm in the way, but... Oh, maybe, if I got four of these? Can you see this? 18? 18,000 we're at now? I think that's a level up. It is. Sick. Alright, we're dexing out of our mind. We, as of yet, have to find anything useful with our... dex, but... Alright, in we go. Where the hell was the door? That was the red herring, and the door was over here. Wasn't it? There was a door. I'm not lying. Never has anyone lived as this hard as Naked Nick. You know what? We've earned it. Naked Nick Nolte's back. He's out of his mind. He's here to see the three sisters. Come on, where are the three sisters? 
That doesn't look very good. Although, what do I care? Let's go beat the hell out of this thing. Just hear it in the background. Is that another dragon? Oh, it might be, yeah. Uh... What are you guys doing here? Get freaking run! These dragons are about impossible for my character to take on because I have to be right next to them to do any damage. Alright, well, Glintstone Dragon Aduna. Adula. If I'm gonna be this out of my mind, I guess it's not gonna be that hard. Had a strong start. Naked Nick is losing his goddamn mind in front of our eyes. Oh, this is gonna cost you. Oh, Naked Nick got hurt bad. Frick. We need to get in close. We can't allow this dickhead to get out of his mind like that. Alright, stop targeting. You can't hit a goddamn thing. Did Naked Nick scare the dragon off? I think we showed him who's boss. <laughs> Mission accomplished. That me shimmering. And that uh that stamina boost really lasts a while. He touches chicken toes and he runs away like scared, scared, running home to mama. You see that? It was Naked Nick! I can't handle that! What do you mean you can't handle Naked Nick? No one can handle Naked Nick. No one as of yet has ever handled Naked Nick. And it's never gonna change. I don't know what the hell happened there. Why'd the boss run away? Never seen that before. This stamina thing is still going. Be a grace around here somewhere. Though I don't see one. That movie with Nick Nolte where he pulls out his his own tooth out. The dragon knows Nick's out of his mind. I saw the movie, it was scary. Ah, Nick Nolte does what he has to do. Nick Nolte didn't start it. You started it. I would actually, after this, I'd like to go watch some more Nick Nolte movies. If you think about it, has Nick Nolte ever let you down? Even for one goddamn second? I don't think so. Nick Nolte brings the brings the thunder every single time. I think I caused a fumble. I appreciate the moment of silence to make me know that I did the right thing <laughs> in the fight. I'm out of my mind. I never miss a moment, alright? Oh. oh, here we go. Game on, dudes. These things have sick upgrades. Oh, come on, Naked Nick. And survey says, Jack Frick? What the hell? What kind of goofy garbage is this? I was denied. Not only was I denied, but I let you all down. I promised you hot loot, unforetold loot, and we were let down. 
is the nearest grace around here? Maybe I'll go open up one of these. It's one of those key doors. And... No. Locked shut for now. You're not where you're supposed to be, Nick. You're not wearing enough clothes, Nick. This door is blocked until you smarten up. Damn. It's discrimination. I don't know. I won't stand for it. hell am I? That's not where I want to be. Did I actually deal... Did I do everything I need to do in Karia's Manor? And then rolled right out of there? Right into an area that I'm not allowed to be in yet? That doesn't make a lick of sense. Alright, I guess we gotta go through the bigger castle here, which is... Through this area? More glintstone fireflies for me! I don't know what they do. Terrifying to be on the rampart of this castle and just see this guy running up there. We got a naked weirdo running in the castle! What do you mean a naked weirdo? Come on, I just want to give you a hug. A naked next never hurt anybody in his life. He's just sneaking in. What the big deal? He's hungry. Damn way in this place. That thing's locked shut too. Everything is locked shut out here. Don't you dare tell me this castle's locked shut too. Alright, good. No grace though. Odd. More glintstone fireflies though. Holy crap. Look at the sense of scale in this game. Well, it's still impressive to me because I wasn't playing modern games for like eight years. And now when I see something like that, it's like, God, that pretty goddamn big. A genuinely humongous thing. What am I looking at here? Big mountain range. Oh, we're still at the castle. All right. Well, let's go in. Oh, that's where I came from. I did a Yui? God damn, I got so turned around, I had no idea where I was. What the hell? How did I get that turned around? Ran right back to where I came from. Well, have we searched everything? I don't feel like we did. It doesn't offer a lot of instruction on what the hell you're doing. All right, well, let's see. If I head in this direction... Straight to a wall. More on you massive fanny. Grom, get in here, buddy. I'm feeling a little better today. Though at the start of the stream, I thought I was going to yak. I was going to yak it up. But as the stream went on, my energy grew. Photo finish on that goddamn Michael Jackson moonwalker, hey? Good lord. Current leader in the internet's largest fannies. God gamer and legend. How we doing? Well, I can't call myself God gamer. Not after... Q goes in and beats the whole game. You believe that? Like, I can't believe we actually got to see the end of the game. And he didn't even get credit for it. Well, he gets credit. He gets called the God Gamer, but he doesn't get the points for it. Alright, and now we have derailed. Now, Ratty Boy has no idea where to go, and no idea what to do. Meh. What's that over there? Have I checked that before? 
Yes, we did. Well, we haven't been over there yet. I guess we gotta go over there. There's like a tiny bridge I can cross, right? Alright, let's set our marker over there and get the horse out here. Nick and Nick is going horseback. Bareback style. Well, Alright, right off a cliff. This game is intelligent. Now, whereas Castlevania 3 seems to be designed to frustrate me, this game's like, alright, we know you need to run across a bunch of stuff you don't want to, and you don't want to get stuck on the geometry, so... What we're gonna do is we're gonna help you out and just say, all right, double jump on your horse. Just get over whatever you need. Michael, that's ignorant. You've been ignorant. And yeah, still, uh, I felt worse during the big fannies, but at the start of the stream, I, I thought, man, am I gonna yak right now? Uh, uh. It only happened in an MJ game. Kill crazy. Whoa, here we go. There we go. Frozen armament. Hell yeah. Damn it. That's why I keep taking my claws off. So many buttons in this game. It's a borderline overwhelming game with how many buttons there are. Okay, frick me. He's going to kill me. Jesus Christ. Always kill the magic user first. Wait, is he one of these skeletons that comes back to life? At least I'm strong as hell. Okay. Damn it, they are the skeletons that come back to life. Alright, apparently you have to hit them a bunch of extra times, and then they'll stay dead. Alright. What the hell did I pick up? Magic spell. Frozen armament. Enhances right hand armament with frost. That's what I need. Intelligence 15? Alright, we gotta level up our intelligence. Next chance we get. And then, and only then, can I start getting my uh, keen claws to start doing frost damage. How would you rate the dumpin' ring so far? It's 10 out of 10. I have no qualms with this game. It's a perfect Souls game. But, when you're dealing with Infinity's Grom, sometimes there, there can be, you know, if you count to Infinity one number at a time, it's still Infinity, but if you count to Infinity every even number at a time, it's a different brand of Infinity. Uh, I like these games the most. They're just the type of game that I play that I gravitate towards. And this one's done nothing wrong, but I still do feel like Bloodborne might have uh, this one beat. I can't think of a I can't think of a fault with it, Grom. Other than the fact that they tell me absolutely nothing about what the hell I'm doing, but you know, games kind of have that problem in general. Where else can I run around naked as an old man in a red cape? Very few games. I'm not asking for much. More goddamn skeletons again. For the love of God. Well, I can only assume there's skeletons in the graveyard. What am I hearing? Up. Something inside the castle? Well, at least we got to the other side of the castle. Nick Nolte in his manties. Man panties. Not a very impressive... The real Nick Nolte has a very impressive bulge. This one, they just couldn't do it. They had to... They had to ease off for the western market. Yeah. Jack Frick over here. Now don't go jumping down there, Nick. That'll cost you. More tarnished golden sunflowers. Not 
seeing any hot loot over here. Just a bunch of goddamn skeletons. No well, thanks. Thaw frost boluses. What the hell is going on here, Naked Nick? Hey, whatever it takes for your thaw frost boluses. Ow, my bolus! These guys are back. Interesting. Thought it was going to be hot loot, but it's just hot a-hole. 75 is not touching. Take him out before he explodes! Got him. Grave Evergall. Now, I didn't check this one out last time I was here, so I'm checking it out now. What do I care? More rune fragments. I don't know what this. I don't even know what that does. Confirmed. He's a homeless man on the mountain. Hey, hey, come on, Nick Nolte. Not a homeless man. A homeless man on the mountain asks you what time it is. Only. Yeah, excuse me. Do you know what time it is? I guess it is Nick Nolte's voice. Enter Evergall. Fine. This time I will enter the Evergall. I don't know what the hell it is. An arena? I better put my goddamn pants on. Alright, what now? Who wants a piece of the big dog? Apparently this a hold up. camera doing there. Dang it. Out of there, ratty boy! God damn. God damn it, Ratty. Not like this, Ratty. Can we take him? Damn it, he's still got two health left. Frick! I thought that was gonna do a lot more damage. Dead Becky's, get him a body bag. Get his glowing blue acid body bag. We got one meteorite spell. <laughs> Can't be stopped, won't be stopped. What the hell's going on? Oh, I gotta teleport back. Yo, it's play. Alright, confirmed he's a homeless man in the mountain. Uh, no bald slider. Yeah, it's one knock on this game, Grom. Alright, we can give it a 9.9. .9. No bald slider. That's a whiff. So it does have double jump on your horse. That's pretty fresh. Get across this? No. Look at this. They're going to hose me down. I guess there's a way to do this. Walked all the way over here for Jack Frick. Ow, I'm only f whiffing it further. <laughs> this is not going to work out for me. No, that's no good. Oh, ratty boy, come on! <laughs> and somehow, I don't think that's what they want you to do there.
So this is the true Nick Nolte simulator. This is what Nick Nolte does on an average day. Devin, welcome in, buddy. I was just singing your praise earlier today on the stream about help. Oh! About helping me uh, mod all those consoles up. Oh, we still plan to make full use of those. All right, do you guys think that that is doable? I think that's worth me trying again. Because I sure as hell do. The hell is my... There's no way that's what they want you to do, but you know what? They can go to hell. Do whatever I damn well please. I was close. If I'd landed on top of that one rock and not jumped immediately after it, oh, we were close, everybody. Don't be jumping around like a madman. Damn it, I f flubbed it. I mean, if this works, if this works, the game has truly just, it's open world incarnate. It's my hope that it does work. And is there anything higher I can climb on to. Likely turn back. Bad likely story. There's almost no way in hell. Only did what any good Samaritan would do. Well, there there would be no 2001 and 2002 season without you. I was... You remember I had to buy WWF Raw, the game that got me banned off YouTube forever? Uh, and it still wouldn't even play in my Xbox? Like, what the hell? I tried to do the right thing. Now I said to hell with it. All right, there's no way. Fine, the game's right. We were wrong. We're going back. How the hell do we get to the other side? This bridge, it's just permanently fricked. How do I get over to Finger Reader Crone? Are we going to have to go up and around? Take this path around? I guess so, everybody. And then noodle our way across to... Uh, can we get on this bridge somehow? I have no idea where to go! The love of frick! I guess we haven't explored down here. We might as well go see what this is. Or go look at some of these damn trees. I've been avoiding these damn trees. The foot of four belfries. Get over there! Yo, man, frick that game! I can't believe that YouTube came after me for this, the visual stinger. I've never heard of that in my life. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, this is the area that glitches nonstop. Now, what building am I looking at there? That one there. How do I, hell do I get up there? Eh, no big matter. We're going to go fight this guy. Maybe call it a night after this. Whatever's over here at this tree, that's what we got to deal with. Aggro! That tree over there? All right. Lock it up. I didn't realize all these trees had little bosses next to them, and the bosses give you sick upgrades. Follow that guy. It's a bat singing a siren song. And I'm not falling for it again. Oh, we got another one of these things? Alright, we might as well just test our luck. Man, we're just taking bosses down left, right, and center tonight. Can't be stopped, won't be stopped. Devin, what are you playing these days? Alright, where's the dead man? Dead man's around here somewhere. Okay. No, that's not so bad. Still not that bad. I got greedy. I thought there's no way he's going to hit me with that sword. Have you enjoyed a nice little Elden Ring viewership bump? I don't know if it's a bump. Oh, we had a lot of raids tonight. Uh, usually my stream usually my streams are pretty low. I don't get a ton of viewers. I get a lot of regulars. Not a ton of viewers. Um But what I'm, one thing I do notice is when you get to play modern games, uh you do get more people, more eyes on the channel. I think I tapped the retro channel, which is a bummer. Because it's basically it's all basically 
why would they watch this guy when they could watch their favorite guy? So retro channel is kind of hard to gain numbers in after a certain point. But at least with modern games, a lot of people are still like, hey, I'll come check this guy out. All right, this time, no more freaking around. Ready, boy. Damn it. Not like this. No spinning sword attack, please. Frick. Didn't do any damage. Just frick me up. Boy's getting thunder, thunder bucks. All right, who let this giant troll have a goddamn magic spell? Currently obsessed with GT Sport. Is that a racing game? It's getting canceled by the end of this month. They're pulling the servers. It's already delisted, and after that, there's no legit way to play the campaign. Why they got to be that way? How old is the game? Why would it be uh, out of commission already? Although you should be, you should try to be on when they actually officially cancel the, uh, like cancel everything. I think that'd be neat to see it like turn off live. I right, think I'd learn. Just a dick move. Although I think he powers up with that. Damn it. Get so greedy, it's ridiculous. He's got a hundred percent hit rate on this stomp move. Oh, God. And there goes the stomp move again that Rad cannot avoid. I guess it's not really my fault. I have to be so in this guy's face. Okay, okay, okay. All right, he's powered up and he's ready to get out of his mind. Now right, we gotta finish him off before he does that again. I don't think I can avoid that. Dead Becky, get him a goddamn dead Becky plaque for his dead Becky fart filled. All right, uh, squish. Usually they delist racing games because of the license agreements for the cars. Wow. That's a bummer. But the GT games are especially egregious because it requires a server connection to save your progress and play the campaign. Well, how old is this game? Did you uh, mention that? Because that, that seems so dastardly. Like, I paid for it. Hell. Oh, hell yeah. Now we're getting up there. Oh, man. I want to go there. How hot that looks. One boss battle the next. I should probably not go into this boss battle with 11,000 souls. I know you guys can't see. Ah, no. A lot of souls. But I have the bloodlust. He's not even collecting the bones. Yeah, I know. What have we here? Why do I always take my damn claws up? Doesn't make sense. I guess I can't bust that up. Secret Grace, Revenger Shack. Yeah, hey, sick. Now we can just keep trying this box. 2017, all right. It's 11K, not souls. Old enough. It looks smooth and pretty as frick. Is it arcadey or is it a sim? 
I guess Forza is arcadey, right? But there's like a lot of those other ones that are like Assetta, Corsetta, whatever. That one seems like simming out of its mind. Oh, God. Well, I can't get to this tree. Look, that tree is on the other side of that mountain range. Not for Pete's sake. I got, I got to go around. I got to go around to the east. All right, we can do that. Ugh. Dead Becky coming through. gets away. Alright, now we're getting somewhere special. I know you're an enemy. You can't fool me. Alright, well, apparently I can get hosed. It just looks funny fighting these guys with claws on a horseback. Now, I do want to go into that big tree and get that upgrade, but I need to kind of see what's going on over here first. Oh, it's Gran Turismo. Oh, GT. All right. I, I'm surprised to hear them moonlighting the game. You know me with acronyms, Devin. I haven't changed. I was like, was that what GT just always stands for? Yeah. Universally, GT stands for Gran Turismo. Like even GTO and GTR. So, I had no idea. Touch, Grace. Wait, you gotta actually sit at Grace if you wanna smarten up. You didn't even pick the mushrooms earlier. I was hoping, high hopes for that hoarding those mushrooms. Well, Shorty, I got plenty. If you wanna see my hot collection of mushrooms, let's just take a quick gander. Where the hell are all my hot mushrooms? Ew. Melted mushroom? Shorty, can you melt mushrooms? Ugh. Toxic mushrooms. I wouldn't collect those, Shorty. Seems like a dangerous thing to do. I thought I've collected a lot more mushrooms than this. Have I been purposely avoiding the mushrooms? Nice. Alright, let's go in here, see what the hell's going on in here. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a goddamn second. Equipment. Boom. Uh, I have a staff that I can use. The one for dummies. Alright, good. This one. Can I still roll? Yes. Now watch this, everyone. Watch and learn, he says. Uh, memorize spell. Oh, goddamn, watch and learn, he says. Oh, that's right, I need to go up a level. About to live the dream. I gotta go up one level before I can cast ice on my claws. How many not souls do I need? I'm gonna need approximately 5,000 souls. Alright. What the hell's going on in here? I don't need any cuckoo glintstones. What kind of game is this? Erudition Guide V. You guys are going to have to start making sense. Or heads are going to start rolling. Alright. Ooh, how do we get up there? Yeah. You guys seen that? There's like a whole area. Up there. Damn, you hose around, you find out, buddy. <laughs> Kill you. Don't worry, Devin, we got him. I got a lot of body bags lined up. Check under your seats, everyone. There's a fresh body bag for you to take home for your uh, family. You and your family. Ah! 
Get my body back. What the goddamn hell do you get up here? Fine. They're gonna make we me put on. You, Sam. Fly, get out of your mind, Sam. They're gonna make me put my stupid torch on. Not the torch pull. It's too heavy. Now my fat rolling. No, we're still good. All right, I need to be able to look in here. What am I looking at? Uh huh. <laughs> get hose, buddy. Oh, I missed it. Tino, you get him. Tino chased him right off the camera, or right off the screen. Right on. Punched him so hard my right computer here, couldn't handle it. He has to be this big. He's stuffing his pants full of paper towel. This big. This big. Free cat. He's old and his bladder doesn't work so well anymore. Damn it, something's gotta be going on in here. Ah, right. When do you unlock the flying power in the game? Oh, here we go, hot item. Magic grease. Grease me up, woman. All right, how many of these damn elk do I have to kill to get 5,000 more points? All right, what about this guy? Give me like 300. If he does, I could probably pull it up, pull it off, seal the deal. 100. That's not gonna cut it. Damn. Hey, Markman, welcome in, dude. Just getting out of our mind as usual. You might have missed it. I played Castlevania 2 and then uh, Castlevania 3 tonight. Changing it up. How much does that guy give me? I didn't even see. Not that you guys could see. I'm covering it with my camera. Ah, oh, I thought there was going to be a hot enemy. All right, Statue of Marika. That'll teleport me back here. Come on, let me fight some of these giant pots. Fight a boss yet, goddammit. Somebody better talk to me. Right, what do we got? How many of these goddamn things do I have? Inventory. None. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, we're gonna teleport somewhere, fight a couple baddies, come back, get over my. End the stream the only way we know how. Uh, is this a hot jam? Alright, uh, it's like the true Nick Nolte simulator, but for cars. It is. Baby Boy Rad. Oh, no, this is not, not where I want to be. Baby Boy Rad really wants to play Gran Turismo games, and I have to tell him, like, I don't think you understand what the licensing requirements are for that game. Not where I want it to be. What about... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go over here. No. Here. You end up completing your barf percentage speedrun? Yes, we did. A new, hot new, uh... Uh, category. I wonder if I can just beat the hell out of one of these guys. I don't know how much they have. I'm gonna go on the damn horse. Uh oh. He's freaking out! Goddamn. 
charging up for something. I gotta get to the other side of him. This side's bad. This guy gives me, so I'll I'll let you guys know after I kill him. Oh god. What did it say? Oh no, he's not dead yet. It said 500. That eh, doesn't seem worth it for 500. I'm stealing over. He's left, right, and center, though. All right, uh, the arcade mode in GT just lets you race the limited stock cars. I guess, yeah, he would probably like that. He would s uh, settle for that, but it's, he's just addicted to more video games. Like, I need another game, like... You have more video games than any kid I've ever known in my life, and you need to start playing them right now. Stop hosing around. Let's fight some baddies here. Let's get some uh, XP and go get our frost attack upgraded. Ah, oh, these guys. Ah, oh, this couldn't be more frustrating. This couldn't possibly be more frustrating. That guy gives me 43. That's not worth it at all. What the hell is all the hot upgrade areas? I can't teleport while I'm in the middle of a fight. What about now? Nope. Don't be Mark. It's gonna be a terrible time for the fannies. I'm excited to see uh, your... Oh yeah, Shorty's saying, Don't be. It's gonna be a terrible time. Fannies are gonna hate it. That's a spirit, Shorty. I don't know if you were there for the... Uh, when I said... Um, no pressure, Shorty. You pick whatever you want. Don't worry about the rascals are going to say. Uh, clan runes. Uh, I don't even know who to fight. Who the hell? Lake facing cliffs. Ruins. Academy Gate Town. I swear there was guys that were giving me like a thousand per kill. Sorcerer's Isle. Is that up here? Is that where I was getting all the hot loot? Alright, we'll go back here. Pressure doesn't work on me. Well, I just don't want you to feel bad if it doesn't work out great. Damn it, this is not where I wanted to be. Well, like when you picked the first game, you put so much effort into it uh, for River City Ransom, but no need to feel that much pressure. Or no, no need to feel like you need to put that much time into it. These guys give me 388. And you know how much stamina I got, dude? I got page trousers. Oh, this guy could be worth the XP. RCR was a top-notch pick. It certainly was. Next level pick. Although Double Dragon 3 would have been fun, too. Good luck, kids! No. Oh, damn it. The guy was right in front of me. He's totally invisible to me. Holy lordy, I almost died right there. I just want to bring the big guy up here, but I don't know if that's going to work. Ah! Ah! 
Oh god, he's going after everyone. Oh man, I ticked him off bad. Jesus Christ. has a 100% hit rate on that stomp move. What does he give me? 1300, that's pretty good. Dead Becky's coming through. Taint all over the place. Taint no big deal. All right. Sir, I'm here to talk about your extended warranties. DD3 couldn't. I couldn't because uh, you would have just smashed the others. Did you know I'd already uh, played that game? Did I make that clear at some point? Still took... Shorty, that game took me like a week of straight playing just to... Uh, or two weeks in real life of my own time just because I wanted to see it beat. Eh. Oh, he's still going. All right, that guy gives me 371. This is the place to grind. I think there's a bad guy behind me. I'm hosed. Oh, all right, good stuff. All right, frost spells, here we come. Did I go check that tree out? I don't think I did. And I'm still brimming with stamina. Look at this. It's a golden seed. This might be. Holy freaking lord. Go to hell, Becky. Got the XP for it. Ah, that feels good. How the hell do I get over there and get that hot loot? Go all the way around this damn fart-filled sarcophagus? Not on your life. Everything's a fart-filled sarcophagus to me, isn't it? When all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Now we can go back, go down here, upgrade our guy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sir, I'm here to talk about you. Yeah, we've, uh, we've talked about DD games several times over the years, so you, yeah, you knew enough. Okay, level up time, level up time. Intelligence 15, here we go. Ice Blade coming at you. Ice claws. Keen ice claws. Nice. Here it is, everyone. Let's take a look here. This is what we're going to find out. Now we're going to find out how much damage we're doing. <sighs> Status. Armament. 184 is my damage. Now watch and learn, everybody. 184. And we'll go like this. Status. Damn it, it doesn't tell you how much extra it does. Well, let's just know and learn that this is going to be a frick ton of damage. It's going to be like 50 more damage per hit. Oh god, it's cold! Nice. And I think you've done a cover of them. Yeah, I've definitely. They're like subtly some of my favorite games. Those goddamn rascals. Lasts for a long time too. Sick. Oh god damn, I'm out of my mind with these things. Cost a pretty penny. That'll cost a Tinkerbell. Alright, we're out of juice. Stamina time.
go time. No mercy! Whiffed it. Hey! Hold on, I'm drinking my soda pop. Oh, that's cool. Can't see anything, but that's cool. Eye frames galore. I love eye frames. Oh god, this one I can't easily sidestep. Oh, he got frosted. Alright, I'm a little too greedy. There's only one way to learn. Oh, dear lordy Jesus! <laughs> hey! You're right to laugh, children. I'm beating this frickster senseless. Fricked up with ice claws. I didn't want to do this. He left me no choice. But I got lucky on that one. First try, can't be stopped, you frozen son of a gun. Got a dusty old popsicle for you. Alright. He's just holding his- Oh man! What a, what a way to end the night. A Cerulean Crystal Tear. A ruptured Crystal Tear. That's awesome. Might as well keep this streak of rolling here. Alright, with a super whip. That'll play. That'll goddamn play. I like having frost damage and bleed damage. Holy lord. That'll goddamn play. Hey, Neon, what up? Just rolling around, you know, trying to get out of my mind. Doing, you know, living my best life. Bit of an Elden Ring fan, are you? See a little guy playing Elden Ring online, say, I'll come and check it out. Hell yeah. That's him falling off the edge, right? Am I right, Mark Man? Well, I don't know. Does hold on? Are they trying to tell me there's secret action over here? There's no secret action over here. God damn it! Yong Street, you missed it, buddy. Did you see me play Simon's Quest earlier? Eh? I played retro games, Yong Street. Am I on the other side of the tree? I am not. I walked all the way around the tree. All right, well, let's go see what these new tiers do. Eh, eh. All right. Mushrooms? Did I miss the mushrooms again, Shorty? It's just internally I know to leave them alone. Don't touch them. Jack's Quest? No Jack's Quest. No straight. All right, let's see if we can make some new hot uh, do action here. All right, temporarily boost strength. No, we don't need that. Flame Shrouded Crack Tier temporarily boost fire attack. No. Enhances charge. This is the worst one ever. Ruptured Crystal Tier. Causes concoction to explode in mixed physic. Seems stupid. Restores half of total FP in mixed physic. Stupid. That wasn't even worth it. Nah, you picked him like a pro. Ah, nice, Shorty. I roleplayed as Shorty as Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte roleplayed as Shorty. So now I have to have a staff in my hand when I'm pulling off sick combos. Okay, it's not in his hand. It's technically beside his hand. All right, everyone. I think we've accomplished most of our goals. Unless there's another one of these trees around I can just roll over to and beat the hell out of. I don't know where to get more of these cracked tears, though. How in the hell do you get up there? All right, all right, all right. We got to smarten up. There's got to be a way. 
mean, I might have to get on the horse if I want to get all the way up there. All right, this is actually... Man, the, the length that this game will go to to hide loot. Oh, not like this, Nick! Who's shooting at me? One dead Becky, that's it. You know what, I'm not even going to walk around. That doesn't take too long. I'm just going to teleport over there. Oh. Street, you were right to post it. What an HD 40 chess move when Vince McMahon turned into a heel in the WWF. How the hell did he figure that out? How the hell? What do you guys think? Get on the horse, launch across this. I am 100% out of my mind. Con confirmed out of my mind. I bet you guys thought you'd never see what was up here, hey? Don't worry, old ratty boy would never let you down. Not like that. You dare teleport me somewhere stupid. Nice. This game favors magic users so much it's making me sick. I don't want to live anymore. Horse can't handle a little jump off a five-story building. Does that mean all my hot souls are all the way up there still? Oh my god. Mission failed. We end on a nice uh, failure note tonight. Yeah. After after getting up, hey, you know what? The game failed. They gave me a, that. You know what that thing does? It lets me unlock yet another magic spell. I don't. I only have one magic spell right now, and that's all I really needed. Game's hosing me down. All right. What about this tree over here? Why don't I go see what that thing is? Eh? Alright. Gotta end on a high note. These low notes. Kill Damn. Go to hell, Dan. Open up that body bag and get the hell in, buddy. Because you're going to pound town. That's confirmed. What a great game, Clap. What? Clap? Oh, you're being sarcastic. What a great game. My bad. Jumping off a four-story building with a horse just didn't work out for me. It should have, but it didn't. Look at those graphics. Oh, my God. It's easily my favorite open-world game I've ever played. You wished it. Ah. Oh. Oh, welcome. Dear customer. Yeah, this guy's got yes, great customer right service. Way. Right. Welcome. Value, please. I mang. I don't have I have zero souls in my account, buddy. I don't need, I need more armor. I don't have any cool looking armor. Well, I mean my armor's cool, but I've had it for too long. Sir, you're selling lumps of flesh. There's a reason no one is uh coming to your store. Frankly, you stink of rotting flesh. I wonder if I ever unlock a double jump myself, because that would be pretty fresh. What the hell is this? 
Open for business. Right, now we gotta play the goddamn how do you get up here game. Fine. She's the game with your double jump. My kind of jank. Oh. Naked dicks out of mine. Ah, he got away. Die, ah, son of a butt. A-hole got a piece of me. I stole his shard of glass, though. God rays galore. Look at this freaking lighting. Is there more flashing sounds? There's another one up here. Ah. Oh, no, these are the ones that just give you your health back. Well, I could, yeah, I could just smell them. Oh, God, he's coming after me naked, Nick, no! That's right. Oh, they don't even give you your health back. Well, then the hell. What am I wasting my time for? Honestly, how the hell? Oh, I am at the tree. Well, then there should be someone around here. help says jhh uh well let's see the last thing i did maybe you can help me in a general sense the last thing i did was fight everyone in the manor up here the last storyline thing i did was beat the lucaria grand library i have a glintstone key that i have to give to someone but i don't remember who other than that i don't know what the hell i'm doing shard of glass man just some stabbing in the jug that's right now we got some jugular stabbing coming up in our future. Usually these trees have a little boss next to them, but this one doesn't. Unless these little a-holes are the boss. Oops, over, overshot it. All right, well, I'm sure it has something to do with this building then. Like storyline beats, JHH. I don't know what the storyline beat is here. Where do you go next? Hmm? Game doesn't really tell you what the hell you're doing. I see. Uh huh. I'm gonna pick any stupider way around that. Yes, but this open world feels very interesting, and they've done a good job at making it feel alive and interesting. Alive in that there's. It's not open. It's not alive in like a Bethesda game would have like lots of people doing stuff and all this. It's more like it's lush. And there's lots of areas, and every area feels, like, uniquely worth exploring. Because of the loot. Like, they give you a loot incentive now. Bethesda games, there's no loot incentive. Like, alright, you could do this dungeon spelunking thing, but you might just get, like, a generic weapon. This game, they're all... When Japan does fantasy, they go all in. Like, every weapon is so unique and interesting. Holy goddamn, how far down are we going? Really far down, goddammit. Yeah, and loot to find. Shorty, I've never seen a game that has better loot finding mechanics than this game ever. We are really descending down here. Alright, well, I guess this will be where we start next episode. 
I don't think this is just gonna be one boss I go in and frick up. This is like a whole... This is like the tree's roots down here. Murder driven. Alright, who are the poor bastards that got buried down here? No one's gonna come visit your grave. It's way too hard to find you. See for a river. Great discovery. Well, let's do a little look at look see. Let's get a look see and then let's end this big bastard. Damn it. No, it isn't. Alright, they got Golden Rooms 3. Hey, Dan, you get hosed and you find out, buddy. You hose off. Are these more mushrooms for my buddy Shorty? Dan, Dan the maintenance man can go to hell and die of gonorrhea. Go to hell, Dan. Dan Marino can die of gonorrhea. Got him. Hot loot. More herbs. <laughs> right, I haven't seen enemy yet. We don't know what we're dealing with down here. Get herbed out of my mind, though. A lot of secret herbs and spices down here. I hear you, goddammit, you glowing son of a gun. Oh, he's way over there. Alright, well, we can deal with these guys. Okay, they're strong as hell. Give me 120. Apparently, I don't have good stab defense. Ray Finkel's mom giving the cookie footballs. Lace is out. What do you know? They're little footballs. All right. I think this is a good area for us to uh, explore next time. The Siofra Siofra River. <laughs> the enemies seem tough enough. I think we're gonna go and roll through this. Now with our new ice claws. Dan Marino can die of gonorrhea. I don't remember her whole line there, but it was good, whatever it was. All right, system. System. Fine. Gotta use the controller. Fine. You have to do that or the game will yell at you. All right, uh... Boom. And that's another one in the bag, everybody. Locked it up as per usual. Elden Ring, smooth as hell. Hey! Body bag time. Not my problem anymore. Another one in the bag. Love Outrun. These songs are long, too. This song is five minutes long. I'm sure that's two loops, but still. I'm gonna scoot over here just the two. All right, you guys are what you were watching Radland, the Sunday flagship show. We go hard no matter what. Even if Ratty Boy feels like he's gonna barf and has to bring a barf bowl downstairs. <laughs> nope. You guys brought me back in the brink. I felt pretty off when we started. Pretty off when we started streaming, but I feel okay now. I'm living the dream. Ah. And a clean pair of shorts. Guess the movie. Yeah, Yonk Street, you ever see the deleted scenes for that that they air on TV all the time? Um, I'm sorry, I have say the opposite of what you mean, disease. Or when uh, the guy at the bar in the Ray Finkel's town breaks the bottle over the table. So you want to fight or something? That's when he says, I have say the opposite of what you mean, disease. And then he says, um, uh, you want to play with glass, hey? And he takes his contact out. This is an actual scene from Ace Ventura. He takes his contact out and breaks it on the table. A tiny little piece of glass. Cut! They only show it on TV. And also, they don't show, uh, I think only on TV they would do the, uh, Do you know him? Do you call him at home? Do you have a dorsal fin? 
I'm Heinz Velvet. They don't show that on the actual movie. I think I've seen the glass thing once. Heinz Velvet. Go to him. Go to your press conference. Go to it. Alright, uh, Ace Ventura, everybody. Hot jams. Alright, prop was on the basic cable. My parents were too curmudgeon for that stuff. Uh, I don't think I ever saw it on basic cable. I do know my friend Mark taped it off TV, so that must have been where I saw it. But yeah, if you rented it on VHS... No, the VHS had it as well. But in the theater, it was something different. Isn't that weird? No, the theater... The VHS had Heinskit Velvet, but it didn't have the broken glass thing. That was on TV. Weird and wild stuff. I saw the taped off TV version from my friend Mark. I'm sure they had HBO. They were a well-off family. Not me, man. All you needed to give me was a bag of chips for the weekend, and I could make that rock. <sighs> yeah. Dan Marino can die of gonorrhea and rot in hell. <laughs> That's such a good... Such a good insult. I love that audio cue when they walk into Ray Finkel's room. The dolphins lose! The dolphins lose! The dolphins lose. And he's and looking, he's around, looking around, 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 around. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Eh, eh, eh. Eh, 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 eh. Test, 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 test. It's a good thing this happened now. Happen now. Happen now. The echo is stuck on. Stuck on. Stuck on. Stuck on. Dan Marino can die of diarrhea and rotten hell. Stop it! Alright, I had to manually go into Cubase and turn that off. That's, I don't know what the hell happened there. Alright. Isn't Dan Marino like 70 now? He can still die of gonorrhea and go to hell, according to Tom Ace. Do you think that's a play on words for Thomas? Do you guys realize that Ace Ventura, The Mask, and Dumb and Dumber apparently all came out in 1994? That's outrageous. Don't tax Marino's gig so hard, Cork Cruster. You know, I was just... Mrs. Rad and I were just joking about that earlier today. Ah, it just goes down soon. Probably because Pauly Shore's going to play, uh... What's his name? Richard something? Richard... Ah, I can't remember. The uh, greased up aerobics guy. It's good casting. Although I think I would like to see Bret Hart play uh, Polly Shore in the Polly Shore biopic. Jim Carrey hauled overtime in 1994. I can't believe. It. But the thing is, it probably wasn't even that hard for him specifically because it didn't need to. He didn't need to memorize as much. He just needed to come and show up and deliver. And that's what Will Ferrell does all the time. They're like, "Will, just going to be funny, buddy." But now everyone's eyes, everyone's watching too much. Jim Carrey came in, like, under the radar, right off of In Living Color, records f three of the best comedies at the time, could not go wrong, and then just let them all land harder and harder and harder. And Marino's been gonorrhea for at least 40 of those years. Still wearing isotoners. Isotoner. All right, let's call this one. Let's wrap this big bastard up. Let's wrap this big bastard up and we'll get the hell out of here. We need some endings jams. I'll not leave until I get some endings jams. Yeah. Damn it, it changed songs on me. Now the playlist goes up 500 tracks up to the top of the playlist. There we go. No, wait, this. I, I'm gonna delete this. This should not be in the endings jams. It's another week, another episode of Radland in the bag. Guys, I'm going to need something from you, all of you watching right now. I'm going to need you guys to go over to Discord. That's where all the action is. Confirm. Don't just rely on Twitch. Twitch won't tell you when I'm going live. The Discord will almost always tell you when I'm going live. Unless I'm sick and we're doing a big fannies event, in which case I forget to post it. But that's fine! I was sick! Let me go in the middle here. There we go. Discord's happening. Oh, gee, win it? Yeah, I got like, uh... This playlist is 400 tracks tall. But if you're scrolling down and you want to pick one at the bottom, but then the track changes, it just scoots you back up at the top. All right. Also, everyone, did you guys know I have a YouTube? Because I do. And I've been working on it for the last 10 years. 
Sometimes I edit content. Mostly it gets the archives of these episodes, but it is the focus. I want that YouTube to grow. I think that's the way to go. Now, Twitch is where I make the content. This is live content, but ideally I would like to edit it all and throw it up on YouTube. It just... Ah! Throw it up. It takes time to edit this stuff, and I don't have time when I'm busy working on music for games. Did you guys know Old Ratty Boy is a musician for video games? Well, if you didn't, now you know. Boom. Go check out Old Radland's link tree, including my website, radlandstudios.com. See what I've been up to? See what I'm up to now? I'm working on a game called Odo in the Ancient Worlds. It's got uh, NES-flavored vibes. In fact, why don't I just wrap it up on a track? Just really butter you guys up, you know? the one I just wrapped up. I've only done three songs for it so far. It's taking me longer than it should. I only have till May to create 25 songs, and I don't know how the hell I'm going to do that unless I find a way to bypass the songwriting process a little bit. Nah. But here it is. NES music infused with real instruments uh, and modern production. Let's see if that works. Vaguely Castlevania theme, in this level at least. All right, wait till I bust out the nylon guitars. I was thinking, Young Street, I should do a live stream from Canadian Tire just for you. Hell yeah. This song took me like two weeks to make, though. The songs need to take me six days. That's double what I was supposed to do. How long are you going to be live, bubs? I'm just heading out now, easterly one. So, uh, if you got Rady Rascals waiting to come in here, uh, I mean, I'll just stick around for like maybe ten more minutes if you got Rady Rascals, and then we can all get raided up somewhere if you need. Crack, he says. Well, I haven't officially got in the shuttle yet, if you want to stick around for a bit, but the games, we're wrapping them up. I wrapped it up, put a bow on it. I had one more game in me. What are you playing tonight, Easterly One? So the reason it took so long... Because I had to write the NES... Oh, uh, you were about to raid? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta be out of here in like the next 10 minutes for sure. I have to write the music, the NES music first. Uh, but thanks for thinking about me, Easterly One. Good to see you, all the same. Guys, go check out Easterly One. Maybe we'll raid you... No, you're about to raid me. Maybe we'll raid you up! Um... I have to write the music in NES format first, and then bring it into Cubase, and add a bunch of extra stuff to it. Well, it's basically like two and a half times more work. I appreciate that, Easily One. Uh, so what I did now, I'm gonna bypass ModPlug and try and write everything inside Cubase, which is my modern music writing program. But the reason that's gonna be hard is because writing NES music to sound good, you need to have intricate little details. Developers want more of these solos, by the way. Hell yeah, I feel like I'm T square, T squaring my balls off here. Alright, um. So yeah, if I can write everything just in Cubase, I could cut down some of my writing time. I just have to relearn how to write chiptunes, which I've been doing for 20 years using Cubase now. Uh, uh. Anyways. Song goes hard as frick. Yeah, and they're long songs too. Thank you, Johnny. Long songs. They want two and a half minute long songs for every level. NES music should be a minute and a half long and no longer. Because you don't want to loop anything in NES music, so you have a minute and a half of zero loops. But with two and a half minutes long, you got to loop, and I don't know. NES music just doesn't sound right when it loops. Most music on an actual NES game was only 45 seconds long. And if you're a Tecmo game, it was less. It was like 30 seconds. It's another episode done, everybody. We'll see you on the Discord. See you over on that YouTube channel. And maybe not this week, during the weekday, will I do weekday streams, because I gotta get... I gotta figure out how to write chip tunes from scratch in Cubase. That'll be my challenge. But Sunday as usual, and Saturday, if you guys are subbed up or gift subbed up, Saturday we have a special stream just for you over on the Discord. All that more reason to get over there. But you gotta link them up. 
uh, from inside your Discord. You gotta link up your Discord with your Twitch. Which is weird as hell, because you gotta give Discord your Twitch password. Seems wrong. But everyone's done it. it. Still seems wrong. What would Snowden say? He wouldn't be happy, that's for sure. Alright, let's get into the shuttlecraft, everyone. I don't see that we have anything left to do here. We've done all that needs to be done. Thanks for helping me out of my funk, everybody. I was feeling sick at the start of this episode. Sick as a dog. Alright, let's go. The hell's my outro? Oh, did I turn it off? There. Oh, there it is. Space! Space! Alright. Uh, we gotta find someone to raid. I guess that's what's gotta happen now. And now, feeling funky. Are you feeling funky now, Shorty? Did I give you virtual gonorrhea? What the hell? Thanks for watching, Rage. Always a pleasure to have you in here. Alright. I got virtual gonorrhea. God, no! That's a potent stream. Love this song, by the way. I need to find out what song this is. He's really one. I still don't even freaking know. But I switched it up. Our good buddy Young Street's going hard. He was in here. Uh, you want me to ra oh, easterly one? Do you want me to raid you up? Are you gonna be on for one more game? He said. Are you guys in? Get out of your mind. As you said, you were peacing out, but uh, I don't know how much time you got left. You've been going for six hours. Jesus Christ, I'm watching you watch me now. Elden Ring is grand fun. Yeah, it, it is definitely giving me a lot of goofy... It's easy to riff with, Shorty. Definitely get... Have an easy time riffing with this one. Mm -hmm. Although maybe I should just quickly check Elden Ring. If you raid someone who's playing the game you were playing, you kind of... Build some stuff. Noah's Asylum. Uh, this guy's doing his first playthrough as well. Let's see if he's out of his mind. He's a claw user as well. Oh man. Well, this guy's gonna be clawing out of his mind. Check out Power World, by the way. It's uh, all the hype at the moment. Shorty, do you think, knowing me, do you think I'd be down with the game? Do you think it plays well for Ratty Boy? I'll check it out. When I saw that you had played it, that was it for me. I'm like. Something's going on here. I need to go see what this game's all about. All right, I hope this guy speaks English. I, I just randomly picked Noah's Asylum. Noah's Asylum. Bum, bum, bum. All right, the raid is just starting now, so we have at least 30 seconds until it goes raidy rascal time. If I get cut off mid-sentence again, love every one of you rascals. Thanks for watching this episode. I think we can make something work. All right, Jordan. Pal World. It's for that pal region gamer in all of us. Oh, God, no. And that's how you end a stream. All right, let's get the hell out of here, everybody. Pal World, coming at you, maybe, at some point. Ah! Hey, YouTubesters, thanks for watching, everyone. Subscribe below. You've watched seven hours of the stream, you didn't subscribe. I don't know what to do. All right, have a good night, everyone.